Oh, hey, you like tier list? We're in the right place. If you want to know what every single enemy from every single From Software Souls like game would be placed on a list compared to each other, well, here's five and a half hours of it. Okay, anyway, here's the tiers. Okay, we've got the top tier is Outer God, below that, uh, then we have Demigod, then Lord of Cinder, Tarnished, Hunter and, Hunter and Unkindled are kind of like the mid, the average. Then below that, then we get into the bad, and that's Deprived, Wretched, Hollowed, and the worst tier is Cursed. You can think of them akin to S, A, B, etc, etc. Now, we're going to get in and we're going to start with Demon Souls. We're going to go through game by game. Are we ready? Yes. Okay, the Abjicator. I don't remember this fuck. I don't I... even know Demon Souls. Abjicator. I, um, are these bosses or bosses are, are they enemies? mobs as well? Both. Okay, so, um, I, I don't remember the Abjicator either. Unkindled he is. Um, then we have this random invader. I think he kind of goes in unkindled as well, because I don't remember him either. I think, like, most of the invaders from Demon Souls kind of end up in the yeah. mid area. Well, a lot of just the Demon Souls characters, in my opinion, yeah. end up in the mid-range. Yeah, then Armor Spider, however, that's a boss that I do remember liking. Me too, that's my favorite boss. Oh, there we go. <laughs> what, what do you think, I Larry? <laughs> I never played that game, bro. <laughs> You're gonna speed yeah, run was, through it. Um, I I think that it was a I I I personally think it was fun, but I also am perfectly pleased to put it. Um, yeah, like where you're hovering. Tarnished, yeah. Not no. not. I would put it in hunter. I'm more of a hunter. Hi, hunter. I liked its design as well. Okay, uh, baby nail that goes in unkindled as well. Oh, okay, what about the bear bugs? Because I'm going to be honest, I don't remember them at fucking all. I just I remember... I don't either. Unkindled And I have this, like, as big as I can make it on my screen, and I still don't okay, recognize this. Okay, Black Skeleton. <laughs> it's um, just a skeleton. Ooh, it's different from most skeletons in Souls-like games. Do you name another Black Skeleton? I would Think put them it. in, like... <laughs> Think about I, it. He has to go at just, least a tier higher. Just a rarity alone. They're as boring as boring can be. They're, like, oh, every so here's other... The first this is you haven't even played this game man this is yeah. what like all of the generic like hollowed um uh like all the hollowed generic annoying skeletons are based off of i would put him in like deprived honestly i don't I get think what he's saying. bad enough for deprived <laughs> I get what you're I'm, saying, but it's dumb, bro. There's other skeletons that are yeah. worse than him. And he's not I, he's not uh, bad. I don't think he's like boring, but I'm I don't think he's bad. I'm not saying he's bad. I'm just saying that he is generic and he is uh, he's a I little will, more than generic, pal. I I will give you since he is the basis of all others, uh he can go up, but only if every other skeleton on this list goes has down. Has to be lower. Except for yeah. like bosses like Nito. Like Nito. I'm not gonna say higher. every no, other skeleton because there's no. some good skeletons later. Every other skeleton. I cannot say every other this I can say is no way. way. This is my this, this is I will say rocker. I'm gonna compromise in the middle. I'll put it at the end of Dude. Unkindled, but I can't Dude, say every other there's some good ruined. skeletons later. Okay, yeah, um, already ruined. Blue dragon. This is a dragon that's blue. Yeah, so I think kind of goes uh, with the educator. Yeah. Okay. Next, a uh, blue high knight. I'm gonna be He's honest. Night with blue eyes. Yeah, I think he also goes and like unkindled. Yeah. Cool. A uh, voluntarian soldier. I think I think since he's just a normal soldier entering from Demon Souls, he should go next to like the black skeleton because he's just he's also just really boring. There's nothing really unique about him. That's fine. Yep, works for me. Okay, um, the original Demon Souls Crystal Lizard. It's gotta be pretty high, dude. It's the yeah, original I, Crystal I, Lizards. I, I agree. It's um, gotta be like, I'd say tarnished. B tier, so like third. I'd say, yeah, above Tarnished, Lord of Cinder. Tarnished bro. or Lord of Cinder. Yeah, I'm, I'm I think Lord of, Lord of Cinder. Yeah, because it's, it's I, a I classic. Happy. Whenever you see him, you're like, wow. Yeah, just, you just beat him over the head. Yeah, just the um, absolute like glee that you see uh, when mm. you see one of those fuckers, and then you sprint just, just at, full sprint at him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> always max velocity, even off a cliff a lot of the times. Yeah. Yes. Okay, uh, gargoyle from Demon Souls. Mm. 
I kind of think it's deprived, personally. I have no take. It works for me. I I think that they're I think they're annoying, uh, without any of like the interestingness yeah. that comes from other gargoyles. That's pretty much why I'm thinking deprived because he's kind of basic and basic and annoying without being cool. Yep. Okay. Um, Giant mosquito. That's fucking I, hollowed. Hollowed. Yeah. I was about like to say mosquitoes. the same thing. Yeah. yeah. Well, it, well, he's they're lying just to me, though, so man. They're they're and you have to remember this was when it was originally released like what PS3 yeah and so the uh, mechanics were just not great to try to fucking hit the thing yeah. plus it gave you poison yeah. just it, fuck that guy <laughs> it's like the one in Dark Souls there's isn't... like twenty of them that, yeah. with, that they throw at you at one time and fuck them okay so the phalanx boss boss I actually like this boss quite a bit yeah hey, I know the him at least cause yeah because he he's in Dark kind Souls of in as Dark well. Souls. I yeah, and it's cool. uh, and it's based off of uh, a Roman uh, mm -hmm. battle tactics. Well, yeah. sorry, well, Greek. Spartan. Yeah, he's not as yeah. cool as the Crystal Lizard, but he's no, cool. Crystal Lizard is cooler. That. Okay, what about the um, de depraved one? Honestly, he looked kind of quirky. Honestly, <laughs> he I does kinda, look kind of quirky. I kind of, I kind of like he, his look. He, he do. His tongue. He definitely I, has to be. He uh, goes like above armor spider. Yeah. Yes, I agree. Okay, All cool. Right, dog. Most decisive well, not dog. One. We have the next one. That's what is, what is this? It says Dirty Colossus. How the fuck is that? No, this is a different order than for us because uh, no, dogs for me. No, I have Dirty Colossus next, and then oh, dog. Dirty Colossus is number one for me on my list. Strange. That's weird. Uh, um, anyways, I I I would drop him down a little bit even though his his name is phony he's just big tanky dude that hits hard that you yeah. have to dodge around put so him below the gargoyle sack yeah okay dog dog see he's, dog he's a good boy yeah Origi the, eventually i'm like up top but they are always always the no. like worst enemies to fucking deal with they're so Elden annoying dogs are yeah. The worst, yeah especially if you build like strength anytime you try to hit they're just like so, oh, is this just dagger so is this dog for every Souls like game where a yes. dog exists? Unless there's something I mean, unique about like... it, like the red wolf of uh, Radagon, that's unique, so that's different. But if it's like the basic dog enemy from any Souls like, but they're always annoying to deal with. I I would put it Yeah, like... but they're not especially cool though. No, they're not. I'd they're put it in dog. like deprived. Yeah, I can see Honestly, they're but I, they're annoying. I think I have and to put it above. There's always like though. at least two of them. I agree. Uh, Gargoyle seems kinda cool though. He, but he yeah. Gargoyle is more annoying because the dog you can one shot it most of the time, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. It's just isn't annoying. Yeah, yeah, but isn't it like thematically too? Like, isn't it cool when you see a gargoyle? Like, I'd rather see a gargoyle than a dog. <laughs> not look like, at this I'd fucker, rather, not this gargoyle. I'd rather, see, I'd rather see a dirty colossus than a dog. But, but, like, but, but, <laughs> I don't know. I, even if I go to a friend's house, I kind of would rather see a dirty colossus. I, don't, I mean, the you dog than a dirty colossus. I'm trying to rip your throat out. So, <laughs> okay, like, true. Yeah. So wait, you saying like below skeleton and the handle? I say it's lower. I think it's the W one. Wretched. Yeah, wretched. dude. Uh, yeah, maybe at the top of wretched because it's okay. it, like, it is better than the mosquito. But yeah, I can I can see that. Yeah. Because it's just so basic. Like all okay. the games that have dogs in them, bro. Like go go walk on the street, you see a dog, bro. Dragon God's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I would put him uh, just above Flaylinx on um, Tarnish. Really, I would place it higher because this was the first boss where like you meet him in the beginning and you are supposed true. to die to him, so and then you fight him later too. Yeah. So I um, think I, I wouldn't die. put him in demigod, but I could be convinced top of uh, Lord of Cinder for right now. I think just below Crystal Lizard, because Crystal Lizard is pretty good. Yes, I guess. Yeah. Too. Yeah. Okay, Dragling. He looks kind of basic, bro. He kind of yeah, looks like a, like a hollow almost. So he, like, he is the hollow of this game. I put him in, like, Deprived. You put yeah. him below the skeleton, yeah. Yeah. Okay, next we get Fat Official. I put that in Lord he's, Sender. Yeah, he, he, he's the only he, fat character. He's a good, chunky boy. Lord of Cinder, he is. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. I'm glad I agree. Fire Lizard. <laughs> Lizard on fire. Um, I mean, I feel like that's kind of hunter. I, I, maybe. I really can't see it uh, to be honest. I think I'd put it like top of under. I think it's just mid, bro. Yeah, yeah. But I don't think it compares with the armor spider. No, uh, it's it's interesting. It, it, this is when you could tell that they were trying to think of like different ways than other than just gross looking thing kind of waddling this, at yeah. you. Yeah. But it's all, so one of the like bad. three fat boys in Demon Souls. Yeah. Okay, next we have Flame Lurker. I he don't remember. Cool. No, oh, I do he remember this boss. Cool. This was a hard boss. 
I don't it, remember. His design class. looks kind of cool. It's you're in like this area, it's like this lava area. Think like um the human, oh. uh, centipede dude, and he's like really yeah, fucking yeah. fast and mobile. Oh, he was yeah. difficult. He, he looks cool though. He, he looks he cool. cool he's really but cool. The just uh, just even in the remake, the the controls were not yeah. necessarily the smoothest, which makes really speedy mobile characters like that really fucking annoying to deal with. But so then, like, I, he's Pop cool, Hunter. so yeah, that's fine with me. I can do that. Okay, cool. Uh, next one, I can't read this one. Who is this? Fool's Idol. Uh, Fool's, Fool's Idol. Idol, yes. I don't remember uh -huh. this one at all. Uh -huh. Um, I don't either, so that means that she goes, it is. like, yep. <laughs> I... Giant right tick um, goes Gross. Uh, hollowed, fucking hollowed or, or cursed. cursed yeah. yeah, you know what? Fucking right, gold cursed. skeleton has to be above. Damn gold it. skeleton is slightly has to, no, has has to be above yeah. black skeleton. Uh, yeah, I like right yeah. there. I'd rather. Oh, is it ranked in that order? Too? Yeah, because okay. it's ranked in tier, and then the furthest mm -hmm. left is highest in that yes. tier. So, all right, the other one I already don't like, dude. Yeah, I like, that just seems. Then, I'd say that's lower, bro. That's just a. It's just a phantom with a club and a shield. It's like yeah, basic, a basic dude. It's above drag. I put that on the dog level, dude. Because like it's just a really person. ratchet. But I ratchet is like it has to be annoying. I don't think the great club is like annoying. No, it's just really basic. No. It's just boring. Yeah. Dude. This is just boring. Yeah. Hawk, however, no. does Hawk boring. does go in ratchet. Yeah, another flying enemy that is impossible to deal with. Mm -hmm. But it is worse than dog because dogs dogs aren't on the ground. Yes, you can actually okay. deal with them. Yes. Hoplite. Okay. Um, I like piece of the, the hoplites. I think. I think so. Yeah, but it's it's kind of like um, think the clones in um, in Elden Ring, where it's like a goo with a shield on it. Got it. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I think. I think next to the phalanx. I think. I think there. It's. I. Uh, yeah. I would drop it down to hunter personally, but I. Well, I above think or it's, below the flame lurker. I think a flame uh, lurker has a cooler design. Lurker. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, it's interesting from a lore perspective, and it's interesting in a combat perspective because, like, it's it's it shakes you up from like how you've just kind of been beating things with large stick up until yeah. that point, and you kind of have to think a little bit more. Okay, Imperial but, Spy is, I think, like human right enemies are always mid, dude. I'm not gonna yeah. lie to you. Well, there's some that are really cool, but Imperial Spy is not it. <laughs> Dude, Leechmonger looks interesting. Dude, fucking gross. Really? But I, 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 I can, I, he can go higher. But I just he's he, cool though. He's cool, and but like, it makes my like, skin crawl so much. You don't like it things. when? Just imagine you, if that was like in a real scenario, and you really walk up grab. to that. would be cursed. <laughs> like, yeah, no, that's like that, that'd be like. I feel like the video game does it right if it does that, because that's like horrifying, and you have to face off against that. So he I feel like that's good. That's true. He give you a leech? I feel like that's like way above. You're telling me he's worse than a dog? In a hawk? I don't remember the gameplay with him though, so I don't remember how bad he is to actually play against. But it's cool. I've never seen a design like that in like any of the other in other games. Well, like, that's not true. In Dark Souls Three, there is, but yes, is there? Yeah. Yeah. I I Still, prefer uh, them in Dark Souls uh, Three with their over a, he's under a dog and a hawk. Like I feel like that. Deprive them. Longbow, uh, mm, I, is, I'll settle there, all right? Is, okay. Uh, <laughs> undead. Somewhere in the midst it's there. Like, this is like NPC, yeah, right there. bro. Fucking yeah, it, it literally a is. Skeleton. <laughs> she literally is. Okay, who's um, this? That's another one I can't Main Mysteria. Well. I don't remember this boss. That looks yeah. kind of cool. Kind of looks like Ornstein's armor. Yeah, it's it's a similar fight to Ornstein and Smo. It's just like a prototype for that fight. Then yeah, it's I think it uncancelled yeah. then. Okay, um man centipede is really gross. Yeah, it's horrifying. cool design though, yeah. It's, cool. it's gotta go like at least like Hunter, maybe? Yeah. Hunter, I, yeah. yeah. Bottom of Hunter. Cool, cool. Okay, man eater. Man -eater. Like a monkey? Ooh, you can't yeah, tell what that comes. is. It's like a gargoyle. Um, yeah, I think like, pretty basic, more like then. a demon. Yeah, it's pretty basic. He, okay. he's, he's Meat cleaver. Oh, I think that goes next to just a great just club. Yeah. Sword, yeah. yeah. Um, no, it's not a sword. It's a meat cleaver. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Knight of the Lance at least has a cooler name than the others. I know. Yeah. I think like meat cleaver is a bit cooler than that. Because it's just meat cleaver phantom. It's just his weapon. But Knight of the Lance implies that he is at least good with a lance. Yeah, yeah. he looks stupid. A, I would bet he does that a lot even. I don't get okay. what you're trying to reference there. 
uh, Lancelot, the Lance. Sir Lancelot. No, I, I, I understand what he was trying to reference there. Oh. Mind I, I Mind I feel player, like Mind Flayer's got to be pretty cool. Yeah, their Mind Flayers are it's, always cool, but it's not Dark Soul. It's like, it's basic because everything yeah. has Mind Flayers, but it is still a cool design. It's so cool. I, so I think like top of Hunter, bottom of Tarnish. Uh, Honestly, looking at the character design, a lot of this feels more like a prototype for yeah. um, Bloodborne than anything else. I yeah. Well, talk. this also has great old gods in it too. Yeah, yeah. So bottom of Tarnish, you say, Jesse? Yeah, that's what I would say because I like yeah. that design. I like the yeah. I like mind players that are cool. Okay, cool. Old hero, pretty <laughs> fucking a, basic. This is a hero, but old, yeah. bro. Below leechmonger and deprived. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Um, old king Alant. Now this one I want to place higher just because he's one of the hardest fucking bosses in the series for like no reason. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay, right below my player. Okay, what about a uh, old monk? This one I don't remember. I don't remember this guy yeah. either. Throw him in the middle of. Um, I can't even see what he looks. Uh, yeah, right there. Okay, <laughs> I can't. This is just um, another just invader. That's just, not yeah, yeah. Very but he's a little bit more fun because he can parry you. There you go. Okay, <laughs> the penetrator. The, the penetrator, penetrator is, uh, is an outer god just by the fact of his name. You know what? I'm 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 fine here. Mm. I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah. <laughs> Phosphorus and slug. Actually, yeah, I, I feel you like put the, the slug on the same tier as him. <laughs> no, no, okay. Can't put him in. <laughs> that's on the, that. That's mine. I think, I think like Lord of He should be next door to yeah, uh, next to the shiny boy. I, I like think the penetrator should be a demigod. It, it needs to a... go down. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. like Artorius is coming up. Yeah, like, true. All true. the more he's gone. I like Plague okay, Baby. Plague Baby. He, has, he has some quirk. I'm going to say he's like not as good as Crystal Lizards. Like, no, I, I think below Fat Official. Dead Space too. No, I like the tier. I'd say the tier under for Plague Baby because I wouldn't say he's okay. like that cool. He's just kind of funny. You see, like, a Plague I mean, Baby. you just stomp That's a hot once take, and he but, dies. You know. Yeah, it's like that creature right, from gamers. Witcher 3. Well, I, was, I was referencing Dead Space. Okay, Poison Jelly. Oh, I get you. I I it's pretty basic. Oh, it's just a jellyfish with yeah, spikes. Jellyfish. Yeah, I mean, I'd put it there. Okay. I don't cool. even know what I'm looking at on this next one. <laughs> it's a primeval I, demon. No, no, I still can't tell what I'm looking at. It looks like a sperm cell. It looks teeth. like a... What yeah. kind of sperm cells do you got? Well, look, it has a it flagellin. Looks... Yep. Yeah, but it don't have legs. <laughs> it looks like it if you those are hairs. mash together a ghast and a that sperm does not, cell. Sperm cell don't got hairs, too. So, like, deprived because it's, then. like, actively a, not a great design. Yeah. Okay. I just don't know what I'm looking at. I don't so know. It's just, uh, just a horde of prisoners. <laughs> I think that's prisoners, deprived yeah. as well. But it has to be above the single prisoner that's coming up, right? <laughs> uh, I don't know. The prisoner has some uh, individuality to him that I just really appreciate. Yeah, it's going to be slightly above the prisoner Thank horde. You. <laughs> okay, rat. <laughs> that's got to go with... Uh, are I you really about to put... Uh, like outer go god. Like here. Outer just... god. A singular rat. Because it is no. better than dog and hawk. Yes, it's not annoying. Yeah. Then, no, yeah. It's not as annoying, yeah. And they're good base. They're they're an RPG staple yeah. for a reason. Okay, Reaper, I think, like Hunter. Uh, I've been told not to fear them. Yeah, I. <laughs> yeah, yeah, blue oysters and all that. Yes. Wow. Okay. I think Red Dragon goes next to Blue Dragon, whatever the fuck he is there. Because it's just yeah, Dragon, but this one's red. This dragon. No, this is a knight, but with red eyes. <laughs> and he's next to the blue eyed knight. Is he better or worse than the blue eyed knight? <laughs> Personally, I like the color red more. Okay, there we go. And to okay. keep continuity, because the red dragon's above the blue dragon. That's true, well. true. So, like, Rock worm. Eh. I mean, yeah, I'd say, like, like unkindled. I'd say unkindled. He's like, it's, it's all right. Rocky, like a He's rock above the jelly, day. dude. Yeah. Jelly's his ass. Yeah. Okay, um, scale mine. <laughs> so I think that goes I like, with the prisoners. I like his, no, do I like his look? Yeah, he's definitely above the prisoners. And probably, like, right below Dirty Colossus. Yeah, he's definitely better than NPCs. Cool. Okay, Shadow Lurker. It is kind of cool. Yeah, uh, he's annoying though because every once in a while he'll just be like, "Nah," and grab you. <laughs> just like Skeletor. So then, like middle deprived, yeah. I guess. Sure. All right, he's Silver, Silver Skeleton. Skeleton has to be lower than Black and Gold. It's just not yeah, as cool. True. Yeah. It, just rarity wise, if you rolled him, you'd you'd immediately grind him mm -hmm. for XP for something else. Hey, Storm Beast. Stingray. 
That's kind of cool. I kind of like that. All right, Hunter. Uh, Parker tried to throw uh, C4 it, at um, is something that That's true. Like I did. That. I missed. And Kindled. Uh, it can be below fire. Let's see then. Okay, Storm King, which is just a cooler Storm Beast. This is better than that, so it has to go. Like Hunter? Bottom Hunter? Yeah, sure. Cool. Okay, Tower Knight. I think this is a really cool boss. He's the first boss you fight. He has interesting mechanics. That's the mechanics. big dude. Yeah, I remember him. I saw a trailer one time with him in it, so I know him. Like right here? Mm. He's in... Maybe. Okay, there. Right below Fat Official. Okay, Uchi Katana. Uh, Uchi Katana! I mean, Gucci uh, Katana! It's, it's gonna be somewhere higher than the other NPCs, because at least that's like where the Uchi Katana started, right? Yeah, yeah, right below Knight of the Tower. Or like here, I think. Because he's super basic, but he's like the top of super basic. Yeah. Okay, uh, Vanguard. But, uh, now I like the oh, cut yeah. of that man's jive right there, dude. Are you going to add to Uchi Katana? Larry? Uh, I was just going to say, I also really like that weapon, and I, I feel really like when weapon. he gets introduced, it's just like a cool little moment of, uh-oh, for that. it looks like he no, means yeah. business. Because there's a character <laughs> from Dark Souls 3 that I think will be above him, because he's him but cooler. So I think like yeah. high and kindled, because yeah. it's the start of Uchi. I don't know what I'm looking at on Vagnar, but I, I like his look, bro. Yeah, I also don't know what this is. I definitely put, put him on like four. Yeah, I think you already did. Yep. Okay, cool. Now we're into uh, Dark Souls, a game we've all played to completion. Yay. I don't, I don't remember Viscard. Um, that is like the people that cast the humanity magic at you from Ulysseal. They're really annoying and they're gross. Um, uh, like I, I think like wretched, honestly. Yeah. Okay, I don't really remember. You don't even gotta ask about the next one. Artorias of the Abyss, <laughs> obviously, like out of God, one of the best bosses uh -huh. in the series. Cool lore, cool design. Cool fight. Okay, Asylum Demon. He's got to be tarnished at least. Like, I would yeah. put him higher first. Yeah, this isn't just yeah. Asylum Demon, by the way. This includes, like, Fire Sage, Stray Demon. Yeah. Okay, he's then, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah, he's yeah. Just cool. Yeah, because uh, I was going to say, I, he's a really brilliant um, uh, and kind of an original thing that a lot of people have aped, where it's just a unsurmountable like god when you first uh, approach him mm -hmm. that then turns into different variants that you fight throughout the game to prove how much stronger you have i yeah. think it's really innovative and i i honestly would argue for um lord of cinder yeah, very higher. base of yeah. it but because i, I think tower knight cooler overall but yeah i agree He's uh, just though. for like kind of what he stands for i would argue that placement okay. Baldur Knight. This is a basic enemy, but he's a pretty cool basic enemy. Because, like, compared to a lot yeah. of the other hollows you run into, the Baldur Knight's, like, the super hollow of the hollows. I wouldn't put him in tarnished. I'd say, like, horror. Like, bottom of horror. I don't know, because yeah. I think he's better than Reaper, at least. He has a more interesting design than Reaper, because Reaper's basic. And Reapers are more yeah. annoying than Baldur Knights. Okay. Um, Banshee. These are the dude, ghosts. They just suck my nuts, dude. They suck. Yeah, these are the ones specifically that don't attack you, but when they get close to them, they scream. Nah. I thought that was like grab you. No, that's a different one down. Whoop. These one is not as bad as those, I think. So I think like deprived. Because like, sure. if you ignore the banshee, they they don't attack mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. Okay. A basilisk. This is a basilisk He's for every game. He's at least gotta go and tarnish, dude. I don't know. He was cool. Like, when you first meet him, bro, it's cool. He has a very cool design as well. Like, when the, someone dies yeah. to them and they become, like, the crystals. Yeah. That's pretty I'd cool. I'd say at least tarnish, bro. And they're not like, annoying to deal with because it's very rare do you actually die to them. And if you die to them, it's because yeah. you were bad. It's iconic when you see him. One second. Bark! Bark, bark! Let me grab my phone. Oh, nothing. Oh, it's getting too hot in my room. I gotta take off the blazer. One second. Why are you wearing a... Oh, because you're streaming this way. It is toasty in here. Ooh. Okay. Toasty! Alright, next we've got the flying demons from Anne Orlando. They're uh, annoying. But Jesse that's... said he was going to grab his phone real quick. Okay. Or oh, we can talk. Back. Okay. There he is. Uh, the <laughs> flying demons from Anne Orlando. I mean... They're annoying, no, like, but that's kind of it. Yeah... I mean, I wouldn't put him that far. I put him in the middle. Yeah, I'm killed. 
Yeah. Uh, I think that they they found uh, their style more in this game, but they were still kind yeah. of firing out. Okay, hot take. Especially, like... Hot take, I like the better Chaos. Uh... I mean, he's, like, cool, but... Yeah, it's cool it's... and unique. A lot of people say that it's a bad boss and there's, like, random chance involved, but I've never actually lost on my first try while killing the Bed of Chaos. And I like its idea, I like its design, I like its lore, so I like the Bed of Chaos. Right, but how high does this, like, go? Like, tarnished. Okay, I'd I'm, I'm willing to equivocate Like, on that above thing. the average. It's not my favorite boss in the game, but most people would probably put it down here, and I would disagree with Deprived Wretched Hollow. Oh, he's curse. unique at yeah. least. Yeah. I think it's a fun boss, and I think it's a unique boss. Okay. I'm fine with it. Cool. Um, oh, Bell Gargoyle. I think, like, Demigod. They're yeah, pretty cool. Bell Gargoyle, thing. you said, goes in Demigod? Yeah, it's the first oh, Bell right. of Awakening boss. It, you fight two of them, and then each Bell Gargoyle is different. It's unique. It is cool. Um, each one, uh, one fires lightning, one fires fire. They have their I mean, axe tail. You can get a tail weapon, and they were used in, like, every game after this, too. I mean, they're literally not unique, but... Um... They were unique in Dark Souls 1, I mean, how their mechanics worked in a boss fight. Oh, I, I, I am making the joke that since there were three of them they weren't and unique remember those ones um, a common enemy too later yeah they also become common enemies later um uh and so i was more making the joke of yeah. I, I just think demigod's a little high i'd say lord of cinder because they were cinder, also still crystal lizard though fucking annoying I, I I really didn't like them personally but <laughs> <laughs> okay then lord of cinder sure Next, Black Bridge. Dragon Calamite is it's a pretty cool dragon, but I still kind of a dragon. This is above the other dragons. They're, yeah. They're, yeah. yeah, I think like this in is Hunter. a little quest where you got to shoot him down and stuff. Yeah, like that. which that does raise him up. I think he has to be above like the Hoplite at least. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Next, Black Knights Black, are pretty that's good. That's Lord of Cinder, bro. It's like either that or Demigod. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, and I think they're higher than Silver Knight because they're like. You find one early, and they're always around, and they're cool. And the Silver Knight's a bit more basic. And they yeah. drop good loot. Black too. Knights are just yeah. better. <laughs> and their lore is cool. That the whole thing is they went to the bed of chaos, and their flame was permanently yeah, they're charred. Black. Yeah, <laughs> and like that's they're that's thirsty. really cool. Okay. Um. Oh, this is the toxic sniper from Blight Town. I think that's cursed. I hate these guys. Yeah. Fuck them, yeah. dude. I don't even it's see them. Fuck yeah. those guys. If they, they didn't give you if they give you poison, it wouldn't be cursed. But since it's toxic and you have to get blooming moss clumps, cursed. Yep. And also, like, they can shoot you from different levels, yeah. and it's just yeah. like, God, yeah. where did that come from? Oh god, yeah, oh god. Minding your own business, and it's like yeah. toxic. I'm like, excuse me? And, and unless you build sudden, pure just... resistance, it's two hits yeah. from it, always. And um you can try to dodge out of the way and you just fucking dive and start careening deep yep. and deeper yep. into yep. Yeah, they suck. They're, they're terrible. Yeah. Okay, Bone Tower. Uh, it's a funny name. It's like cool, I guess. Yeah. Like Hunters, I mean, like maybe? Uh, yeah. mm, I'd say I, Unkindled, like kind yeah. of top of Unkindled, because like, it's different, but like, it's not yeah, that okay. cool. <laughs> no, and it's a relatively quick boss fight from what I remember. Well, it's not too. a boss fight. It's well, when Patches kicks you down the hole, you find three of them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It just feels like a boss fight because you have that um, cutscene beforehand. Yeah. Okay. Um, bounding Fuck Demon. What's a Bounding Demon? Hold on. Let me see if I can get this bigger. Which one is... Is Patches in this motherfucking list? Yes. Should be. He's specifically in Elden Ring because that's the only one that's considered a boss fight. Mm. But he is, yeah. What is the Bounding Demon? I... Oh, it's, these are the T-Rex fuckers from the Bed of Chaos. I never understood them. They were, they were, they were kind of quirky, though. Yeah, I think just because you have to fight them in lava and their health is massive, they're, like, wretched. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes? No. no? Okay. Better. Okay, we got these uh, burrowing wa rock worm motherfuckers. Oh, uh, I forgot about them. I mean, they're, they're kind of cool, so... Oh, those guys. Yeah. Uh... I'm thinking deprived. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know. I mean, I kind of they're gross, but they're kind of cool and unique. But they don't really have I any like cool game of... mechanics, though. They no, just come out of the wall, go back in wall, come out of wall. The time they ambush you, bro, and there's like six of them, and you're trying to get that chest. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, it's it's cool. It just I I feel like they're also terribly annoying. Yeah. Um, without adding a whole lot more, I I, I feel guess. like there are similar ambush enemies that bring more to the table yeah. than just being in lava area and yeah. come from wall. Like, I think the blow dart sniper is a better ambush character, but he's also way fucking worse <laughs> to deal with. All right, Cap or Demon, I think, is pretty high. It's a pretty cool yeah. design. It's a cool boss, and it's the same sort of thing like with yeah. the Asylum Demon. I agree. I, I don't think he goes as high up. I would put him in um, Tarnish, personally, but... Yeah, and because he has that dog in his fight as well, the two dogs makes oh yeah, yeah, yeah. annoying. He got that dog in him. Okay, was this um the ceaseless discharge? It's interesting in design. It's cool, but his boss fight's lame as fuck. Also, it's a gross yeah. name. Yeah, I think deprived. Honestly, who are you? I am the ceaseless discharge. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> it's also extra gross because it's called ceaseless discharge, but that discharge is like lava, but it makes you think like pus. Yeah. It's not great. Well, where's that lava? They, they talk about burning, bro. Where do you think that where that lava is coming from? <laughs> oh, Centipede Demon. <laughs> Centipede Demon is one of the grossest looking bosses in this game. <laughs> so it's wiggling centipede <laughs> fucking toes, everything about it. I hate. I don't like it. I just like that just noise like that bugs. Jesse made. I don't like yes. bugs, that is correct. Mm -hmm. I just don't like that you guys throw every bugs <sighs> immediately into the W tier without, hey, I... without thinking about it. You only wretched. see bug, and you're like, that's that's wretched. I think it's wretched, because you also have to fight him in lava. You get the cool lava ring, but I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like the boss. I think you should finish your fears. I've, I've played through this game many a time. No, I meant in like real life. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm not going to go fight on. a centipede in lava. All right, Chained Prisoner. These are the weird like creatures from Ula Seal with like the mace rock and the weird like spike on their head that does insane amounts of damage. Oh, yeah. Which one? Which one? Okay. Like you find them in Ula Seal, and they're like they're really slow walking. They have a spike in their head. Oh, it's in prison. Yeah, I got yeah, you. yeah, yeah. I, got you. I think just because like how much damage did they deal and how annoying they are, like wretched. Because you can never stat it hear them. I like them personally, but um, I I I I agree that they're they they run into a similar issue with whatever enemy I said earlier that was. <laughs> Just kind of beefy boy without really anything yeah, else. Pretty much, yeah. Okay, um, just Chaos Bug. You just gotta find these in the I, uh, path. I like Chaos Bugs because especially that moment at the end of Solaris. Well, that's yeah, a different storyline. That's a Sunlight Maggot and not a Chaos Bug. Oh. Mm. They're a different creature, yeah. Well, I'd probably say, like... Don't they look very similar, though? They do. Yeah. The only difference is one has the glowing sunlight orb, pretty much. Ah. Then, um, Chaos Bugs weren't that impactful. I was, yeah. I was just thinking so vividly of the Solaire moment where you, you're just like, my boy. <laughs> yeah. But that moment's very cool, but the Chaos Bugs don't really accomplish anything outside of they just kind of hop around. Well, I just, I, again, just the lore-wise, I think is, I think that's really interesting, their lore, but, uh, and also their greater impact on, like, the story with Solaire and stuff like that. Yeah. But, but right. again, that's a different enemy, so. Yeah. So we got the Chaos Eater. I hate these. They're gross. They're not, like, bad to deal with, but they are very, very gross. I, like, I mean, I think they're rather unique, honestly. They're unique, like, but none of their uniqueness, I think, is good. I think it's gross uniqueness. And they're not a cool enemy to deal with. They just are there. They're not a challenge. The only challenge is if you accidentally fall on their head in that one moment when you're going after <laughs> Siegmeier, and that's it. That's a pretty cool mechanic, though, or that you just fall on them and then... 
you just consume you. I think that's kind of fun. So then what tier are you thinking, Jesse? I would say horror. I, I couldn't too. put it in Hunter. Oh, it said horror. Oh, it says Hunter, gotcha. I could uh, I, be in the middle with Hunter like, X, kingdom. even. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think, like, above fire, was it then? Okay, I think Quaylag is pretty high. She's a very cool yeah. boss. Yeah, cool I boss see weapon. a demigod, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Uh, her whole story and the storyline with her sister mm -hmm. is fucking baller, too. Yeah. I cool love weapon. Her sister. Cool boss. Cool story. All around, I think Quay like is just a really good boss. I agree. Okay. Um, these are the people that you find in that cat forest. They're really fucking annoying. Oh. Um, or, oh. And yeah, they're not unique they're either. They're just people. They're just people. Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, fine right. with just ditching. All right. Deprived it is. Okay. Um, Crag spider. These are the things that like have the fire tones. Yeah, it's the, is it the? Oh, yeah, it's that one. Okay. Uh, they're like they're okay. Uh, they're they're all right. Yeah. Good, yeah. I think like just bottom of unkindled because I don't do anything yeah. too interesting. Okay, crossbreed Priscilla. I think goes up in demigod as well. I'd say so. Yeah. Is story... she the moth or? Um, no, she's the she's girl the, like, painted dragon. world. Yeah, where you can oh, choose not to yeah, fight her if I you don't agree. want to. Yeah. I think that alone is really fucking cool. In fact, I'd say higher than Penetrator. <laughs> and she has a uh, unique mechanic of she goes invisible and you have to track her footprints, which is also really cool. Okay, um, Crow Demon. I think they have an interesting design. That's all I can really say about them. They're the uh, Crow Demons from the I mean, Painted World. Yeah. I mean, I, I'd agree on that one. All right. Cool. Uh, Crystal Golem. Mm, I mean, I don't um, like the Crystal Golems, to be honest. They're like, yeah, they're just, I don't either. They're just Crystal Golems that hit hard, so like Deprive, maybe? Yes. That's what I was thinking, yeah. All right, cool. Okay, then we have the Crystal Knight, which is pretty much the same thing. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like in like the Hollow territory where like yeah. all the fucking... I'd say probably higher than the, the trio of skeletons. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit more, because he's at least he's unique, but, like, not that yeah. unique. Okay, Crystal Lizard. This is the Crystal Lizard from Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, which I think goes above Demon Souls. Yeah, it's gotta Lizard. go above, because yeah. it's what we spent most time with. Alright, cool. Next, we have uh, Dark Sun Gwendolyn. Interesting lore-wise, okay. it's a unique boss, and you don't have to fight him, so I think he's higher than, like, Hunter and Enkindled. But the boss fight isn't actually very interesting. You just yeah, run through I mean, a hallway. To be honest. I'd actually put it like below yeah, Benny you, You're it's really interesting lore wise, but yeah. you are just running forever and ever and yeah. ever yeah. during that fight. Well, just it's just the beach is a Normandy. But it's yeah. dark stuff, Gwendolyn. <laughs> and then you slap him once he's like yeah. ah. And yeah. there's no bar rifle <laughs> shooting at you either. Yeah, it's just Soul Spears instead. Okay, the uh, Dark Wraiths. I like their design. I think they're cool and I, they're a challenging basic enemy. I think so, their design is like the best part of them. Yeah. I used their armor for like the whole time during that game, so. Yeah, I think like top of Hunter personally. <laughs> yes, no? Mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, I give it that. Alright. Um. Dark Moon Soldier. I don't even know who this is. I think these are the two guys that follow Latrac when you invade him. Dark Moon Soldier. Do not what? care then. Are they? I don't know. I, I don't think. I don't. I honestly don't remember. I just think, like, deprived. They're just sure. there. Yeah. Since I don't really remember. Okay, next we have the Drakes from the Valley of the Drakes. Little tiny fuckers that shoot lightning at you. Yeah. There's, like, small dragons, dude. <laughs> yeah, they're just small yeah. dragons. We gotta dude. put them lesser than the big dragons, dude. Yeah, I think, like, just yeah. deprived. Big dragons, dude. Got it. Egg carrier. These guys are gross as fuck, but they don't really do anything to you. But, but they can. If they do grab you, they can infect oh, you and yeah, get rid of your helmet. Yeah, so that's, like, cursed, I think. 
And also, aren't they the ones that throw up on you? Yeah, when they throw up on you, they mm -hmm. infect you, and then you can um, get infected, so you get an egghead and you can't wear helmets. So yeah, I think that's bursts. curse, that's suck. Yeah. Yeah. And when you kill them, oh, it's yeah, so gross. Oh, yeah, and you can't gross. wear... Oh, that's so annoying, yeah. And speaking of another one, I think this is also curse, because if these guys give you toxic, and if you're anywhere close hey, to them when you kill them... Oh, then you're gorgeous. I think yeah. they're kind of cool. Mm. They're kind of cool, but that toxic, and you have to either use a spear or range to not get toxic, because if you're anywhere close, even if you roll. I don't know. I think they're incredibly so annoying. Cursed, I think cursed and not higher than cursed, just because they have a slightly cool design, but that's kind of it. As long as the ends go below them, I'm kosher about that. And. <laughs> yeah, they have to be better than the other two, but the ants are also really fucking annoying to deal with. They're just annoying, and they are, like have active camouflage too, which yep. is really annoying. Mm. They have the grab. They deal yeah. like insane amounts of damage for like no reason. Yeah, and they also get you with toxic, depending on the one. Yeah. Okay, flaming attack dog. This is like a dog, but it <laughs> it's bleeds yeah, fire. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. he's got to be above normal dog. Yep, I agree. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, you know what? Put him above the crystal golem because he's a bit more interesting than big blue boy hit hard. You All right, can next. fight the giant cat. Can yes. Oh, yeah, so next round, four kings. Four kings were pretty cool. I'd say yeah. they're like they weren't that cool. So I'd say like no. tarnished. I would even put him in Hunter, because outside of, like, they have a cool arena and story, but all they do is swing big sword. And they also come in, like, a, a cool part of the story, too, which I think is, because they're, like, the last major milestone, yeah. aren't they? Pretty much, yeah. But New Londo, I think, is also criminally underdeveloped. It's such a cool area that they that's just could have done more with. So I think because of like that, that's why they I would put them in Hunter instead of Tarnished. Yeah, that's that's fine with me. That is a really fun area though, uh, arena boss fighter. Yeah, it's one of the coolest and that ones. They just start coming from the abyss, and you're just like, just that moment of oh, where am I? <laughs> <laughs> and then just giant fuckers start coming from. And yep. also, isn't that an area where um, if you don't have the right item, you just yep. fall through the ground too? I yeah, if you don't have the ring, you drop down and you just die, and it tells you you've been consumed by the abyss, which is very it's interesting. <laughs> yeah, it is very funny. Okay, we got Frog Ray. A basic little forest denizen. Um, I think he's kind of cool. <laughs> he's got to be at least in the middle of Enkindled. He looks like an N64 character. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he just looks fun. He just looks funny, dude. <laughs> hey, look at that tongue. What did do? A gaping dragon, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's the top dragon in Dark Souls, at least. I'd, I'd, I'd say, be. like, I don't know. I really like him. It's super yeah. cool, the intro. So I say Demigod. Yeah, I think... I think even top of Demigod, because I would be... I almost want to put him in Outer God, just because the intro is cool. The boss He's cool. close, yeah. One sec, yeah? Okay. I think I'll put him in the bottom of Outer God, because there's cooler bosses. But hey, Soapy! Hey! You both can have that guy. Hey, Soapy! What? Hey, stop barking at Weasel. Hey, hey. Hey, hush. Okay, uh, now we've got the ghost. I think these guys are like hollowed. Which where are we at? The gaping the dragon? Ghost. No, the, no ghost. the ghost. I'm sorry, did I miss gaping dragon? Yeah, yeah we put him in outer god. Good, because <laughs> he's fucking yeah. radical. He's cool. His lore is cool. His boss fight's cool. His intro is cool. His, all of us. His boss fight's fight cool. Yeah. cool about him. Yeah. Oh, it just uh, him being a little crocodile dude when he first gets yeah. introduced. Yeah. Like, oh. And, like, oh. and, and then it, he just stands up and is yeah. like, oh. <laughs> and it's literally his entire lore is some guy just liked eating a lot, so he became that monstrosity. I'm in danger. <laughs> okay, now we're on giant cat. Oh no, we're on ghost. We were talking about ghost. Yeah. Um, oh, no, he's basic. And well, I think because they're annoying. You they have grab. to have the item to yeah. fucking touch them. And they go through walls. You can't escape them. I I yeah. think they're like in hollow. They're a bitch to deal with. Yeah, I agree with that. Okay, cool. Giant cat. Yeah. 
These guys sonic around, they jump around. I, I kind of like them. I don't think I ever fought giant a giant cat. They're, they're good or unique. I like their design. Yeah. I think, like, I, you don't I have to always fight them. immediately yeah. joined the guild, like, without question. Yeah. Well, there's still, like, an area, isn't there, where they lurk? It's, like, in the uh, going to Sif, isn't it? Yeah. That area. Then I a lot of the time, fought them, I because there's trees remember. everywhere, a lot of times I just like roll and get stuck in a tree and you can just run past them. If you just well, go to Sif too, I don't think any of them actually like yeah. go. I don't think they go towards know. it. Alright, giant humanity. Um, <laughs> is there a smaller I mean, humanity? <laughs> yeah, it's the humanities that are slightly smaller than them. Well, I mean... Uh, it's kind of cool when you see them in the distance, yeah. but I, mean, I think yeah. they're cool, but they don't do anything. So I think like yeah, unkindled. Yeah, like yeah. upper middle of unkindled. I you would say. Just see it, you're like, wow, and then that's about it. Yeah, yeah, and then you interact with them at all, and you're like, oh, <laughs> I just slap them. <laughs> yeah, and then they die, and like sometimes they might drop you a rekindling item. And it's like, oh, fine. if you're a good boy, yeah. All right, giant leech, basic as fuck. I think they don't. They're not necessarily yeah. extra gross. They're just there. They give you green titan, yeah. I guess. I mean, but that's yeah. if you're building a very specific yeah. item. So mm. I, I don't. I, don't I think just think they're... Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of right. boring. Giant mosquito. I put it in cursed for one specific reason because this thing. Every single randomizer is the worst, worst creature in the entire game to get randomized. <laughs> I, oh, that's true because there's. It's been Manus for those, me, and it was Gwyn for me, Jesse and Brand back yeah. in the day. It's like action, and then like even if you're not randomizing, they're a flying enemy that shoots poison at you. That's impossible. Yeah. To hit. And if and it's they hang out in a really dark area too, mm -hmm. and so you if you're not paying attention, really close attention, you're going to get hit you're nailed fucked. by one of those fuckers. <laughs> yep. And even the fact that um, there's a lot of them, but the problem is, um, one instance of them spawns eight times. Yeah. So uh, you have to deal with them the entire time you're down there. Yeah. Okay, giant and, skeleton. And they oh, always yeah. they respawn even yeah. if. Before you sit down at a bonfire, so yep. they're always there, which is yeah. really annoying. All right, giant skeleton. Yeah, the big uh, sword. I mean, he has a big kick, but otherwise he's a skeleton. Um, he's he is skeleton, but big boy. So um, I don't know. Above the gold and silver, I'd say. Really, I'd put him like middle, because he's still. Uh, he's, I he's, would. He's basic. Skeleton. I would also put him above well i think he has a bit more pizzazz because of his um yeah, his girth <laughs> his girth and his big old sword all right there you and go. also he's he's I, I i like bruisers that's my own personal uh thing i like bruisers i like playing them i like being a big dumb boy there's um, his personal feelings into this again <laughs> yes well this is i like yeah, being I, and battered <laughs> i'm a masochist I, I I like big dumb boys, and he's just big dumb boy, but undead. So <laughs> well, yeah, he's definitely dumb. His brain is rotted out of there. Mm, he don't got no brain. Yeah. Or uh, no. Anyway, uh, we got giant. These guys aren't like actual enemies usually, because like the only one you can fight oh, them if you want, but they're just yeah. giants. Kind of boring to be honest. There's cooler giants in the series. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And like the giants in two, I think have an inter more interesting yeah. story. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, Grave Lord Nito. Cool design. Boring boss fight. Cool lore. Oh boy, do I think his fight is? Don't say it. Fight against I... it. It, <laughs> it is. A... Fight the urge. You can do better. Oh, you could. You could. You could. You cool. Could do better. It's there. cool. There really, go. I was thinking of the little Nito. Anyway, I think oh. like because of lore and design, I think he's like tarnished. But his boss design fight was like top tier. Yeah, so he's difficult because his boss fight takes him down, but him as a character is cool. So like, I'm thinking like top of Tarnished or bottom of Lord of Cinder. Mm, I'd say Lord top of, of Tarnished. No. Oh, okay. Uh, I so thought we yeah. were going to be in an agreement because we've been agreeing <laughs> on a lot, Jesse. <laughs> um, okay, Great Grey Wolf Sif, I think, is like demigod at least. I love. Yeah, yeah. I, I, 
I think Audi he's, he's just like, yeah, he I'd is, say top, top. Yeah. Certified yeah. hood classic. Cool story. Dog with sword. There's that whole thing if you find him after Ulysseal and then you fight him. Yeah. There's that whole sad scene where he sniffs you and howls. So I think he's top tier. I think Artorias still beats him, but barely. I I think that that is some of the best like nonverbal storytelling that they have. Mm -hmm. In, yeah. in video gaming nonstop. Because, like, even if you don't read any of the, like, external lore, you get immediately, like, what is going on mm -hmm. here. There's a dog on a grave with a sword. You can put two and two together there. And okay. especially, like, just, I, I think it's, it's really beautiful how they do the storytelling mm -hmm. in that scene. And which even then when you actually do read the lore, it gets deeper because then you get, you know, that yeah. one that's not actually the grave of Artorias. He's not there. You get the, um, you are yeah. the guy who killed Artorias and you killed this dog's master, but you also saved him. And so it's just, it's a, as a body video would say, it's a, you know, it's a prepare to cry moment right there. <laughs> no, dude, I don't want to cry. All right. Great Stone Knight. Uh, this is cooler than Giant, but still a basic enemy, I think. Yeah. Yeah. All right, nice and easy. Okay, Gwyn Lord of Cinder, I think is out of God too, just... I think he's below the others, but his song is like one of the best songs in the series. His lore, his final fight being not that difficult and kind of ties up the entirety of the game. I think he's really cool. Yeah, because I, I, I just remember feeling like his fight was really anticlimactic for me. And that was the point. I... Okay, but I I feel like I don't know, man. I I just feel like um there there is a difference between something being like purposefully like um it just felt like I built stronger than the game was anticipating. Not that he was actually meant to be that weak is how it felt when I played it through the first time. So then where that what, was the emotion that was invoked in me. What tier do you think it would be in then? Um honestly, maybe mid-range hunter. Honestly, I was not impressed with him at all. But that's also, I know, super I, I just feel like there are way more interesting bosses in general, and for him to be kind of the culmination he looks cool i agree that his song's really neato um but i i just feel like there are, are uh, yeah i'm trying to brush past it so you don't yell at me um <laughs> uh i i just feel like he's not a good representative of the series all right what do you think jesse i mean i'd say like i wouldn't put him in outer god i would honestly say lord ascender i mean he's like he's cool but he's not like that's what I was oh, thinking cool. as the middle between Hunter and Outer God is Lord of Symbol Cinder. Lord of Symbols. Fine Lord of me. Symbols. Alright, next this we have assembling. Hollow. It's it's just a hollow. I I I Hollows are pretty cool, but they're not that cool. No. <laughs> just put them truly in the middle. <laughs> yeah, right right there in Unkindled. Okay, and Festive Barbarian. Middle as middle could be. There's these gross big boys that stop you when you try to go to Blight Town. Yeah, aren't those the ones that no. throw shit at you? No, no it's um, there's oh, two yeah. of them. The Poison drop Club the one ship. and the Rock yeah. dude. And they drop yeah, shit. Yeah, but they yeah. drop the shit. That's pretty cool. They gotta go at Hunter. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, like Hunter. <laughs> Non-debatable. Okay, um, Infested Ghoul. <laughs> they're kind of like the Infested Barbarians, but they're worse. There, yeah. There's that one dude that hits you with a corpse as his weapon. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty funny. So I think that's like Hunter as well. I'm cool with that, yeah. Alright, next. Um, Iron Golem. I feel like he's cool. He's cool. Like... Lame boss fight, cool weapon, and, and he looks cool. I feel like Hunter. Yeah. Put him like mid-range Hunter. Uh, fine uh, with King me. Jeremiah is the All most right. Gucci'd out man alive. Yeah. So he's gotta go pretty high. He's got a brain tumor going on. Yeah. I'm thinking like Hunter. I'll move to the top of Hunter, all right? All right. I think he has to be below the four kings, so. though. All right. Um, Knight Kirk. This is another guy that invades, and his mode of attacking is mainly yeah. rolling into you. Right. That's pretty cool, dude. As far as oh, invasion yeah, goes, he's, like, 
pretty top tier invasion, so I think yeah, I Yeah, because I, I like him. Plus his armor is super cool. Yeah, like right there. Okay. Also, it's uh, the just amount of videos I've seen of people um, invading or, or getting invaded and they just do the praise the send pose and just roll into the invader is just yeah. too glorious to... Alright, man eater clams. I think they're pretty cool as far as like animal enemies go. Like all yeah. right. yeah, with the I, mid. I would put them base of hunter personally, just because I, I, I think it's really interesting storytelling just in terms of the design. Yeah, the skulls um, in their mouth. Yeah. Just like this is obviously a trap, but yet still so many people have fallen victim mm -hmm. to it because of the allure of treasure. Yeah. Things man do for twinkling tight night. Yep. True. Okay. That is what Napoleon said. Man serpent. Mm -hmm. uh, basic basic enemy. That's man serpent. It has sword and shield. I don't know. But I like man serpent better though, design wise, than like a skeleton. That's like, I agree. Like top of unkindled. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Man eater Mildred. I think it's pretty high compared she's to other right. phantoms, but she's still a basic phantom. She's the one with a bag on her head and a butcher's knife. <laughs> she's also a she cannibal. She be uh, <laughs> thick. And if you kill her, she helps you fight Quaylag, which is kind of yeah. cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I think, like, oh, Base yeah. Hunter. The band. Also, she do be thick with a couple of Cs. So. Yeah, Larry said that twice. He really wants to get across how thick she is. <laughs> About six she Cs worth. Th she, she do be thick. Okay, man, I think she is thick, Larry. I think Manus True. is demigod. Yes, Hey man, if you show me some thick thighs, I must protest uh, at their um, uh, life-saving uh, benefits. Okay, I'm not gonna. You I'm not gonna saying? argue. I'm not gonna argue. I don't think you really can argue. I, 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 yeah, I don't, I'm not like it. <laughs> I hear yeah, has a point. Man is father of the abyss. He's pretty cool. I'd say yeah. like demigod. He's not. That's like, what I was thinking. I was like thinking demigod. Because we all know we have to make room for mushroom people. <laughs> yeah, yes. we're getting close to this. Right there. Yes, yeah. yes, all right. yes, 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 yes. Marvelous it's Chester. Really, oh, man. I don't remember Marvelous Chester. Oh, he's he's the, here's the, the dude in the DLC. Yeah, Just like, like Bloodborne character. If you talk to him later, he'll oh. change you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you like yeah, Hunter. Dickhead. He looks cool, though. Yeah. yeah. All right, massive souls. These are these weird, gross creatures in New Londo. Yeah, I don't really. I think they go. Uh, un, yeah. I think uh, unkindled because they at least them. have a cool design. Yeah. All right. Mimic. That's a, that's Outer God, I think. Uh. Well, this is the mimic. I love yeah, mimic for mimic. all of them. Top of list i can't put him yeah. above artorius i don't think but he's definitely up and out he's guard. definitely cool i mean the first time Top him. of list no i agree i think he's bottom of the why do you keep saying top of list if you because just, you're kind of starting to convince me. me i think he's better than artorius actually now that you're no, saying no, 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 put him in from fucking wretched dude honestly <laughs> you know? i would cursed. put mm. i would put sif above artorius um and then mimic and then Ar artorius well that would make this was my list wrong. but yeah, but, I think we can't know. put Sif ahead of Artorius mainly because Artorius is what makes Sif a better fight. Because before you have the DLC, you get you don't get that same um, clip, you don't get the same cutscene, mm -hmm. and you don't get any of that extra emotional things that Artorius has. So I think that's why he's below Artorius, personally. No, I agree with you. I just personally, if this was my list, I I agree. Encomps. Income. Income. I agree. Income. <laughs> That's it. He just ends it right there. All right. Moonlight if, Butterfly. Moonlight Butterfly. <laughs> it's kind of mid, honestly. Yeah. I would say the thing is, is that personally, I think that the Sif fight is one of the best moments in gaming nonstop, and like it is like the. That's one of the best, like, non-verbal storytelling moments in, a, in a, I, th I think, a lot of media. Just the amount that gets expressed, and then you have to fight the fucking thing, the roller coaster of emotions you're going through. 
I think is so brilliant and is something I, that like range of emotion so quickly is something that I don't think has been kind of attached in the same way. Um, especially in a series like this that is usually big monster bad go beat up. Um, but that's why I am so partial towards Sif. Because if I had to argue why video games are art, the battle with Sif would be the first thing that I would go to. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but I, I understand why Arto Artorius is a better Dark Souls enemy. If that makes sense. Yeah. But now, for one way worse, Moonlight Butterfly. Um, it, she's sweet. annoying. Uh, it's I boring. Think, yeah, it's really boring. I think the pride. She's annoying. Yeah, you just roll around. Yeah. She eats. I'm bulk. pretty sure when we did the playthrough together, we just, it, Jesse and I just pointed while you did all the work. Pretty the much, time. yeah. I mean, I was just casting spells at it while they were floating around. Yeah, it's just boring. All right, Mushroom People. Uh, the Lord top, Sander. no god. higher uh, outer god. I'd yes, say. I can't say yes. outer god. Yes, outer god. With top of demi god, then yeah, I'll say top of demi god. Also, uh, the big actually, ones fucking patch a pack a fucking yeah. punch. Those yeah. guys hurt. <laughs> That's so true. You're like, oh look, my friend, and then they fucking claw yeah, you. Yeah, they hit you with that <laughs> right hook, <laughs> dealing ninety percent of your health. Yeah. Fucking your ribs just break. Um, Necromancers. I, yes. I will say I mm -hmm. I would personally put the um, painted dragon above um, mushroom people, but just barely, because I, I I think the moment of you choosing whether or not you fight her, I think is a really interesting video game yeah. history. And you don't really have a yeah, choice to fight the mushroom people. They're coming They're for you. Just, yeah. just run away for the mushroom people, bro. They waddle. They, they chunky. <laughs> Like right. They're gonna catch up to you. They're like that the whole thing with the snail that never dies, and if it touches you, you die. They'll follow you forever. Mm -hmm. Eventually, they will get you, and they will beat the shit out of you. All right, Necromancer. They're kind of a lame uh, enemy, but they're like cool. Standard. They're cool because they make the skeletons come back to life. Yeah, and that's it's unique. Like above but... Skeletons. But yeah, like, I'm like bottom hard. hunter. Lucille Resident. I don't really like honestly I hate know what I'm looking at still to this day when I look at them. Uh, they got weird abyss oh, heads, yeah, long those. arms. Yeah. I hate them. I think they're like yeah, wretched. I think. Uh, I didn't I think know. they were that know. bad because if you had a, a you had a um if you had a, a weapon with reach, they weren't that bad because you could just dodge forward and hit them if you had an item with reach, but. I, I would put deprived. them definitely low and deprived, yeah. But sure. I think they're probably better than a primeval demon, the weird <laughs> cancerous bird cell he is. Alright, Ornstein. I think Ornstein's pretty top. Um he's a cool boss. It's cool. a Lord Ascender. Yeah. Yeah. Cool lore. I think like um Yeah, like below Crystal Lizard above Gwyn. He's more cool than Smo. Yeah. Smo's later, though. Um, we have um, Oscar of Artorias. Uh, very sad. He's a G. Him. He's a G. He's at least tarnished. Yeah. I I, I put him in the board, but that's, that's just me. That's just me. Yeah, what about you, Larry? He's a G, but I, it feels weird to call him an enemy. <laughs> Oh, because I mean, he, he hollows and he then he comes an and attacks later. you. Yeah, I yeah. know, but it, uh, he's a friend. He has an attachment to him. Yeah, he doesn't. Well, to be to fair, it. is Great Grey Wolf Sip an enemy? Like, if you meet yes. after the seal. Yes. He attacks he you in the same way. As yeah, so does Oscar. He runs out and attacks you. Uh, but I is that the same person at that point? Is my only question no i agree with him being on this list i just personally feel strange of like putting him as an enemy thinking of him as an enemy all right painting yeah, guardian he's out of here i think painted guardian is like deprived i don't like fighting yeah. them they're basic they just throw a lot of knives yeah. at you they're fast like mid of deprived yeah i agree all right paladin leroy i don't remember this guy you like ambush I, if you once on your way to Nita on that like thin walkway. 
I don't remember him either, but his name is Leroy, and he has the giant dragon tooth hammer. Yeah, so giant he's fuck off he, hammer. Yeah, he goes pretty high up for me. I'm thinking Hunter, I guess. Yeah, bottom, bottom of Hunter. hunter. Yeah, hunter. I'm happy right. with bottom, bottom of Hunter. Okay, what is it? Parasitic Wallhugger. This is one enemy. He's technically a mini boss in Blight Town. There's lore that this is Jeremiah, but that's it. He drops so Pyromancer going. shit. I'm not too, I don't remember him, to be honest. With you. you have to go out of your either. way in the topper part of Blight Town, and he's just on the wall. It's by where you get the Uchi Katana. I I definitely killed him because I did um the pyromancy shit in that game, but I I'm thinking I like don't. just deprived. Yeah, I he's guess. not really a mini boss. He's just there. Okay, mm -hmm. next we have Phalanx number two. I I think he has to be worse than Phalanx, but he's still cool. He's still kind of yeah. cool. All right, that works. Uh, next, I, what does that say? Pinwheel. Pinwheel is cool lore, it's the, okay. interesting, but a, kind of a lame enemy. He doesn't do anything, mm -hmm. but he's cool. You get cool masks from him. I like. I mean, it's a cool fight, and it's like really creepy. Yeah. But like the fight itself's boring. Yeah. So I'd say like, yeah, Hunter, like yeah. whatever you got, got it. Got it right below Lord, uh, Leroy. <laughs> okay, these um, I don't know how to pronounce this. Hold on, let me. Pisaka? Pisaka. Yeah, these are the um, weird maidens in Seath's area. That they play the creepy ass music and then they follow you. I think that's kind of cool that they do that. It's like the whole thing or like the horde of them that comes down the yeah. stairs. I think it's kind of cool. So like mid hunter? Sure. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, possessed tree is definitely outer god, right, guys? <laughs> I'm joking. No, I'm that's joking. just cursed. But, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I genuinely, I would put cursed. Like, really? I, I think they're funny, so I think they're after you're higher. They're just a tree that walks away. Funny? Yeah, they're just a oh, tree that walks around. Oh, yeah. I, for, yeah, I forgot that sometimes... they just scoot around. Yeah, yeah I forgot I they scoot funny, around. Yeah, and you turn around, like, just like, was that tree path? there? And they never really you know, attack like, you. They just follow you. It's like the time when like you go down that thin path yeah. and then you come back and there's like I don't this tree is blocking my way. <laughs> it's like I don't think this is how this works. So I'd I'd put them in unkindled. I think they're funny. Yeah, and it's kinda like it's a good laugh. <laughs> Larry, what say you? Um I forgot they scoot around, so I'm pretty pleased with them. So yeah, I, I honestly I'd put them even higher than um I put him a little high up in Hunter, honestly, because I, I forgot they scoot around, and that, yeah. that is good for a Yeah, here, they can be my Dark Faith. It is very funny. And that's also why you can turn into them in that game. You can turn into the tree and yeah. scoot around. Do you remember that? Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. I agree. Okay, Royal Sentinel. These are cool enemies, I think. They don't really do anything too crazy, but as far as giants go, they're a cool giant enemy. Cool. Eh. And their shield blocks 100% of damage. Even if you hit them, if you hit their shield at all, it blocks all of your damage. So I'm thinking like mid hunter. Mm, sure. I mean, yeah. they're just kind of like standard. Yeah. A little more than standard. Okay. Um, uh, Sanctuary I... Guardian is a cool boss, but I hate him. I I really like their design and I like Chimeras like mythologically so and I um, I know you didn't think it was a hard fight but I thought it was a hard fight. This is like the opposite of the gargoyles because like the gargoyles were really annoying and really difficult for me and um, also uh, who put the basilisks in Lord of Cinder? Those things should go under cursed. I no. fucking hate those things. The reason why we said no. Lord of Cinder is because they're a staple. They're cool. The whole thing when you die they're against them, they staple, but the Not same way they're a staple in the same way that if somebody took a fucking nail gun and to your head and pulled the trigger, <laughs> no, that would be know, a nail gun. Like, staple. Yeah, that's is that a, a staple nail, gun? Dude. Then okay, now I'm with you. Yeah, that's why he's he just counteracted his own argument. They had to stay. I just it, you. If you, like, are playing this game, how often do you really die to a basilisk? 
Uh, I've have... never died to a basilisk first. That isn't true. We have like both died to a basilisk before. Look, I can lower it to tarnish, but... In Jesse's no, world, no and Jesse idea. was wandering around somewhere, no and we died way. together, and one of those clumps of, like, eight of them, and we just got stunned by something and the next thing we knew we both died to one yeah that's cool that's a cool yeah. mechanic that, and then, like, I, the so bodies show in up honor of you players, like i'll lower it to okay, target that, but that cool. oh, oh that's no crazy. you can keep it in lord of Sender. that's crazy oh, no, I, 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 you know i think because you said curse we got to lower it by one at least but i think top of tarnished uh, because also think about like um how if you're a new player, like that's the fucking reason some people stop playing this yeah, series true. altogether. Think, yeah, true. this is Dark Souls though. It's not like it's supposed to be like. I a will say that is both a pro and a con. That if you die to them, you get like actively your health uh, gets destroyed yeah. and then you get a heal, which Forever. is cool. Ever. Which is cool, but also For sucks. An <laughs> item that you cannot find for the next like three or. Oh, that's not true. You just have to get. If you know where to go, it's in the aqueduct you can buy if them you from. If you know it. where yeah, to yeah. go, that's Dark Souls. Yeah. Yeah, it's the entirety right. of Dark Souls. Shouldn't have died to a basilisk for it. <laughs> yeah, true. Anyway, Seeds of the Scaleless is an okay He's boss. Cool, He's cool. Dude. No, you guys like Demi, bro. I like Seeds, bro. I don't think I can He's play cool. Demi. He doesn't really do anything but cool it, in a fight. It has the whole thing. Yeah, but think about it, though. With the whole, you can't kill him the first time, and then he sends you to fucking horny jail, and then you gotta go escape <laughs> jail just to go fight him again. Like, that's cool. He, that's he a does whole send stage. you to horny jail. Yeah, right? It's really cool, but, like, I think that puts him really high, but I don't think he can go into Demigod because his boss I'm fight isn't the cool. Lord Ascender. Yeah, like, a little under crystal lizards because those, those are pog. Yeah, he can go in I between agree. crystal lizards. I agree yeah, with that. I can agree with that. Okay, now we've got serpent mage. I think they're cooler than man serpent, but that's about it. Yeah, they're not that cool. Yeah, <laughs> fuck yourself. Like they're just they're serpents, but this this throws lightning. They they have four arms. Sure, dude, you can. Anyway, uh, silver knight. Where do we put silver knight? It's a lame black Link. knight. Like Hunter. I mean, yeah, yeah black knight is just not... I don't know, I mean... I think the black knights are cooler. Yeah, I mean, definitely. Yeah. And these, really these guys also have that one area in An Orlando with the bows. Where, yeah, that is like the worst. Just, yeah. yeah it's, it's so annoying. So I think um, it has to be top deprived or bottom unkindled, personally. That's it. Top unkindled. deprived. Really? I think uh, because of the bows, just I think. purely yeah. for the area in Anne Orlando yeah. where there's three of them launching their arrows yeah. at you. And, and they're you not just bows. Fucking stab your head, at, yeah. your eyes out. They're great bows. So they like launch you back massively. Yeah. Too, so it sucks. And it's while you're trying to like very carefully walk with janky 2012 mm -hmm. or whenever that game came out. I think it was 2010, yeah. Yeah, and so like just you're very carefully trying to walk on this super narrow platform mm -hmm. while also these things mm -hmm. that can explode and send you flying or yeah, that's it's no bueno. That's that's a no for me, Chieftain. Yeah. All right, no, next we got Skeleton Baby. I think it has to go with Plague Baby. It has to be above Skeletons, because yeah. it's funnier to see yeah. a Skeleton Baby. And you step on them. And all, you also, when you like find cold. them, you walk into that area, and you drop down. It's like, what is hitting me in the water? It's just an <laughs> army of these tiny fuckers. Of them, I'm, fucking, yeah. like, I'm just swinging. I'm taking like 30 of them out in one hit, but they just keep coming. It's that age-old like, story. Can you fight? How many toddlers can you fight at one time? <laughs> yeah, how many toddlers can you take in a fight? And I mean, I proved it in Dark Souls, like, a lot. So actually, you know what? I think Lord of Cinder. <laughs> Bottom of Lord of Cinder, but I think Lord of Cinder. It's just, you start, you go into an arena, and then there's just this tiny little thing pointing a finger at you mm -hmm. and cracking its knuckles. And then it's like, ah, oh, what's that about? And then there's like 20 of them come out of the woodworks. Uh, yes. <laughs> Okay, I think Skeleton Beast is higher than Skeleton as well. I think it's cool because yeah. the area. And they're like, because you see them, you're like, what the fuck is that? And then they also are terrible to fight, but they're cool. Plus, it's, it's that meme you've always seen where the dude, like, puts up his fucking the yeah. lantern and yeah. it's right in front of him. He just puts it down and walks away. That's a classic. Yeah, so I think, like, right, right by Skeleton, baby. Yeah. Oh, Skeleton. <laughs> Regular Skeleton. Well, I think... That's gonna, that's gonna be worse than the goal. That's, that's gonna yeah, be worse yeah. than all the other Skeletons. Where is it? Yeah. I agree. <laughs> We're just gonna have, like, seven Skeletons on the line here. Except for Skeleton, Baby, and Beast. <laughs> oh, yeah, but they're cool. 
Okay, we have just slime. It's, it's just slime. They're not like the other girls, Jesse. I know. <laughs> I think... it's a baby, Larry. <laughs> you sick fuck. <laughs> and it's a beast. <laughs> yeah, that's bad on both accounts. Uh, what the fuck, Larry? Hell yeah, it's a beast. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Stop it, Larry. Eat your Skittles or whatever and stop digging yourself in a hole. I think slime goes into prime. chips. It's close enough. Thoughts? I mean, yeah, I mean, they're just a slime. It's kind yeah. of funny when they fall on you, but I mean, that's it. Yeah, also, it's fun to hawk fireballs yeah. at them, but it is annoying when there's like five of them in the hallway and you're like, stop, fireball, fireball, yep. block, fireball, like, well, fireball. Now I have no block. fireballs for the boss because I used them all trying to kill slimes. Mm -hmm. I did right, kill Smo. a lot of them for Green He's like under orange. Yeah. yeah. I think like a I little bit. I think a below. tier under. Yeah. I think it's a whole tier because he's not as cool. I agree. I think though, is one. Not as fun. No, it's gross as fuck. Mm. I, is one benefit, I think, is where Ornstein, when you kill Smo first, he like goes over and then absorbs him and it's cool and all that. But Smo just slams his hammer down on him and doesn't give a fuck. I think mm -hmm. that's I was literally about to say the same thing. Yeah. That no he, honor. The best part of Smo is is only in terms of Ornstein. So. Yeah. Well, that and his weapon's cool. It's very funny when you take it because it's a giant hammer that just bonks. It's usually what hammers do. Yeah, yeah correct. All right, we're almost done with Dark Souls. Oh, uh, we've got these stone demons. I think they're lame as Hollowed. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I'd say yeah, it's better than ghosts. Oh, uh, they're in... <laughs> they're um, kind of funny. <laughs> they breathe fire, but... It's... Their one benefit, I think, is that they blend into the environment, so you don't know where they are. Right, but you also need a bashing weapon, or else you're going to do no damage yeah, to them. Yeah, they're not as bad as, like, the crystal crystalliums from Elden Ring, but they're not great. Okay, I think Stone Guardian is just a better stone giant knight. I like the picture. Yeah, I agree. I mean, they're kind of cool looking at least. Yeah, so I think they're like mid unkindled. All right, Taurus Demon, I think, goes up with Capra. Yeah, he'd be cool. But Higher than no Capra, but yeah. I'd say lower than Capra, really? honestly. I think he's cool. I would than agree Capra. with Jesse. All right, like right below like or Capra below. Demon's just cool bit lower just a bit lower i think immediately lower got it <laughs> they, they look like bros over there okay um channeler i hate channeler but like he's not that bad he does his funny dance yeah he does a funny dance uh, i'm like unkindled i say unkindled or like bottom of hunter he's like all right yeah so i would up, say uh, unkindled yeah. yeah okay i Tree and Gardener. Yeah, he got it pretty basic. Sorry. Yeah. He's just a dude with a bitch fork. Yeah, he's just a farmer, so I think I like, got kindled. Yeah, I mean, that's special. Tree lives are just dumb, bro. Yeah, like, they're definitely worse than Possessed Tree, because they're just a it's, snake it's on a like, tree. Yeah, like, you don't even really notice them, because yeah. like, I don't even remember one time they even attacked me. In a randomizer, they've attacked me a few times, but otherwise, outside of that, never. Mm -hmm. so when, I think, like, when I said the annoyance about... The possessed tree. It's because I was thinking about the tree lizard. Yeah. Oh, so. uh, yeah. They're two different species, Larry. Okay, we've got hollows. All the hollows in this game. <laughs> I mean, I just like the standard enemies. Yeah. Uh, they're, just like... they're just hollows. I mean, the hollow yeah. assassin can backstab you, but that's literally it. Alright, uh, mm -hmm. we've got the undead mm -hmm. attack dog. I think it has to go in um, Wretched by Regular Dog. It's dog, but it applies bleed, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, worst dog. <laughs> yeah. Cool. What is this undead crystal soldier? Like an extra hollow? He looks cool, at least. Yeah. yeah. We're never right. getting through this list, by the way. I want you to We're know almost that. there. Don't worry. Uh, vagrant. What do you mean we're almost, <laughs> we're almost there? there. Vagrants no are way cool. we're doing this all on one night. No, it, it'll be fine. We'll make it I easily. Believe... Uh, vagrants. They're cool. They're rare enemies. They drop humanity. Let me see. that. Oh, yeah. They come out of other players' courses. Anyway, uh, Vile Maggot. Uh, they're gross. gross, but they don't do anything. It's like Ratchet. Yeah. It's yeah. Slither. Yeah. Uh, like Top or Ratchet. Because they're bored. Yeah. 
Okay, wheel skeleton. I think you fuck them. <laughs> they yeah, suck. Yeah. They're terrible, but they're, they're cool. Funny. They're yeah, funny. They're, they're funny, but fuck them. So ratchet. And their lore is kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, ratchet. Because I'd you say can above get... that because they're not like they're not that. So, like, well, you, well, you can be oh, yeah. you can be zeroed to death by them yeah. so easily, which is the yeah, annoying part. But I mean, no matter how so much cool. health cool you got. Oh, ratchet, then. Hi, wretched. Well, that's not. If you build like super tanky, then you tend to be fine. But outside of that, you have to build I was like. I'm building armor. super tanky, and not I was still getting. Enough. Okay, wisp. Honestly, I think can, they like hollow. Can you in the corner. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah. That's They're bad just, enemies. They suck. Explode. I hate them. You can't really deal with them outside of the grind. Um, yeah, I agree. All right, Dark Souls 2. I, what the fuck even oh is that? Oh, my God. A chip off the old rock. <laughs> That's a stupid thing. <laughs> I don't even remember him. <laughs> I think that should go into Curse oh, just fuck, because dude? of its name. Oh, yeah, I agree. You have one dude coming up. That's and literally a paragraph. This guy, um, the chip off the old rock, is um from an area that none of us have played. Oh. Well, he gets cursed just because of his name. Yeah. I think this boss is unkindled. It's just a tiger. From the Which Elden mean, Boys DLC. Yeah, but he's a cold tiger. <laughs> but he's a chinny boy. Mm. Yeah, we've got Afflicted Hollow. I think it's like a deprived because it's just a hollow but worse. It says abandoned, my It guy. does say abandoned. abandoned. Whatever. I, yeah. Yeah. Abandoned, afflicted. Afflicted you know. implies like some sort of illness. Yeah, His illness is already, that he's alone. He's already hollow. <laughs> His, his affliction yeah. is depression. <laughs> Don't go to kick him while he's down. <laughs> like, shit. Okay, we've got another one that I can't oh, fucking man. read. Abyss Ironclad. That's also lame, like, try. Who put the color back gains on this? Whoever yeah. did that. Oh, who? Really who could have? I wonder who it was. Alright, moving on. We got this trio of fucks. This is uh, one of the I bosses. I cannot read that. It's you don't need to. It's not important. Grave Robber, Ancient Soldier, and Sarah the Old Explorer. I just read it. It's not important. Yeah, it's like three. Yeah. It's, it's a three boss I, if you fight the same time. I don't like Deprive, maybe. Mm -hmm. Sure. Alright, cool. Next, another one. I can't read any of these. Uh, Aldia Warlock. This is the uh, super secret special final boss. Um, I didn't fight it. I didn't fight I didn't it either. Fight it. Unkindled. And how do you fight that boss? Even? You have to talk to him every time. You have to get all the crowns. Um, and then you have to do some other lore shit. And then you fight him after Nishandra. Mm. I'm pretty sure out of the three of us, I'm the one who liked Dark Souls 2 the most. And even I didn't care enough no, to no, go try to fight that time Dark Souls 2. I oh, wait, no, that's a this. lot of it. This is all I don't think Dark Souls 2 is a bad game. I just think it's way long. Yeah, so I think like it's really too have to long. Be in the mood to play yeah. it. Yeah. If it wasn't as long and there wasn't so many forgettable NPCs and so much fucking dialogue, I'd like it more. Well, I also think, like, it's clear that, um, because the the guy who makes those games, I can't remember his name right now. Hideo Kojima. Yeah. No. Um, has gone on record saying he doesn't like to make, uh, sequels. He didn't talk to me as much. Yes, and it's very, very clear in that game his disdain well, he for sequels, and he didn't tried work very on Dark Souls hard. Too. Oh, yeah, he well. was directly he was not part of it because he was working on Bloodborne while they were making Dark Souls Two, and the original developer for it, um, Bandai Namco, didn't like the direction Dark Souls Two was heading, so they scrapped him and got a new developer, main developer on it. So he did talk to Miyazaki, was involved in the DLC, but not Dark Souls Two as a whole. Well. Um, it just very clearly is trying to be a completely different beast, and yeah. I think that's beneficial for part of it, but it, it, it leads more or less to it be feeling very incoherent as mm -hmm. a product. There's a lot of cool things about it, and like the New Game Plus is the best in the series, but yeah. Anyway, next we have uh, Alon Knight. These are the weird samurai knights from the iron king place i think they're cooler than basic but that's about it i i think this is the game that i remember the least about because um i remember parker saying when we were playing through it i'm done with this i just <laughs> want to get to dark souls 3 so we yeah i remember that it. distinctly because it was mm -hmm. it was so so long oh yes um so and i didn't go back to replay it so i genuinely don't 
remember anything really about that game. So I'm, I'm just going to let you boys for the most part deal with this. Okay, we're going to speed run it. Um, Amana Aberration. These are weird creatures in the Shrine of Amana. I don't, I don't really remember. <laughs> Unkindled. To be honest. Next. Um, Ash and Phantom. Amana uh, Priestess. No, I think that's just like, yeah, it's like standard. Well. Yeah. Yeah. Ancient Dragon. I mean. I didn't even fight this guy cool. because he has the most health in the entire series. Yeah, he's a dick to fight, but I mean, he's kind of cool. He's big. I like we skipped hunter. him in my play. I'd say, I'd say that. You said he was annoying, so yeah. you didn't want to fight him. Because he has the most health in the series and he's boring as fuck. Uh, anyway, Arc Drake Frilgrim. I like their armor. Their armor is cool, so, and they're, but they're kind of just a common enemy. Yeah, so low hunter. Um, regular skeleton. Uh, armored skeleton. No, he's armored skeleton. He has to be above normal skeleton. I agree. Only slightly. Oh, hold on. I made a mistake. That is the precedent we have set. We must follow it. We must adhere yeah. to it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. next. One of the random invaders. I think that's like just enkindled with the other invaders. Dennis. I don't remember Dennis. <laughs> His next. name is Dennis. Meme. Okay, next. We've got a crawling hunter. I like dude. Ash and Crawler, dude. He's got to go in like the one tier you're hovering over right hunter? now. Yeah, sure. Mid hunter. Yeah, right dude, by I like him. All right, next. What, I don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> uh, when you find them, you don't either. This is the Iron King section. You have to find the weird stakes and like hammer them into them. But as an enemy, they don't do anything. They heal the boss. Like if you fight the Fume Knight and you don't take these out, the Fume Knight heals the entire time. So I think they're like deprived. I remember really liking the giants, and I thought that the um, whatever dude that kept flying coming after you, I thought he was interesting Pursuer. too. We're good Pursuer, to him. Yeah. Yeah. I think um, Ash and Warrior is like deprived as well because it's boring. It's all right. Yeah. yeah. All right, another invader. This one's um, some dude I don't know, like unhandled. Don't even remember him. All right, worse. Dude, Next. Fucking astrologist, dude. Fucking. He's nerd. a nerd. Unkindled. <laughs> really, I was gonna say deprived. Yeah, yeah. He's a nerd. Yeah, He's I like, what there. sign are you, Scorpio? <laughs> You're going to lose <laughs> this fight. <laughs> My horoscope <laughs> says that I will win today. Yeah. And then the ultra great sword just cleaves him in two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did That's your horoscope say this? <laughs> Virgo vibes right there, bro. Fucking uh, or it's not. He's I'll a virgin. I get it. That's yeah. funny. Unkindered. His name is Unkinder. Okay, this is actually a cool enemy. Oh. I like this enemy. What the, the bane, bane digger? digger? Yeah. It's the ones that are in the poison gas. Right? Yeah. Grave digger. Yeah, I think they're kind of cool. I'd say like hunter, hunter. Or tarnish. Yeah, hunter. Okay. Um, hunter. <laughs> this guy's funny because oh, it's just a hollow oh, holding yeah. an explosive he just barrel. a barrel. Yeah, yeah. he's got to be at least Lord hunter. Cinder. Like, I, I can see that. I yeah. can see that. Fire, fire at him, or if one of the enemies do. It just explodes yeah. like a new thermonuclear device. Okay, I'm glad you agree. Uh, another one of these guys, I think they go with the others. I don't even remember. Yeah, because again... Maybe Bellkeeper? Yeah. Yeah. Bellkeeper suck. I hate them, Hollow. They're just a small They're so little dude. They're so smug. Alright, the next two are... Oh, God. A lot of these... Like, yeah, there's this, this game had the most invasion. Yeah, I think these phantoms, I just I don't remember yeah. them because there's too many. They, yeah. I'm putting them all in unkindled in like the same place. They can emote at you, which is cool, but that doesn't say anything for them themselves. Yeah. No. Okay, Burnt Ivory King is one of the cooler bosses from the game. This is the one you fight in the bed of chaos with his so yeah. soldiers, and you can summon soldiers to help fight him. So he has a really cool. Fight. Oh, yeah. So I think like tarnished. I agree. Okay, cool. Next, uh, this guy goes with the others. This guy goes with the others. This guy goes with the others. This <laughs> guy goes with the others. <laughs> okay, cool. Now, no, this... Things. He has to be worse than the other one. Yeah, the Charred Lois Knight is... I think, like, worse than Burnt Ivory King because it's just mm -hmm. the guys that fight with him, but he's in the same boss fight. So I think, like, just right next to him. Mm -hmm. Works for mm -hmm. me. Cool. Uh, corrosive Egg Crawlers. I hate these. They're gross, and they destroy your equipment. Oh, yeah. Fuck oh, him. yeah, I forgot. First, uh, this kind of makes me want to play Dark Souls 2 again. Yeah, it, that's that how seriously. I felt. Yeah, too. I kind of feel that too. <laughs> Don't yeah. take that seriously. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. All three of us. All you know what, right Jesse? Now. After we finish all of this, let's yeah tonight. Let's, just go let's start it tonight. Immediately. <laughs> And hey guys, beat it tonight I, I, too. I, I all cool in one city. <laughs> all in one city. <laughs> anyway, cover this demon. That's Lord of Cinder. Fat, fat demon boy rolls on top of you. All right, I'm gonna die on this hill. 
He's out of God, dude. It's simple. No, he can't be out of God. He's my favorite Dark Souls demigod type. Demigod type. Top. I'll put him at top of demigod. Favorite. Dark Souls peaked whenever he came into the fight. What, what do you say about this, Larry? I say his name again. Maybe it will Steven. rattle something loose. He's he looks like, like Jabba the Hutt. Plug who, yeah, he rolls around. He liked the oh, queen so right. much that he became a fat right, boy. Right. Yeah, Dark yeah, Souls yeah, peaked yeah. when he entered the fray. It's never been um, the same. Um, what? Where do you want to put him? Jesse wants him an out of god. I'm saying demigod top. He's like one of my. He's like my most one of my most memorable Dark Souls bosses. I'm not even lying. Straight up. Hey man, like you can talk about your um self, your self viewing, and your self like answers. how you view yourself, <laughs> um and like I therapy. I think demon. it's no. That would definitely be like pinwheel if I had to do that. <laughs> I did if I, I had a, a husband, serious. a wife, and a child on one body. Yes, I, I agree. But it's just one dude with schizophrenia. Actually, um, it would be more like the curse jar, now that I think about it. <laughs> Anywho, I don't think he should go up that high personally, but I, I'm fine with him going, like, middle of the list-ish. I want you to know that my passion is too much for your dispassion, so it leaves him there. Yeah, I'd say I'll yes, lower him a bit for Larry. That is what I was saying. Sure, you can move I'm him to the that. lowest of demigod, but that's even yeah, okay. then you're like you, you should be thankful. All okay. right, next we've got these guys. Uh, these guys are just the worst rock worms. Are those so the ones that eat you? Or those, those no, are different ones. That's a different one. This does the same exact thing as a rock worm, except worse. Yeah. So I think uh, like they're the worst. ones that stick out of the wall and yeah. just like vibrate. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I think they're like kind of funny. I put them in unkindled, honestly. Like higher than rock room? Yeah. Yeah, okay, bottom unkindled I think works. Yeah, throw him where you already know where he's gonna yep, go. Yeah, he's going there. Curse jar. That's a uh, all around. out of god. <laughs> yeah, all right. If you're gonna <laughs> put kidding. curse jar out of god. <laughs> I'm kidding. But Are I do you think actually he gonna put him in demigod. I think he should be like hunter. Or even an enemy, you just roll through him. He curses you <laughs> the entire time and laughs at yeah, you while doing but it. The jar. <laughs> Okay, I'll say like uh, I'll say top hunter. But that's as low as I'll go. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, sure. Okay. Um, who's this? Dark priest. Dark priest. I don't Arkindle. even know, dude. He yeah, just cannon fodder. I probably just smashed him when I. Yeah, saw I hate him. these guys. Think about it. I hate these guys so yeah, much. Dollar, I think dark dollars are cool, especially They're with, like, cool, mechanic. I hate them. Light. They actively scare me. This, I remember the like first dudes time with I long said, arms. Oh, I know. Just a little guy. <laughs> a little guy with long so arms. You see that kid in real life? Nah, dude. Dude's afraid I'm of talking about you. I, I'm bu I'm bullying you, man. Yeah, he's so bullying. I'm bullying. Yeah, I'm, fuck yeah, you. Uh, yeah, fuck yeah, you. Fuck yeah, you. yeah, yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. On your own stream. Uh, dark dweller and fucking whatever word that is. Fuck you. Yeah. All right, dark I'm lurker, a boss lurker. that none of us have fought. <laughs> I never did that, dude. Nope. I'm Kenton. Maybe when we replay Dark Souls 2, we could do it. Yeah, we're yep. doing it after uh, this. Episode, I, yeah. We're, we're, yeah. We're, Dark Sucker. When we're all 36. That, that's the stipulation. <laughs> Got it, okay. <laughs> Write that down. Mark it down. Yeah, but we all have to be 36 at the yeah, same time. Yeah, we all have to be 36 at the same time. Is that even possible? No. Dude, what do you mean? No. That, is that even possible? Do you know how time works? No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Dark Sucker. Dark that sucker? has to do the that that you, you right? Yes. I gotta put him in like, he's like he's usually on top of unkindled. He's like way better than all the phantoms at least, because yeah. you just get like, oh, what's this pool of oil? And, just, <laughs> and he just fucking swallows him. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, 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 Hunter. There you go. Yeah, see. All right, okay. demon of song. He just slaps because he's so creepy. Yeah, he's so, so creepy. creepy. They're so gross. I, like you hear him singing the entire yeah. time in that area. That's cool. and then when you see him and he like opens up his weird foreskin mouth to see that weird skull. I think Tarnished. Yeah, I, think, I think Tarnished or Lord of Cinder. I agree. Okay, cool. Okay, the 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 chest. Um, uh, the Desert Sorceress. <laughs> that is so sad that you called it the chest. Oh, I remember her. I really like Tarnished. Uh, cool finally enemy. introduced an, an uh, uh, enemy Perfect. that I remember. Control your wiener. <laughs> it's like all right. It's like standard enemy. But it's, it's like a pyromancer. They cool. They yeah, yeah. But they are pyromancers. Mage. Yeah. But they They're cooler are mage than the others. Standard enemies, I say hunter. Yeah, okay, I'll really. give you hunter. Put him above King Jeremiah. Sure. Okay, well, this I goes with the others. Oh, who's this? 
Manny Dragon Sunset Cult. Father Jeremiah. Yeah, I think it's like unkindled. They're not really anything too it's crazy. All right. Yeah. Dragon. Okay, um, oh, these are the ones you find like in the Shrine of the Dragons. They're cooler than kind of... average, but. Yeah, I'd say Hunter, because yeah. like, it's the cool looking. Alright, next. Is that just Dragon? That's a Dragon, dude. If I could put them in like. With the others, with the red and blue Dragon. There it is. Yeah, they're all, I don't know. I feel like that has to be like lower, though, because like. Yeah, like it's a tier lower. It's, it's a standard lower, Dragon. Yeah. Mm. That seems a little too harsh. Like, maybe low on Kindled. Yeah, but dragons are kind of overplayed at this point, honestly, in video games, if you think about it. Yeah. Honestly, if you think about that it. That goes with the rest. Oh, Dragon like, Rider. Play Skyrim? Come on, man. There's, like, three dragons there, at least. Dragon I Rider... I going to say there's at least three versions of Skyrim. But which that's I also, also true. I agree with. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Okay, but where are we putting uh, at least three of them? <laughs> Dragon Rider. I mean, he's just yeah. like he's worse. No, he's like not as cool, but he's like I, I don't know. I feel like I unkindled. Agree. I don't know, unkindled because like he's not as. It, bad, it is so. a fun fight, but yeah, yeah, but you fight him again, and the second time he has a great bow. Yeah. Okay, um, a Dragon Rider Knight. I think he goes with the other one wherever I put him, like just low hunter. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is the Dragon Knight, but he's cooler and has a big hammer. So I think it's the same place. Yeah, I don't remember that one, to be honest. Okay, cool. Um, I can't even fucking read that. What does that say? Executioner. Executioner. Uh, this is Oh, this is the enemy you find by the Executioner's Chariot. He has a man catcher. You find like three of them at the same cool. time. Yeah. I'm thinking like I think Hunter. I'm like, not sure. yeah. yeah. Cool. The Giant Slayer was talking about. Well, one of the two from this game. That's just Giant. Yeah, this is um the Giants that uh, you have... Like, uh, they're made out of... They're golems that are made out of souls, and if you... Mm -hmm. uh, enemies die around them, they get powered up, and they beat the shit out of you. I think they're, like, top hunter. Sure. Alright. Next. Another one of these goes with the others. Another one of these also goes with the others. A ducal spider. <laughs> um, these guys are gross, but they're not that gross. And it's they're just, in, like, basic. Yeah, it's just a basic spider. I do like the skull on their back, though. It is quite edgy. So like mid unkindled, yeah. Cool. Okay, next. Uh, this is the um the sunken city final boss. Daughter of Manus was kind of an okay fight. It's like a hunter. I don't really remember to be honest. Yeah, hunter it is. Um, oh the executioner's chariot. That boss almost no one fights. It's cool, but the best part of it was in the Happy Souls animation. Invest in a box fan. They're super cheap, and I promise you, they do he quite promises. a bit. He promises. Oh, I forgot about the dwarves in this game. What does that say? Wait, which, which one? one? Actually, Next one. It's in. Um, hold on. Oh, Falconer. 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 Oh, yeah. And kindled. Yeah, they're just kind of a generic, and this one goes with the others. Goes with the Fins others. Sharon, get out of here. I like, I like this Flynn lizard. Lizard's wacky eyes. Yeah, I like him. He throws fireballs at you. He's cool. I think mm -hmm. bottom tarnished. I think he's neat. I just think he's neat. Okay. I just think he's neat. Next. Exile Sentry. This is a cool boss. But he's cool. He's like Hunter, I think. Yeah, it's like really mid Hunter. Yeah. Next. No. <laughs> what does that even say? I can't read any Born of these. Wanderer. <laughs> Who even is this guy? I don't know. Deprived. <laughs> Alright, then it's Forest Grotesque. Oh, these guys are these are quite grotesque. I hate them. I don't like fighting them. I think like wretched. Sure. Okay. Works for me. Oh, uh, this guy goes with the is, others. Is it frozen reindeer? I do not remember that. I don't remember this either. I think virtue on that is unkindled at best. Next, Fume Knight. Fume Knight's one of my top Fume bosses could, from the yeah, series. Yeah, I mean, he's cool, but he could put both my nuts in his mouth. I hate him, bro. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he was also one of the Time. hardest bosses of the entire series. Yeah. Uh, so, like, Lord Cinder, maybe? Sure. sure. Okay, cool. The first time I fought him, I, I fought know, him, like, 75 he, times back to back. Yeah, because you can't beat him first try. Impossible. Yeah. 
Okay, who is this? It's Fume something. F uh, Fume Sorcerer. I don't know who the fuck this is. <laughs> mm, yeah, I don't remember either. Unkindled. I don't know, man. Okay, we've got Works for me. this guy. A, a jailer. Spelled in Old English. He's, oh, I closed he, it on accident. He's a cool mini-boss. Don't remember him. <laughs> Believe it or not, I know that we've established that my knowledge of this game is supreme. But you should have played all the Dark Souls games to brush up again, just like we did. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah, you do yeah me and Jesse just played Dark Souls two again. You know. Uh, uh, you oh, that's other. why he was so hesitant to play through it again. Uh, yeah, because yeah, he's tired. Yeah. yeah, I'm tired, boss. Okay, what does it say? Giant Lord. Well, this is a really cool damn boss. Bear. <laughs> I, 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 giant Lord. I don't want to do this anymore, Grandpa. I think uh, it's with I mean, Giant Lord and Demigod because he's cool. He has cool lore. He has two giant fuck off swords. Maybe bad. Lord Ascender or a Demigod for me. Mm, I gotta say Lord I, Ascender. He's not as good as the Dick Covetous Demon. That's right. I agree. He is ascending. I agree. What even am I looking at? <laughs> it's the elephant people. <laughs> Dark Souls 2. No, uh, this anime. is the boar. That's I don't even remember boar. the boar in the game. No, I don't either. Unkindled. I don't either. Next, this one. Grave Warden. The, the Grave Warden eh. in every single game, but he's eh. also yeah, facing enemy. Cool. Like top Unkindled then? Sure. Yeah, sure. Okay. And he goes with the others. I think Great. he also goes the others. Uh, oh, it's just a bell keeper, but it's like, yeah, who's the great story? Are, are we are literally um, participating in segregation right now? This is what it is. <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? <laughs> You're just not it supposed goes with to the others. It. It's, it's, you were literally segregating these people just because of their profession. Yes. If their profession is they invade your home and kill you, I think they deserve to be... <laughs> Well, yeah. They kill you, alright? Sometimes you kill them. That's true. Okay, Guardian Dragon. It's. I think you and should you go with the other dragon. And you don't stay dead, so. <laughs> Still probably hurts. Yeah, it probably yeah. hurts like hell when he stabs you 13 times. I mean, he's well, kind of cool, but like, he's just a dragon. Yeah, I think he goes with the other dragons. Yeah. He is just, all right. in fact, a dragon. Gurm Warrior. I love them. I, I yeah, do love the little cool. dwarf, the dwarven men. I wouldn't say they're little. And you have Goblin. He wheel, he deal. I think Lord Ascender. He do. Oh yeah, he do wheel, he do deal. One. Okay, cool. Put him right there. The Grim Worker is like just not as uh, good. Yeah, though. no, like, he's bad. He's two tears down. Yeah, like, tears, at least two. One, not two. gonna say like yeah. at least two. I'd put him in unkindled. He's lame. Yeah. Okay, next. I kind of like these guys, but they're basic as fuck. I don't like yeah, Hunter, I mean, he's just running at you with a hammer. <laughs> yeah. Hunter it is. Okay, oh, what am I looking at? Oh, this is the Headless, headless Vanguard. Vanguard. Yeah. I like his story, but as for an enemy, yeah, he, doesn't, cool. he doesn't do anything. I just say, like, Hunter. I mean, yeah. it's kind of cool. Yeah, okay. Cool armor, too. Okay, Hide Knight. I like Hide I Knight as a mini boss. Yeah. 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 That's Tarnished. A, that, yeah, yeah. Yeah, put him, like, right below Betty Chaos. <laughs> what am I looking at it's again? All of their crawls. <laughs> He's worse than the Ashen Crawler. Yeah. Deprived. Oh my god, there's so many hollows coming up. <laughs> Hollow yeah. infantry. You know they all going unkindled right in the middle. <laughs> I agree. Hollow mage is bad. Hollow peasant. Like, eh, it's alright. Hollow, hollow priest. priest. That's top of the hollows, but still a hollow. Hollow primal knight is at least different. Yeah, these guys are the elephant dude. These are, yeah, these guys are cool. They're hard enemies. I kind of like them. I'm like hunter. I'm maybe. Like hunter. Yeah. Okay, cool. Hollow prisoner is boring. Yeah, that rogue. Goes, that goes unkindled. That goes unkindled. I like the royal soldier armor though. Like yeah, I'm lit. like hunter. Yeah. Vangarian boring. Suck my nuts. Infantry's born. <laughs> yeah. Invisible oh. hollow is just a gray square. You can't well, it's even see invisible. Him. The only way you can see them in game is if you have a light source. Then you can see their shadow on the wall so you know That's where they are. Cool, yeah, so I'm like hunter for them. I think they're a cool enemy. I don't okay. remember Iron Warrior. Who the fuck is Iron Warrior? Yeah, exactly. All right, I think you know where we go. Okay, unkindled. <laughs> What's next? Ironclad soldier, the turtles. Oh, they're cool. I like I, think, them. I like the turtles. Hunter? 
fun. Eh, yeah. Okay. Next. Oh, he goes. You know with the where others. he goes. Another pyromancer, but guys, she's oh, her chest exposed. Where are you gonna put her? Let's see. Oh, it's oh, cursed. Golly. Wow. I agree. <laughs> yeah, okay. I sure. mean, what's the? I won't. I won't make that joke on second on retrospect. You uh, already let out a little bit of it. Yeah. It's yeah. Like we, everyone already knew the. Hey, we're live on air. Anyway, yeah. who's the next one? Uh, Lion Clan Warrior. I think he's kind of cool. Lion Clan Warrior. Well, we're missing one. I Something think you're with. lying. Uh -oh. <laughs> Lady of Witch. I don't know who that is, so that's unkindled. Uh, this is a mage, probably. Yeah. Okay, now Lion now King. Lion one. I think it's kind of cool. Yeah, I think Lion. Hunter. Yeah, okay. Looking Glass Knight, just solely that's because a cool of the mechanic boss. that never works, yeah. but it's cool. <laughs> it's a very cool mechanic that they did in Elden Ring uh, again, but it actually works in Elden Ring. It's probably say Lord of Cinder, just because like, it's cool. Yeah, okay. You'll never see it, but it's cool. <laughs> it is cool. And then the looking yeah, glass I, soldier. He just, he just, he I mean, the he's, other, not, he's not the cool part of it. Okay. Lost Center. I think it's a very cool boss. I, I like Lost I like Center. Lost Center. I'd Lord say Center? put him in Lord. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll put him like mid Lord. Yeah, I'll put below Dragon God, I think. Hey, just finished downloading Dark Souls 2, Scholar. Of That's crazy. You, how many? How old are you? Streaming, Larry? We only have to wait a couple of years. Yeah. 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 Larry's what? 33? Uh, 10 just years. 12. <laughs> 12. 12 and a half. 11 and a half. Yeah. Twelve and a half. I wouldn't be 20, uh, thirty-seven okay. anymore. All right, this guy goes with the you others. Stay thirty-six when we hit, and you hit thirty-six, Larry. Mm. Who's this next one? Uh, oh, these are the headless mannequins. Yeah. I don't like them. I think they're a bad enemy. They're all right. I'm thinking yeah, of Pride. Like special. Yeah. Get all right. Practice. You know where this goes, and you know where that yep. goes. Goes with the others. Goes with the others. You should have just had an entire section that was just invaders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have. Okay, we got like, mongrel. Don't matter. Mongrel rat. That's just a rat, but he's kind of more cool than normal rats. <laughs> I think my dog just knocked over my green screen. Okay, anyway, so like low hunter. I go like high and kindled because he's a rat. <laughs> oh, he's, he's a, a rat. mongrel rat. Okay, this is the mm. baneful queen. She throws her head at you. There's poison. Snake. It's a unique fight. I'd say tarnished. Okay, yeah, it works for me. Yeah, right there. Oh, he goes with the others. Okay, Nishandra, Nishandra, the final boss. As far as final bosses go, I think she was lame compared to others, but I still like her. She looks cool. Yeah, yeah. she looks cool. I put her like next to Gwyn. Yeah, sir. I even that feels kind of high. Maybe tarnished, actually. I don't know. I... Eh. Uh, either that or lower the Lord of Cinder. Just like, <laughs> she's after a dude carrying a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> That's gotta hurt. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, next. Uh, I don't like these enemies either. I think they're really annoying mm -hmm. to fight. I think they look cool, though. I'm they're thinking unique. deprived, maybe. Then. I'm thinking Arby's. Deprived it is. Eat fresh. Okay, Ogre. ogre. I like the Ogre. Top tier. Lord of Cinder. Lord of Cinder. Above Nishandra. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's better than Nishandra. Just shitting on Nishandra. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got the Old Balrog. King's cool, dude. He's like, he's got to be demigod. I like that dude. I think yeah, that's where boss is going. He this turned game. my homie white, so he's pretty kosher if you ask me. Cool. Old Iron King, it is. Mm -hmm. Um, who the fuck? Oh, this is oh, I. Night. I would rank these high just because when I first played this game, I went to this place uh, first, and they kicked my ass, and instead of going anywhere else... Oh, the big boys. I just kept going this way, so I'd put him, like, tarnished, but that's just me. I'd say, like, Hunter. Okay, I'll say high Hunter. Say, below because there's been lots of big soldier men. Yeah, and they don't do anything special. Oh, he goes mm -hmm. with the others. What the fuck is that? Pagan tree. Oh, this is a mini boss that. you can find in the sunken city that none of us have fought. Since it's a living tree, I put it in Hunter. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Works for me. There's a cat on the back of my chair. When did you get here? That's crazy. And next... Uh, Super crazy. Oh, this is the infested villager from the Duke uh, the mm. Freya location. <laughs> There's giants, but this time they're from the past. <laughs> Dude, I love that. I'll put you there, I guess. Okay, next. Um, yeah, yeah, the past giant. giant. <laughs> where, where? Unkindled hunter. I mean, they're kind of. I'd say like bottom hunter or top unkindled because they are unique yeah. giant design for video games. He's also buff so as hell. You yeah. know where he goes. Up, he goes with the others. 
Okay. And the fucking is the poison spitting statues. Oh, I hate these, honestly. Yeah. Like hollowed. Also, they're pottery <laughs> once again. That's true. They are living though. They did confer their yeah. sentient to some degree. They can go. <laughs> they spit in you. Okay, I think this guy's cursed. Once again, your bugs come into play. Yep. Well, it's just they put out the poison cloud, and they, or they put out the destructive cloud, and they're horrible to deal with. And I don't like. But I think they're cursed. <laughs> They're Whatever. just icky and gross, and I don't like them. True, I like them. True. I hate them. Ew, ew, ew. True. Icky, icky. That's what you sound like. What is what is that? I'm say? not going to lie to you. I'm going to have to get to Dark Souls 2, and I'm going to have to call it. This is too much. <laughs> like, look how much. Scroll, scroll. <laughs> well, we're like over halfway, at least. Yeah. Hey, where does Poison Moth go? Hey, he's just a fucking Poison Moth, dude. Wretched. It's like boring. Boring-ass enemy, bro. Yeah, true. Next. I can't possessed tell armor. I don't know what that is. Uh, like, I'm deprived, at boring. I think. Sure. Okay. There's next we have the, the tender to the Xanthius throne. There's the next the one others. goes the others. What am I looking at? Um, a bear? Uh, a prowler hound. There's no way that's a dog. <laughs> like deprived. No. In what universe is that a dog? <laughs> Look, how many dogs have you seen? It looks exactly uh, like one. I've if seen a... at least one. Okay, what is that? Prowling it's a fucking It's a fucking cat, bro. It does kind of look catish, I, I must say. Yeah, okay, but where where does the prowling magus go? I need like on candle because I don't even remember who the fuck it is. I'm googling the prowling hand. Where are we at? Uh, prowling magus. Uh, Weird guilt. I don't even remember him. Yeah. He's uh like Longhorn, but Jewel. I don't really, I don't remember him at all. So mm -hmm. I, okay. I, I, well, I pursuer. Know. I think pursuer is pretty top tier. Pursuer is pretty I, top. Yeah, I would argue either very bottom of demigod or um, but I I think that's the lowest that pursuer should go. I would I put him either bottom. low outer or high demigod. Just no, because he's cooler than. Cool, more cool than Priscilla. I, well, the I, the mechanic of him following you throughout the game, I think, is just really cool, and there's not really any enemies that do but, that. Yeah, but bro, now, a... now look at that mushroom boy and tell tell yeah, him, tell him you're gonna that, move his the spot. <laughs> that the pursuer is better than him. I, he's I definitely the better than the than penetrator. Than uh, well, yeah, you're outvoted that. here, so yeah, democracy. Fuck you. <laughs> okay, we got um another one. I can't read. The Rampart uh, Golem. I don't know who this is. I don't know, and I can't even see what the next one is. Okay, he goes there. I don't know the next one either. Ravenous. Rampart Hedgehog. No, Rampart Hedgehog. Hedgehog. Rampart Hedgehog. Oh. I guess on virtue of being a hedgehog, I'd put him in Hunter, but I don't remember him either. Dude just likes hedgehogs. Yeah. All right, next. All right, then oh, Rampart Soldier. I mean, this is a frozen soldier. Yeah, and Candle. Next, what? Retainer Rogue. I, I don't even know. He boring. Yeah. He goes with the others. Ro uh, roaming Soul. I think these are the invisible dudes from that one forest. So, I, th I don't they're know. interesting. So, I think like Low Hunter, but they're still a basic enemy. They're just, you can't lock onto them and they have camouflage. Mm. Cool. Um, Rotten vermin. Is that I don't, don't can't even tell what the fuck him. I'm looking at. Yeah, I don't know either. Unkindled. That's like a bug. All okay. right, the royal rat authority. I, I mean, like him. He vomits. Kinda... Yeah, he also <laughs> reminds me of a dog, even though he's a rat. <laughs> I think hunter. Yeah. Okay, cool. We have royal rat authority. I think vanguard. Vanguard. There's just a bunch of rats. Yeah, I think it's kind of cool, though. It's like, I'd say, like, yeah, top and Kendall, bottom hunter. Um, I would like say bottom and rat. hunter, because it is, it is fun that you have to yeah, run around and find out. which one's which. Yeah, and if yeah. you have a big old heavy weapon, you have a horrible time, because you always hit the uh, mm -hmm. tombstones. Yep, you sure do. Okay, Royal Knight Swordsman. I like him as a basic enemy, so I'd put him in, like, hunter. Yeah, he's better than most other hunter, like, normal enemies. All right, next. Um, uh, I, I, I like Sophie. Hey, Sophie. It's all right. 
Hey, Sophie! Please, chill. I think it's a cool boss. Uh, I don't see it's Mo, but worse though. Yeah, it's a storm. Yeah. Like tarnished, maybe. Sure. All right, next. What is this? Oh, it's the rupturing horror. The dude body slams you. I think <laughs> he's pretty funny. That's pretty top tier. I think. Yeah, I think he goes yeah, next like, to the like barrel. Tarnished. Yeah, Lord of Sender and Tarnished. Like I always like those dudes. Yeah. Okay, next. Uh, these are the knights from the sunken city. Uh, I don't remember. Like unkindled, I think. Cause they're just basic. I uh, I'm gonna skip ahead to the other one and put him next to it too. Yeah, sunken priestess is the next one. I don't remember any of these to be honest. No, I remember the area of like the ship, but that's all I really remember. All right, next, Scorpion Najka. She's one of the cooler she's, bosses. She's kind of cool. Yeah, I would say Tarnish though. I mean, like it was. Yeah, that's that what I was cool. thinking. She's nowhere near like Quaylag. Uh -huh. Put him in between the phalanxes. They just tried to recreate Quaylag's greatness. <laughs> Okay, now this guy goes with the others. Okay, uh, this is the yeah, Sand of Slumbering Dragon. As far as dragons go, it's more unique as a poison dragon, yeah. but I think that only gets him like Hunter. It's kind of just a dragon. Yeah. <laughs> right. Sir Alon. He was a cool boss. He was a really hard one in Dark Souls 2. Yeah. I'd put him in Tarnished, good. I think. Yeah, that's a mid Tarnished. Alright, next to uh, Najka. Skeleton lords are just a bunch this of skeletons. A, yeah, it's a they? dumbass fight. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, it's like, it's above some normal skeletons, but yeah, like, I think it goes in like low hunter. Yeah, there's still skeletons. Next, oh, I, I like smell. the uh, smelter demon. Smelter demon, yeah, cool. fuck him. He's cool, but fuck him. <laughs> low hunter, it is. Stone, no, I do not remember. Who is this? Uh, but I'm handled. Uh, stone. Soldiers next. Also unkindled. Okay, what uh, is no swollen mongrel. girl? <laughs> Poor puppy. I. Yeah, so see, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think that's like ratchet. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Next is. I like this dude's armor. I mean, so like, like pretty standard though. Like a low hunter then. Yeah, it's like right around the Royal Authority dudes, or the Royal Knights. Got it. Now, this guy goes with the others. What in the world is that? Oh, the Duke Steer Freya. I like this boss. I think it's a cool boss. I'd put it in Tarnish. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I do not remember the next one. What the fuck am I... Oh, these are yeah, enemies you find perfect. at the Shrine of Amana. They're like those walking T-Rexes, but you actually have to fight them, and I hate them. I'd put it in Deprived or Wretched. They also just don't look cool. They look I Okay, wretched. Okay. Next up, the we last the, giant. This is one of my favorite bosses in the game. I really like him. Go, cat! Don't you step on the power, buddy? Stop! <laughs> That's so sad. That That's All of a sudden, close. the stream ends. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, last giant. Oh, I would put him in Lord of Cinder, Jimmy God. I think he's a really cool boss. I'll do Lord of Cinder. I, I like the giants. Okay, uh, the Rodden. I honestly, I'd put it up by the last giant. I like the Rodden a lot. I, li I like Lord of Sunder, yeah. Okay. Next. Oh, these are the two people I think you fight before fighting the Chandra. Yeah. Yeah. They only seem small, but right. worse, I think. So I'd put them in next to the I'd say, like, Sentinel. Tarnished or Hunter, because, like, they're not that special. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, next. Undead Aberration. I don't know what this is. Don't remember him. It's I a cool name, him. I guess. Hi, Undy, you unkindled? Sure. Yeah. Undead Crypt Knight. Oh, that's to do with the two shields. I mean, it's kind of funny. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. I like that guy. That gets me in Tarnished, I think. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You really put just a, a fucking pig. <laughs> <laughs> yep. well, these are the pigs that you find in Majula. Uh, That's like unkindled. Oh, no. Nah, they like, ever think about all the people who tried to start shit with them and died? <laughs> Man, I think they oh, raised them. They're like Hunter at okay. least. <laughs> Alright. This pig's slapped, bro. Next up, we have Undead Huntsman. I don't know who this is. I, I think they look cool. They're the dudes walking around the forest, the fat boys. They just like. 
that fucking weird piece of metal on them. I, I think like they'd them. put it in I'd say, like, for me. honor. Because, okay. like, they're a common enemy, but they're cool for a common enemy. This guy goes with the That's others. A, yeah. I think Veldstat's a pretty cool boss in the game, too. I never liked Veldstat. They saw that, like, honey, then? Yeah, I mean, I just never liked him. Vendrick, I think, is also very cool, but he's also just worse yeah. than Wind, so I'd put him in Tarnished. Tarnished, or yeah. yeah. Uh, Next up, those are the others. Guess. I'm going to skip back and put all of these at the others real quick. There we go. I don't know what a wall specter is, but I imagine it's a specter from a wall. That's so the idea. Yeah, he he's in a I wall. I think that's a safe guess, yeah. yeah I'm going to guess that's pretty risky. How does that feel? Sure. Wall Watchman. This dude at least is alive, so. He, yeah, so I guess he goes with Unkindled. Yeah. He watches mm -hmm. the wall. Okay, and the, the final tree. What the fuck is a witch tree? Mm -hmm. I don't know who this is, so I guess Unkindled. Sure. Yeah. Alright, I gotta call it there. <laughs> uh. Oh man, we were just yeah. about to break into games that I actually care about. <laughs> you know, there's always next time. That's so like Gandhi said or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Gandhi did say that. I'll fine. still probably yeah. finish off the tier list because I want to do it all in one stream. But... Yeah, go for it. I just I can't do it anymore. <laughs> My brain believe... is also melting. I, do yeah. you really want to go through all the way through it in yeah, one sitting? That's a lot. That is that was the plan. Yeah. Yeah, that's the plan. It's going to take 18 hours. <laughs> it's not going to take 18 hours. It took us... Let's see. We've been doing it for... It's already taken you two and a half hours, my, my Yeah, friend. so it'd take us five. Five is way less than eight. But we also sped ran through a lot of these because mm -hmm. we didn't know them. Imagine as soon as we start talking about, like... Uh, especially when we get into Sekiro, there's going to be a lot of heated discussion around Sekiro and where things go. And uh, like there will probably be a lot of heated discussion around um, uh, the Bloodborne enemies because I probably like them a bit more than the rest of y'all do too. Well, I know, the other played Bloodborne, so we won't have much opinion uh, on that. It's so good. I wish. I, I don't think that it's my favorite. I think I like um, Elden Ring better, but I it's 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 more my aesthetic. Oh, there actually isn't a whole lot left. No, there isn't. Yeah, uh, I'll I'll finish this up. With I you can't. Further. I got shit. <laughs> yeah, because okay. Dark Souls yeah. had like two hundred, and it just had the most. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Well, good luck with that, boys. I uh, okay. wish you very speedy time. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm uh, sure I handle it very, very yeah. well. Make yeah. sure to send a picture of when it's done. I will have Peace to send multiple because this is yeah. gonna be long. I think I think you can download it, and it makes it all fit. Oh, true. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, peace, boys. How are we good one? Catch peace, later. love. See ya. What's a trigon reference, Larry? No. Yeah, here, let me. Not really. First, I'm going to scoot you over a okay. bit. Yes. And I just put this up in on my main monitor, which I should have done a while ago, so yeah, you can see a bit better. Um, yeah. the abyss watchers, I think, are really cool as a concept but they're not like mind-blowing um so I, think... I personally would put them hold on i need to actually bring up the tears by themselves so i can actually see them um I... right now all i can see is ah there we go i think they were a uh, very I... cool boss i think they were a hard boss i think the two phases were cool so i'd actually put them pretty high yeah, I would put them. Really, you're going to put them in Lord of Cinder? Yeah, um, I would even want to put them higher, but I think that's more. Really, too that biased. surprises me. Um, I like them a lot. I personally would put them high uh, on. Um, I would personally put them high on uh, Lord of Cinder. I yeah, think. I think that's good. What did... Yeah. yeah. I, I would put them in the higher end of that, I think. All right, next up, 
Aldrich of the Deep, I think, is a cool character, a cool boss, but his boss yeah. fight wasn't anything too interesting. So I think I I'd put agree. him in Tarnished, honestly. I would agree. Okay. Um, the like, Ancient Wyvern wasn't mind-blowing either. I... Because the boss fight wasn't a boss fight, and it was a you run through the area, jump on his head, that's it. Yeah. I would put him down into Private Wretched. Yeah, because he's yeah, because you can't kill him yeah. outright. I agree. You can. It's just really annoying. Really, really, really slow. So I'll put him into Private. Yeah. yeah. What is that? Uh, oh, Angel. Angel. These. These are like the D-Day guys that fire 50 million beams of light. Oh, uh, I would also put it down in... Because um, they will tear you the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because that's also one of the... Is that the area where you're doing parkour and they're like firing at you whenever you're trying yep. to jump at, across things? Yeah, definitely in hollowed. I would agree. Ascended Winged Knight. Uh, I would put like higher end of Unkindled. Um, I don't think I that would it, you uh, up I, them to hunter just because they're a challenge compared to normal enemies, but I would say like okay. low hunter. Uh, I the, the the part of the reason why I was pitching for unkindled is that um, I'm putting it on a curve where this is uh, this was after the other two and Bloodborne, where I would expect a little bit more originality from. Uh, a, 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 a mob like this but well I, thinking I'm of it like that too. because they have the verticality and they have spells that i think that's why it okay. does elevate them to low hunter okay that's fair black hand this guy's a cool <laughs> enemy so i think he's like top human but he's still just a human enemy i agree he has a dual wield katana and wakasashi so i'd like yeah like top hunter, and he right also here. has um uh archery if you're yeah. far enough away. I I would agree. Um, uh, top tier. out. Oh no, this is the outrider. I... Top tier basic enemy, yeah. but still a basic enemy. I didn't realize Boreal was something that went across a couple games. There was Dark Souls three. I don't think it's in the others. Yeah, I. I could have sworn there was a, there was something from the Boreal something or another from Elden Ring. There be might be. There's Borealis, the Ice Dragon. Yeah, I saw that. No, I thought I could have sworn that either. I thought that there was either Elden Ring. I thought that's where I thought there was an assassin in there that was from a Boreal something or another. Maybe we might come I, I might later. just be making that up. All right, Brigand. I think I'm just making that up. I think Brigand is solidly just unkindled. It's just a basic Brigand enemy. Normal dude. Yeah, so like solidly mid. Just, unkindled. just a dude. Yeah, it's just a dude. But what about a cage full of mini dudes? That kind of acts like a spider. I like this enemy. Um. Um. Yeah, I th think it's fun. Um, I I would put it low hunter yeah that sounds good ding ding fucking hated the what? giant maidens Ooh, the karthus sandworm this was a cool mini boss it was more like um it was like a level hazard than he was a boss but he was cool and it's in an optional area so any of its like annoyances you don't have to deal with mm. yeah 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 so I'd put him in like you don't low have to deal with if you want to. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Why did I re-download Dark Souls two? I want to replay Dark Souls three. I think is what I want to go back. Why don't and we play just play all three? Go through them all. I kind of I did. I just love the series in general. Um, because I've already. Uh, yeah, but the issue is, is if we commit to all three halfway through Dark Souls. To you're going to get impatient again. <laughs> no, there's no way. <laughs> like last time. But what about a uh, Karthus? That's Swordsman? what you said last time. If they have the like uh, seamless co-op mode or mod, then it would be fine. But if we have to play through every level twice, then it's a lot. I would put Karthus Swordsman um, medium low in Hunter. 
No, yeah, okay. I think he's a good challenge. I think he is because there's a lot of assassins in this game, um, and uh, I think that he's a good kind of different, like middle ground between like just a normal dude and kind of a more um, rusery assassin. I think it's fun. Yeah, uh, and he has Cathedral Knight is. I think yeah. he's a top yeah. knight, but he's still just a knight. Just a dude, yeah. Um, so like hunter. I champion. Uh, yeah, they lose a lot of points to me because it's so clearly trying to evoke the same emotions as Sif and just gets nowhere near. Personally. Yeah. But, it being an optional uh, boss that drops a cool item, I think ups it. But honestly, it's I, like just hunter. Yeah. I. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, champion Gundir. Harder I version of EU Dex. Uh, he's the dude that you take the coiled sword out as the first boss, the tutorial boss. And Champion Gundir is when oh, you find him later. Oh, oh, oh. He's the harder version of him. Yeah, you can find him in the Untamed. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's cool. Right, right, right. But I would put him in like low tarnish. I think EU Dex cool, is yeah. higher. The EU Dex yeah, is like. Agree. I, I I agree because when you take the yeah that's a fun that's a fun um that's a fun uh startling thing where you would think you would expect it from a Dark Souls game yeah. but it still catches you off guard the first time it happens. Now Corpse Grub, uh, that's cursed. Corpse Grub, I, I he he yeah, is gross. Uh, he grabs you and vomits the like the. Um, the maggots on you yep. that cause bleed to the constantly maggots. grow, and I, he's definitely cursed for me, one hundred percent. All right, next. Corvin Knight, I really mm. like just because of the aesthetic. Yeah, it's a cool Personally, aesthetic. I like the aesthetic. Uh, Rapier Raven Knight, I mm. think is really cool. I don't think I can go into tarnish, but um, I do think it's like high up. I would put it because uh, I, nah. No, definitely not. Because I, I think the way that he fights is really cool because he, like, gets in-air mobility mm -hmm. when he does, like, the thrusts with... I think I think the aesthetic. Like, everything yeah. about him uh, and his design, his I think... His weapon's is also notch. very cool. I think that's... If it's a two-handed. It's one's yeah. a rip here and one's, like, throwing daggers. Yeah. I, I think that he is one of the best designed general enemies in the Dark Souls series. All right, next Personally. up we have Corvian Settler. Well, this Corvian like, Settler unkindled because it's just a basic Corvian enemy, I think. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And then there's actual Corvians. Uh, it goes next uh, to Settlers, which I think. I think. Yeah. Because it is just also just general mobs. Court sorcerer, honestly, I would dip into depraved. <laughs> Who even is a court sorcerer? They're annoying. They they're think of like the if I could be wrong. Like the please Chandler. don't get mad at me, internet. But um, I think of the, they're kind of like the um, the the um, school magicians <laughs> and Elden Ring. Where when you're running around in the uh, Corvin area, they're just not Corvin area. But it, when you're running around in their area, they're just kind of lobbing spells at you while you're trying to kill other things. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. So they're just annoying. Yeah. So, so like, I I think they, it's, yeah, yeah. Crabs. So the, uh, demigod. Yeah, demigod. Yeah. Better or worse than mushroom people. Below, I kind of put above mushroom people. Uh, Really? That's um, I'll, I'll accept that. For yeah, because there's the tiny crabs, uh, and then you have the big crabs, and you're you're never mad to see a crab, even when they slam their body into you and crush you into the water. I I would not agree with that, but <laughs> continue. Okay. Crystal Sage, I don't remember. Uh, it was a Crystal lame Sage. boss. It's um. Okay. When you're heading to the Cathedral of the Deep, is where you find the Crystal Sage. It like teleports around, and it's never really hard. I think it's like unkindled. It's like I was really thinking of the amazing. dancer of the boreal valley. That's what I got confused with. I thought for whatever reason the dancer of the boreal valley was in. Um, uh, I think yeah. I got er, er, um, the dancer confused with um, Lady M from from Sekiro. Who's Lady M? Like, uh, we'll get to her. I'm sure she's. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, next up we have. What oh, am I looking okay. at? No, the curse rotted great tree. I think it's an okay boss. Um, it doesn't really have anything too extreme or bad going for it. You have to fight it in order uh, to get access to boss weapons, which gives it a plus. Yeah. But as I, for tree go, eh. eh. I I think that it's one of the lamest bosses in all of. Dark Souls, just design-wise. I think it was a fun fight. I enjoyed that boss fight a lot. I think the pro to it... I uh, just, like, design-wise, it's a tree that kind of... It destroying the environment and the fight in a new arena, I think, is really cool. That's true. And that, that's, I think, true. That's a good picks idea. it up. Yeah. But I think it still has to be somewhere in Hunter that's because fair. it's still a lame boss. Yeah. It's a lame boss fight. And it doesn't move, and it it just kind of yeah. stays put. And like I mean, it I moves. think it, like, they it lays try to do something interesting there. He spins. Yeah, but he has a like, weird I, I think thing. that I think that yeah, I think they tried a lot here that they then retried to do an Elden Ring, yeah. and it works a lot better in Elden yeah. Ring simply because you have the horse, and you have a lot more yeah. mobility. And so there's a lot more that they could put you through with a, 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 um, a um, centenary enemy, because stationary enemy is what I was trying to say, um, because you have a lot more mobility and verticality that you can Right. Dancer of the Boreal Valley, Tom, I, I would think. put in Demigod. I, really, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm happy with that, too. She's really Be cool. Because the whole thing with her attacking a different pattern, having different timing, looking cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah, of her yeah. attacks being dancing moves in, like, a very yeah. ballet type thing. The two is... swords, it's so cool. She has one of the best animation sets yeah. in yeah. gaming, I think. And her song's Beautifully cool. Beautifully designed. Beautifully animated. And when she yeah, takes out I the agree. fire sword, it like catches her entire arena on fire as well. Yeah. Like everything about it yeah. is just cool and good. Alright, next yeah. up. A Dark Eater Medeer's um the the probably the coolest dragon in the Dark Souls series, but it's still just a That's dragon. That's what I was gonna say too. Yeah, so I like would say top, top of Lord of Cinder. Oh, I can't really? put her okay. all the way up in Lord of Cinder. I'd say like low Lord of Cinder. Because Seeds of Scale is um, definitely cooler than Dark Eater Medeer and Top of that. Tarnished, you think, maybe? Yeah, I think that works. Or Middle of Tarnished. He's also like as far as dragons I, go, even with... in Elden Ring, he's definitely one of the more annoying ones because yeah. he has the most health yeah. out of every boss, and the only way you can deal damage to him is his yeah. head. And it's another case of in Dark Souls 3 where it's a very big a huge arena and you just can't catch up to because <laughs> you don't have a horse. Yeah. All right, now, who is this? Crystal, I have no yeah. idea who this is. Um, I don't either. Yeah, I guess mid unkindled because that tends yeah. to be what we've been doing for one. Deacon we don't of know. the Deep. Um, honestly, cool I would boss. put not an interesting boss. Uh, yeah, for Deacon of the Deep, I'd honestly throw him into Wretched. Really, I don't think I could put him that uh, low. He, he just. Because it's at least just unique. A bunch of just generic. I think I'd have to say like deprived. It's just that a worse. bunch of dudes that don't really harm you. Okay. I, well, if, if, that's you your, wanna, I, if you have low poise um, and they all gang up on you, they can kill you. But that's like a very specific like one-off thing. Because I think his crime my... is more being boring than he is like bad. Yeah. Well, I just also, this is me liking um, high strength builds uh, bleeding through here because that fight was literally child's play. Because you, I would one or two shot every guy in there. So I'd just walk in there and swing in there and swing and kill like 20 dudes. And I just did that until I killed the boss. And I, and I did that boss fight like two or three different times, and that's what happened every single time. And it didn't have the fun, interesting part of the... Why did... Hold on, I'm having Parker. some internet issues, so I'm seeing if I can 
let's see real quick. You can keep talking. I'm still here. It's just not um, streaming correctly. Okay. Um, oh, and but yeah, I I just and he does the arena doesn't have the interesting parts of the uh, um, mouse one. Um, because there's, like, nothing to interrupt your swings. So it's just a group of people in robes that you can cleft and twain really easily if you have, um, I, I don't know. I just found it really boring, and it wasn't difficult, and it was just, like, I, I don't really have a whole lot of weight behind clergy, and so seeing Men of the Cloth get uh, torn in half by my giant greatsword is more amusing than anything else, so. Okay. I'm going to try turning on my hotspot. That's just my opinion. Which makes sense, yeah. Um, but that's... Uh, there's a lot of reasons why it doesn't personally work for me. Which is my bias, I guess. Which is why I would throw him in, like, wretched or... De I, I'm fine with putting him in depraved, too, but I, I just don't think he's that interesting of a boss. Um, I think I should be good and back now. I should be good and back now. But yeah, all that completely checks out makes sense. I think um, the reason for me why he's above Wretched is simply because he at least has like a unique thing to have it done before in his boss fight with it like jumping around between them. They did it again in uh, Bloodborne, I think, but... Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm fully back. Um, I I would argue that that isn't. I would disagree with that, both with the King of the Rats and also in the um, uh, Abyss Watchers. I wouldn't say the Deacon of the Deep mimic the Abyss Watchers, because the Deacon of the Deep you have slow enemies that approach you. And the Abyss Watchers, it doesn't matter which one you kill. The Abyss Watchers, you just have to uh, kill one of them. And then it goes to the next phase. And the rats makes sense, but the difference yeah, is, is like the visual side. That's the point I'm making, is that I feel like it is touching on similar aspects, um, but in less interesting ways to me as a player. Um, I would much prefer to uh, deal with either the rat. I personally, I would much rather want to fight the rats, the king of the rats, because that's a fun fight, and um, there's some fun annoyance with the gravestones blocking your strikes while you're trying to deal with them. And so there, there's a really interesting element in terms of like, you know, that there is a visual differentiation between that one rat but it's minuscule and you really have to be looking for it and they keep running into the walls so there's like this like whack-a-mole-esque nature of that fight and the abyss watchers it's a similar kind of like overpowering force but it's a way more interesting fight and in the oh. way that they fight together but also opposed is really interesting that just i feel like the deacon of the deep is in between those two fights and um by being in between them loses any um uniqueness because of it to me but also so part of that comes from the fact that i i tend to build high cons because i'm Man, my internet is refusing to just function right now. It's going so well. I do be like that. At least you sound coherent. Um, you did not sound um, coherent before. Oh, is it actually like coherent now? 
Yeah, I can actually hear you the whole time. Is where healthy. you were cutting out in and out really bad. It says stream is healthy now, so I hope. One of the problems was when the cat got on my computer to try to turn it off. She knocked my antenna off. I didn't even notice. Uh, okay. Well, anyway. We'll, we'll move on to the next one, and it looks like it's working fine. Okay, so we're on... Um, okay. Deep Accursed. I hate this enemy. I think he's cursed. This is a weird jumping uh, creature you find in the deep area. And it's like... I... I it's it's bad. I hate it. I never once enjoyed fighting it. That's fine. I don't remember him so clearly. I, I don't have any strong opinions, so... <sighs> Alright, next. Um, demon Cleric. I don't know who this is. I think it's just a random demon enemy you either. find in the smoldering lake. Yeah. So I would put him in, like, unkindled. Works for me. Okay, cool. Um, these guys. This demon is, in pain. This demon is the, from below. Um, the two demons you fight uh, when you're entering uh, the ring city, and it kicked our fuck above the swamp, and he's just a basic demon. There's nothing too crazy about him, so I'd put him in just uh, unkindled. Works for me. Desert Pyromancer Zoe, I'd put somewhere in Hunter. Um, I would put her next to she's... the other Pyromancer because she's just the other Pyromancer, but now she's in Dark Souls 3. Yeah. Um, yeah. But she drops the spell, doesn't she? Am I making that up? I That would make sense because she's a Pyromancer. Yeah, I think so. All right. Next up, what am I looking at here? Devout Hollow. Devout Hollow. I um, unkindled. upper end of unkindled, because at yeah. least they put some twist on it. Dragon Slayer armor, I think, is really interesting, and it has some interesting yeah. attacks. Um, middle high hunter. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, next up. Dark Blood Knight, however, I would say goes that's in, like, middle way. high unkindle. Yeah, I'd say, like, with the other knights, like, it's just yeah, nothing too crazy it, about him. Yeah, he looks better, but that's about it. Grave Warden, I put in deprived. It just it, it's it's yeah, it's not a great design. It's basic. It doesn't no. do anything crazy. It's no basically just and, a hollow with everything else. Yeah, and they get just one shot, <laughs> kind of ubiquitously. Now, Elder um, Grew, I hate this enemy so fucking much, but it's still a cool enemy. Yeah. So I'd probably put him in Wretched. I, the whole attack where he like slams into the swamp and puts up 50 yeah. million skulls. I, yeah, hate yeah, yeah. I hate him so much. Yep, yep, yep. yep. And you know what? This fat uh, evangelist? Yeah, evangelist. Ah, it's fucking cursed. The bees. The fire hug. The oh, fucking reach no, around guy. on this motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's the fucking, fire hug. Yeah, that's fucking cursed. Oh, yeah, because that was in that area I kept trying to run through, and he just grab you and explode. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bad time. Bad time all around. Yep. Straight through. Yep, yep. Uh, Fallen Knight, I'd put... Cool armor, but the knight. Yeah, knight just the knight. Uh, fair and foul, a follower, same deal. I think um, um, the follower gets a little bit higher because they can throw spears. Okay. And so Just they're like, like they're like high yeah. unkindled because they're okay. not the same as other knights. They actually have something yeah. unique about them. Yeah. And let me tell you, I'm, when he threw that spear for the first time, boy, was I not expecting that. Uh, I don't know who this is. Uh, I don't either. Unkindled. I think she's in um one of the DLC areas, but I don't remember. Gargoyle, I'd put honestly bottom of Hunter. Um, I'd bottom, put lower middle. I don't. They're not unique, and I don't like fighting them. They're from the profane yeah. capital, and they're just a bitch. So I'd put them in deprived, honestly. Works for me. Next, these are the small crews. I hate these <laughs> as much as the elder crew. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. They jump yeah. around. They kick the shit out of you. Uh, it's jump, not worse than a blow around. dart sniper, though. No. In no. fact, actually, both of these go below those two. All right. Next. Um, giant archer goes He's around. Cool. Um, really? Yeah. I. 
He's a they... bitch, but like you can befriend him, and then he only helps you. Oh, he's that guy. Yeah, he's a guy that you're like, hey, what's this tree? And then you get a giant arrow in you. But then when you talk to him, he's like, oh, I won't attack you anymore. We're friends. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah he's pretty yeah. cool. I'd put him like in tarnished arms. Like he's cool. He's kind of unique. There's I not agree. Really other enemies like him. Yeah. Yep. Giant fly, uh, hollowed. Gross. Yeah, hollowed. One hundred percent. Actually, no, he's better than the angel though. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, right. Giant slave, I just feel bad for, honestly. Yeah. I put them in wretched. Wretched. Uh, he, he is wretched, honestly. He's a giant yeah. slave in his own shit. Yeah, because, like, I feel awful fighting him. Yeah. He's also super fucking annoying, because if he even lays a pinky Sophie, finger on hey. you, you explode. Um, it just, I throw him in wretched, personally. Okay, the dudes with the wax on their head. The only um, good thing I could say about them is it shows you the mechanic of putting wax on your head, which keeps you safe from the books is cool. Outside that, everything else about them I don't like. Yeah, um, hide deprived. I, I think it's funny that they they yeah. have candle wax on their head, but outside of that, I don't. There's not a whole. It lot makes of... me giggle. Now these uh, go with yes. the angel because in order to kill the angels, you have to kill these things. So you have to run through them yeah. to get to them, so it's just equally as bad. Yeah. Now this fight, um, I think. This is one of the coolest bosses in the entire game. They re they reuse this idea on Elden Ring, but this is a fight where when you walk in, it summons another player to fight you. Oh, yeah. And that's um, a really cool idea. So I, for that alone, I think I would put it in Lord of Cinder. I think that it is a much better idea than it is Execution. ever implemented. True. Um, but I well, it's agree with It's implemented in Elden Ring very well because you don't actually fight I another agree. player. You fight yeah. um, a snapshot of them. Yeah. And, um, so, well, you can fight another player, but if there's not one present, there are presets. Well, that's how it how works that... for the Half-Light of the Sphere. For Elden Ring, I think it's uh, always an NPC. Okay. It's just an NPC where whenever you get hugged by Fia, it saves your NPC and puts it into a pool. And then when you fight that boss, cool. it can be one from that pool that's cool that's cool okay this okay. this enemy i also hate they're tanky I also, they hit yep yep uh i can't i, I think yep. wretched because i don't think it's bad enough to be in hollowed or curse but it's not great hovel knight he's hovel i love this guy but i love it's because i love the npc in the first game um, so I would, I personally want to throw him at the bottom of Tarnished, but I'm fine with either Hunter, because he's still yeah, a fun think, character yeah. to fight. I'd say, he's like, still High fun. Hunter. Yeah, I, I'm okay with that. Okay, uh, next up, what am I looking at here? Headless Gargoyle. I don't know who this is. I think this goes with the other Gargoyles, probably because I think they're also in the Profane Capital, and they're just a bitch to yeah. fight. Yeah, yeah. I like um, High Lord Wolnir, but he's not a good boss, to be honest. I was about to say the same thing. I think design wise, yeah. I think the idea of him's really interesting. I don't like, think they implemented him well. Low tarnished, maybe, like with the Cars of Sandworm for like the same yes. reason. Yeah. Okay. Hollow Assassin, um, I'd put in deprived. Because <laughs> they're, no. they're boring, but also they can really fuck you up if you're not paying attention. True. All right, what is this? I don't know what the hollow cleric is. Unkindled. Yep. All right, next hollow up. Hollow manservant. I is... like this guy. You can find a nice one who get puts you in his back. It takes you to a covenant. I like yeah. him. A high unkindled low hunter. Yeah, I think low or hunter. You... Yeah, okay, I'm fine with that. Hollow priest, low on unkindled. Yeah, He's that just works annoying. for me, yeah. Hollow soldiers just, just go hollow soldiers. in the middle. Yeah. Yep. As normal as normal can be. Uh, this guy goes with the uh, other Grub Golem. Yeah. He's the Grub Golem, but he's somehow grosser. So I put him in hollowed. Yeah. Alright. Uh, these, uh, this character, these enemies are annoying, but they're not that bad. I still don't ever want to yeah. fight them though, so it's probably like bottom of unkindled. I'd even put him in or deprived. deprived, yeah, because they're That's actively fine. not fun to fight. Yeah, Eudex Gundir, I would put in out of god. I'm gonna be honest. 
really yeah I, for the, like I, the first boss of the game cool lord yeah. cool boss plus of man it's the surprise fact like all of it is just so good i think he's the best first boss out of any of the dark yeah. souls games uh, out of out of the of entire the... series because it's better yeah, than bloodborne and Elden ring too and he has such a strong personality too yeah, yeah i agree okay i don't think it's better than the dancer but bottom no. of outer god i think is yeah good all right i hate yeah. these guys i hate these guys so much they're, they're worse yep. than a basilisk in every way i put him in cursed yep works for me uh adjudicator um they're just big boys that you can punch um, i would put I him would... next to the angel for the same reason as the angel because as you try to run up to hit them they shoot five billion bolts That's of fair. energy into your face yeah yeah i don't remember either of these summons i'm gonna put them next to well they're invaders i don't know why they're summons. i'll put them next to the other invaders from dark souls 2 yeah Locust creature. He's got a gross as fuck, gross. but they're yep. not like that bad to fight. They're just really gross. So I'd put him like yeah. five. Okay, works for me. Lothric knight, just a knight. Their armor set's nice. Yeah, uh, I like their armor hunter. set. Huh? Like low hunter because they're a cooler yeah. knight, but they're still just a knight. Yeah. And they're uh, and I use their uh, armor set for a lot of the game. <laughs> Lothric wyvern is kind of lame it's cool uh, that you have it's... to kill the puss of man to kill them but that's the only cool thing otherwise it's yeah. just annoying yeah so deprived um, yeah i agree okay cool uh lycanthrope uh hunter uh, um this is just diet um bloodborne enemy yeah that's uh, true i think that's somewhere in unkindled yeah Something like right there in the middle. i feel the same way about lycanthrope it's just a diet bloodborne enemy that it's true. I, if it, if Bloodborne did not exist, I would put him higher. Yeah, but all the but enemies it's... in Bloodborne are just better. Yes, I agree. Uh, Mad Woman, just a generic. <laughs> yeah, just put her in unkindled, right in the middle. Yeah, it's it's just like a lycanthrope hunter, but female. She has tits. Um, Man Grub, I don't. These remember. are the weird little slug boys, because they uh, refreshed their character too many times, so they became them. That's just uh, to me. Okay. They don't pose a threat. They're not too crazy. They just there. No. Uh, man serpent. Man serpent. I like him. It's annoying. I don't like fighting him, but he's a cool design, so I'd put him in hunter. Works for me. Right next to the iron golem. Millward knight. I like. I'd put him like middle, 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 bottom of hunter. Because he's more he he's more of a Viking really than he is just a generic knight. Yeah, it feels, I don't remember him at all, so that works for me. Uh, monstrosity of sin that looks gross, and I don't remember. Oh, uh, the monstrosity of skin of skin. Monstrosity of sin is one of the grossest enemies because he has like the mouth. It's like slimy eyes, fucking everywhere. Oh but yeah, yeah, yeah. I would place him higher because he's a cool enemy to fight. But by God, is he disgusting? <laughs> I'd yeah. put him in like hunter. Works for me. Uh, Merkman. Deprived. Merkman? What is Merkman? Merkman is he, just gross. You, oh, you find him in the drag heap, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just, yeah deprived. Just kind of, a, just kind of around. Uh, Nameless King. Top tier. Uh, looks looks very cool. It I'd put very... him in Outer God because, one, he has cool boss. Two, his phases, both phases of his boss fight are distinct and equally challenging. Three, his lore is cool. Four, um, ha the cutscene in between is really cool. Five, one of the hardest bosses of the entire fucking game and is so goddamn rewarding when you actually fucking kill him. And so, like, everything about him, I think is just straight up good. I don't think he tops Artorias or Great Grey Roof Sif, but I think he's one of the best bosses in the entire series. What say you? I... Liked his second phase. Um, I don't think he quite reaches that upper echelon of boss fight for me. Um, but I am fine putting him in low outer god since you seem to feel really passionate about this. I am very passionate about it. I'll put him okay there, lower outer god. 
because I like I wasn't sure if I was remembering the right boss fight, and I looked it up, and I was, and I just I I wasn't as impressed with this boss fight as you seem to be. You, I and also I don't think you played him solo, and that's where a lot of the I did play him solo. Did you? Oh wow! Well. Yes, because uh, I played a lot of these bosses with y'all, and then again solo because I played through this game again after we beat him. And I think we're going to have an argument when we get to uh, a couple of bosses down the line because I think I'm going to be really passionate and you're not going to be as passionate about it. I think that's going to so. be a lot of Elden Ring, to be honest. <laughs> yes. All right. Osiris, the consumed king. He's a um, cool boss, but... I I think he's a lot like... um Not Gwendolyn. Uh, I think he's a lot like uh, the grafted boss in Elden Ring but not as interesting I think he's actually more interesting because of his story and that he was consumed by wanting to create the perfect child and consumed by dragon so he became a dragon and he's holding on to the child during his first phase but when you push him far enough you um, kind of break his sanity to the uh, the last shred, shred of it so he kills the baby ocelot and then he right. fights you when you're thinking you're the one that killed Ocelot. So I think there's a lot of really cool storytelling with it. But his boss fight itself isn't anything interesting. Yeah. So I'd put him in Hunter. I think that... I... Because I don't necessarily think it's great storytelling because it's... It, it, it doesn't work as well for me as... Um, like, for example, Sif's, because uh, Sif, like, seeing somebody literally kill a baby is just a little excessive, in my point of view. And I think that it it's going to work for some people and completely remove the other half from the situation entirely. And I'm one of the people that falls in the second half. Where if I see a baby die or they mention like a baby brutally murdered, I am then not going to take the rest of the story of that character or the story in general seriously. Because I'm, I'm going to assume that they don't have a clever way to make you connect with that character. So then where do you think it should go? Um, I think that I think that it's interesting. Um, I would throw it somewhere in Lord of Cinder. Because I think that his obsession with dragon and trying to strive towards dragon kind, I think is interesting. But like I said, I think it, it falls short for me. It's um, actually so even I higher would... than I was thinking. I was, I was thinking really? like High Hunter. So I guess we'll be in the middle and put it in like Tarnished. Yeah. He has a cool design I... as well, but his boss fight's just nothing interesting. Yeah. Because that's, that's what gets it. If, if, if he did, didn't literally kill a baby in front of you, I think I would find him way more interesting. But, like, just seeing that happen immediately turns my brain off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, where, like, I, the idea of this, of there was a, a king that was born that was so obsessed with becoming a dragon. He literally gave up and sacrificed everything in his life so he can become this weird abomination that is just barely dragon enough that yeah. he is happy that's a crazy interesting story and it's also sad because he has his what is his ideas ocelot is a perfect son and child but he has two literal sons that he's just doesn't not care about anymore because they're not part dragon because I, you could do a very similar thing of him um talking about how it failed and he just like lashes out at you and then um it, like the boss fight happens and you don't know what he's talking about and he just goes on and on about his life work came up to this and then it failed and now he'll never reach his goal and then you kill him and he dies and then you hear the baby cry and you see a dragon fly away and you can put two and two together there. And that's a way more interesting story because he did succeed, but he'll never know. And if he had just waited instead of lashing out at you, he would have seen that success. 
instead of him literally killing a child in front of you. <laughs> All right, on to the old Demon King, which this is another boss I think is pretty cool. Yeah, but it also falls into the red rock and antlers motif. It's true. Of demons. Um, but it, it, it is a fun fight. It's yeah, also it's cool because me. it's like he's a weaker demon simply just because it's like the end of the demons are a dying out race. And I think that's yeah. really cool. And that's shown very cool in the fight. Uh, right, Peasant Hollow, Pleasant, unkindled. Pleasant, Pleasant, not <laughs> Pleasant <laughs> Hollow. He's not too bad of a guy to be around. You know, that one L really changes that word, huh? Yeah, it, it sure does. I think just middle unkindled because he's just, he's just a peasant. Just all of yeah. And same with the and with the knight. knight. Yeah, I'd put him higher, but that is still just a knight. I love Pontiff Sullivan. Pontiff Sullivan. That's straight up out of God. I'd put him good, below Artorius, but he's such a good fight in every way. I this was the one I thought we were going that you were going to want to put him in like Lord of Cinder Rage range, and I wanted. To oh put no! Him higher. No, he's so his, cool. He has the okay, he has the two swords, right? He has a profane sword this, this from the so cool. profane capital. And then he has a magic sword from the uh, Boreal Valley to show that he's like the king of both places. That's cool. Yeah. He has that specter version of him that is one of the most unique and cool boss fight mechanics that you have to stagger your dodges to dodge both. He yeah. looks cool. His story's cool, and you're being content constantly the entire game. You're being hunted by Boreal Outrider Knights, by Vort of the yeah. Boreal Valley. And then you finally get to him, and you find him, and you beat him. And, and then it turns out, oh, wait a minute, he's not even the top guy because Aldrich is fucking up here. And he's just a, yeah. a consuming a god. And he's just, yeah. everything about him is just cool. I... I personally also love the motif of duality, especially in terms of like sun versus shadow. I think that's really interesting. And I think that Pontev Sullivan does a great job of epitomizing mm -hmm. a lot of the reasons why I love that motif. And also like so. the entire fight up to him, you get to him and then you beat him and you leave. And it's like, oh shit, now I'm in Anne Orlando. Yep. And then you yeah. realize, oh, wait a second. The propane capital down there, Anolando's here. Now it makes sense why he was even here in the first place. All of it's mm -hmm. just, it's all so good. I think he's almost like, mm -hmm. he's probably peak Dark Souls 3. I, I agree. I, I think that he does a really good job of epitomizing a lot of motifs that go mm -hmm. along in the Dark Souls series. Now, Puss of Man, I would put this in Wretched. Works for me. I think it's a really cool idea. It's just very gross and annoying yeah. to fight. Yeah. <laughs> It's cool. It's it's a cool idea. Uh, it's but yeah, gross, and gross, terrible to fight. Yep. Uh, rapier champion, Stunned like Kendall. low on Kendall. Yeah, it's, <laughs> he's just a man with a sword. And also, he's like you just can kick him a couple of times and then he dies. Now I'm very mixed on Big Crystal Lizard. It's cool and it's cool they made a boss out of it, but like I also don't like the fighting Crystal it. Breath is cool. Yeah. I would argue somewhere in the hunter range, That's what middle to mid low hunter range. This is a really cool design. The crystal <laughs> breath, I think, is a really uh, inspired choice. Um, but also, yeah, it's, it's kind of annoying to fight. <laughs> right, next up, <laughs> we just got the zombies. It's fucking ratchet. Um, yeah, yeah, they're they're just boring and annoying. Because usually there's like 20 of them. And usually if one grabs you, it does a lot of damage. And it's just annoying. Um, yeah, I don't know who Ring City Slave is. Uh, they are apparently a ranged enemy that throws javelins. That's all I got for you. Unkindled. Works for me. Uh, ranged Ring Knight. Knight. Top tier Knight, I think. Yeah, I agree. I think it, they have the best armor. Yeah, best armor, they... best move set. They're cool. They're an active challenge because they're a game. I'd put them in tarnished. And they have a really cool design too. Yeah, and just because the whole Ring City is where the humanity is, and you're going to get the Dark Soul, and having yep. that like hollowed out Dark Soul chest thing is this is cool. And they are, they're the people who have the dual wield great swords, which is also cool. I agree. Yep. Uh, Rock now Rock Lizard, Lizard, fucking ratchet. I hate this fuck. Yep. Um, root skeleton. I would also throw in ratchet. Oh, they said um, rude skeleton. I'm like, who the fuck is rude skeleton? Uh, more or less. <laughs> you walk I, in I, and I, just like flips you off immediately. It's like, hey, what the fuck? 
<laughs> the Hold next on. three I would all throw in deprived, honestly. <laughs> um I, I was saying I would throw the these <laughs> next chunk of three all into I don't think um, I can depraved. put the like the rotten um Flesh of Aldrich and Eldritch. Ratchet, just like it have to be like top Ratchet because it's definitely not as bad as a lot of the other shit in Ratchet. I, I said depraved, not Ratchet. Oh, okay, then yeah, got it. Because the rotten slug, I That's think, nice is interesting, and the sewer centipede is also interesting. Now, I would disagree. I would put him lower. I hate this okay. thing. Everything about it's gross. I hate fighting it. It's grab. It jumps out of the water. All of it. I hate it, and I wish I would never see it. Cool design. So I can't put it in cursed, but nah, otherwise I, I hate it. <laughs> uh, lowest I'm willing to go is Wretched, because I do think he's a very interesting design and has an interesting move set. Yeah. Um, but I, I agree, because especially there, because in terms of ambush uh, mobs in um, Dark Souls, I think that he's one of the better ones. Yeah. Um, so I I would agree with Wretched, but I I. I I would be, I would not want to put him lower. All right, next up, I don't know who this is. Uh, she just, um, in that same area with the rotten slugs and the sewer centipedes, you're just kind of walking around, and then all of a sudden she starts charging at you with that big old axe. So like, untangled um, then? Yeah, she's yeah. just, uh, honestly, I'd drop her down to deprived, because it's like after you've gone through a bunch of them. So, like, you've gotten ambushed a couple of times, you're yeah. annoyed, you're low on heals, and then she shows up, and you're like, God damn it!" And she's actually kind of an annoying fight, um, because of that axe has so much range, so it's harder to um, dodge. Uh, so, I would drop her down to deprived, because she's annoying. Yeah, And they is, uh... have her spawn. Sir Wilhelm. Yeah, I, I, I don't remember him either. I think he's in the same area ish because of the snow, but I don't remember him at all. Oh, I think he's the dude that in Ashes of Ariandel, you he's just guarding a place and uh, he's not too crazy. I'd put him just unkindled. Unkindled works for me. Right, next up, Sister Freddy. Now, I'd put her in Out of God. One of my favorite f boss fights in the entire series. And is also one of, one of the hardest fucks. I'd put her at the bottom of Outer God, but I'd put her in Outer God. She's the end of Ashes of Ariandel, the old dude in the background, and she has, like, the magic jewel oh! She's And it, she's one of the only ones that have three phases. And everything about her in the fight is so good. It's so cool. Right, right, right. So difficult. Kicks my ass. Yeah. I'm fine with that, yeah. All right. Um, right there. She also uh, has yeah, a same sort of point of Black Flame. Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe we just like um, <laughs> dual wielding magic scythe and fire scythe. Yes. Um, where did you put her? You're not streaming anymore oh, to me. Sorry, so I, I can't see. put her. Um, if you open my YouTube stream, you'll see it, it delayed. But she's in Outer God above Nameless King below Mimic. Okay, that works for me. Got it. Skeleton Ball, very funny enemy. That's all I can say for it. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Iron so, Kindle. Yeah, uh, I would agree. All right, next uh, up. Slave, Slave Night, Night Gale. Gale. Now, uh, give a... that thing to me, your dark toes. <laughs> I agree. All right, and um, for that, he goes straight into Curse, because anyone who likes dark toes is good. No, um... <laughs> Lord of Cinder, maybe? Yeah, because he's a cool final boss. He's a bitch to fight. He's hard. But he's not really that, like, visually impressive compared to others. No, he's not. He's He he isn't um, breathtaking. He's yeah. very much oh, what He took I our expected. breath quite a few times. Yes. Aggressively yes. with an executioner sword. Yes. Um. I. But he is very much what I expected. Yeah. Sister Freed is one that you don't expect, and that's what makes her so yeah. cool. But Slave Night Gale is exactly what you'd expect from the final boss yeah. of Dark 3. 100%. Okay, Smoldering Rotten Flesh. Uh, deprived, Wait, but high on one, it. Actually. Yeah, we're, we don't have the final boss of Dark Souls 3 in here. Oh, well. Right. Deprived? Sure. It's just Slave Night Gale. No, it's Lord Cinder. The actual no, final no, boss, no. not the final boss of the DLC. No, 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 no. Um, Stray Demon... Eh. Hunter. Unkindled. 
Really? I he's just like all the other demons. It's I'm, I'm fine with unkindled. Yeah. Well, he feels he's a little reminiscent of um the the first boss. Um, he reminds me a little bit of um how the God damn asylum? how did I Yeah, the Asylum Demon a little bit. Um and so I think that gets him some bonus points to me because I think that's fun, but I, I'm happy to throw him down okay. to Beast of Sullivan. Uh, unkindled. Um uh, uh, fucking cursed, I think. I hate this guy. You that yep. place in Orlando you break into and Which you have to kill me. three of them. It's one it's I yep. hate him. Hate him so much. Alright, yep. next. Uh Swordmaster. Yeah, this is a guy Rose. that I would put wherever the Uchi Gatana Phantom is and put him right above there because he's actually a really yeah. cool fight. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Because he's uh, you're just wandering around the exterior of that uh, central area, and then he shows yeah. up, right? Yeah, yeah, and then he kicks your ass a few times until you actually beat him. Yeah. Okay. Ugh. The Twin Princess, I think, is a very cool boss, so I'd put him in Lord Ascender, which is fitting. Yeah, I'm fine Lord with Ascender. That. Yeah. Because uh, I, I think that they've tried to do the whole... I think that's the best clone of yeah. Orn T Ornstein Orn and Smo that isn't Ornstein and Smo. Yeah, because they actually work together. Like the yeah. um the big prince will uh, the magic small small prince will teleport the big boy and then you'll like be on top yeah. of you and hit you and it's it's cool. It's just a cool fight. It's very interesting. It's the best of the variations of the original recipe. I don't think anything gets as interesting as the original recipe but yeah. i i think it's the closest it gets all right thrall now i love these guys i think these are the best goblins in this series because the ones in elden ring are actively worse and the ones before yep. elden ring uh also suck so i'd put him in tarnished i love him he's a little, cute little guy okay works for me and he has such a great Free helmet. woman uh these are terrifying <laughs> they're oh cool design they're the ones... yeah, yeah yeah they throw out like a um like a swarm of fire yeah I like uh, Kindle for me, I think. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Next up, Bort of the Boreal Valley. I'd put him in Lord of Cinder. I think he's a cool boss, a good boss, a good introduction to the Boreal things, and as yeah. a first like challenge, he's pretty good. And he has a kick ass mace that yes, I Yes, that mace for is fantastic. Time. And he actually shows the whole ice effect which was added in this game. Yeah. I I I I definitely think Bort goes goes high up in yep. that winged knight um this is just worse honestly, than the actual other winged knight so i honestly i throw him into deprive <laughs> yeah that's what i think he's also just a bitch to fight with that range and when he spins on yeah. you it's... Uh, he's 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 a bad design he's just a tubby little boy with itty itty bitty wings i just don't like him okay now we have wolf he goes with dogs i think yes i agree Wait, the dogs. I think they he were... goes below dogs, honestly. Yeah, put him in hollowed. Uh, uh Ratch... this thing, this goes in fucking hollowed as well. I think he is yep. that or wretched because he just is a wretch. He's gross. I wish I could stop looking at him. Just put him in hollowed because yeah. Uh, Yorm. Yorm is so cool, but as a boss fight, is really lame. So. <sighs> Based on him being just such a cool fucking enemy and such cool lore, and him being like the king of Profane Capital, I'd put him in Demigod, but his fight actually just sucks. Yeah. But, but, this isn't, um, it shouldn't play too big of a role, but the whole Siegmire or Sieg word, whatever it is in Dark Souls 3, his quest finishing here is so fucking good. Yeah. So that also raises it. So I, I, I think Demigod. I, I... Yeah, I agree. And also, he is, he is so canonic. What, what did I just say? Uh, say? Kentonic, He's I think so you said. iconic in terms of like his design. Oh, you were saying terms... he's a catatonic because when you meet him, he's just yes. sitting in a chair. Yes, I yes, yes. I think he should be placed really high because he's so catatonic when you meet him. That's, yes. mm, that's perfect. It's a perfect uh, rendition of a boss. Yes, um, but he's... It, a lot i think he's the pinnacle of like a lot of um like if i had to choose the best looking dark souls looking boss i think yorm is the yeah. one that i'd go for <laughs> it'd either be like him or it'd be like udex gundir or 
Or probably a nameless king, like one of those three are the pinnacle. But but like if I am thinking a Dark Souls boss, like yeah. something that is clearly Dark Souls through and through, Yorm is the one that comes first to mind. Like because he looks stunning yeah. and he's so clearly the Dark Souls art style. I think if, like, like um if he had just a better fight, he would like 100% yeah. be top of Outer God. He might even beat Artorius. But just because his fight is so lame, lame. Yeah. that he's it's, it's more that he's being picked up by everything else. Yeah. Because it's even like yeah. if they did, because they did the same idea on Elden Ring again with Praetor Rikard, but it's just done so much better with Praetor Rikard because Praetor Rikard's yeah. still a hard fight even with the, um, the Serpent Spear. But Yorm isn't. You just sit back and do it repeatedly yeah yeah okay next up oh we're, that was the last one we're in um yep bloodborne well, where would we put lord of cinder though since <laughs> i forgot to make one i guess i think um, he's a really cool final boss but as like hi lord of cinder <laughs> i think for what he stands for i'd put him in demigod because he's okay. the perfect image of what they were trying to do they were trying to okay. do a culmination of all the Lords of Cinders who's linked the flames before can culminate into one thing, and he looks exactly okay. like that. And you fight him in a field of swords, unlimited blade work style. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. all he's uh, really that, cool. That is a cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I would put him low demigod, but I agree. Yeah, I think higher than the Covetous Demon for sure. But yeah. Okay, now we're to Bloodborne. Um, Amygdala. Yes. I love Amygdala. I love the name. I love it. I would put it Lord of Cinder. Okay, that works for me. Uh, beast patient, I would just throw middle <laughs> yeah, of unkindled. Yeah, he's just beast uh, patient. I, he's higher than most of the hollows, I would say, because the design is so fun. Yeah, I'll um, put him like right above but, all the random invasions from Dark Souls 2. <laughs> yeah. Uh, beast possessed soul is more or less just a knight. Um, one second, before we continue, let me actually open up the list, because it's a bit easier to read it in the list than it is on the tier list. You're good. Okay, beast possessed soul. Yeah, he's more or less just a knight. I'd put him yeah. high unkindled. Yeah, that makes sense, yeah. Uh Blood Gel, fuck him. Uh yeah. I'd put it in wretched. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm gonna put it in front of dog because dog is still worse. Yeah. Uh Blood Staved Beast. Fucking cursed. This boss. My god, I hate this boss. Everything about this boss I hate. I hate how it looks. I hate that its skin is flayed off in front of me and I have to stare at it. I hate the poison effect it gives you from standing around it. I hate how fast. Everything about this boss I hate. It's a good boss, but I hate it. I hate it so much. I agree 100%. Honestly, I would put it in Demigod. <laughs> I am happy to put it in Cursed, but I think that, like... I think personally, because all the things that I like about this boss, other bosses in Bloodborne yeah. do and do better. No, I I agree. And this boss just does it all worse, and then also is worse. Yeah, no, I agree. I, I just, like... Like, Vicar Amelia is, like, the perfect version of this boss. Yeah, no, I agree. Okay, next. Uh, I hate blood... these two. They're gross. I don't like them. Yeah. Um, throw them in Wretched. Yeah, sure. I was even thinking, like, Hollow. That works for me. Uh, blown... Bone Ash blown. Hunter. Blown Blash Blunter. Yes. Uh, I I love all the Hunters, honestly. I don't think there's a Hunter that goes below Tarnish for me. All of the Hunter yeah, fights okay, yeah. are so cool. I don't and they're remember so the different. Let me open this bigger... I, yeah, I don't okay, remember yeah, yeah. their fight specifically, but there was not a single hunter fight that, because it changes up the pace so yeah. drastically. Because, like, a lot of the fights in this game, like, they're, they're like, slow and powerful beasts. Yep. And, like, you or know, very, that very if fast, they, powerful beast. Yeah, but, like,. You can, like, feel the quick intelligence of the hunters. Yeah. And it's so much fun to fight them because it's so quick. 
I, I love them. I, I think they're all the hunter fights in this yeah. game are great. Um, yeah, brain of Minsis. Brain, it's gross, and otherwise I don't remember it. Uh, it's, it's, it sure is gross. So I throw it in Reprived, because I... Reprived? Oh, sure, okay. Deprived works for me. Um, brain Sucker. I, I think um, it goes with Blood Noin Licker. Fuck. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wretched. Brick troll, I I, I like the them troll. big boys. I like yeah, them. I throw them high, high. Honestly, I kind of want to throw them low and tarnished. I was thinking high and tarnished even because okay, yep, he just walks up to you holding a brick and smacks just, it directly into your face. And, and, and so like funny. sometimes there's like two of them just hanging out together. Yeah, and they're just like, hey, big, troll, yeah, big dumb, <laughs> big dumb, stupid I, boy with a brick. Yeah, <laughs> he's just, you're just out here hunting beasts, and he's like, "I don't like that. I, I don't care what you're doing, but I just don't like you." Everyone else has a gun, and my man saw a brick, and he thought eh, that should do. <laughs> well, I don't think he has the intelligence to actually use a gun. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah. Okay, Kanehurst gargoyle. I'm tired of gargoyles. I am too. Fucking deprived. It works for me. Uh, Kanehurst hunter. I think this was one of the worst hunters. Yeah. I'll put him low uh, tarnished, I think, because he's just like... Works for me. I just didn't enjoy fighting him. Okay, um, next. Kane Kane servant. Servant. I metal. Kindled. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Carrion Crow goes around dog for me. Yeah, I'd even put it lower, like low wretched, because I these guys will 100 to zero you so fast because you don't really have yeah. armor in the same way in Bloodborne. If you're not yeah. careful around you, you're just done. And especially since there's like, especially in like the early mid game, they'll put like three of them yeah. in a corner. And if you're not paying attention, they will just 100 to zero you. And you and won't you have don't a chance have to react. iframes in the same way. So if you try to yeah. panic dash out, you're just dead. Yep. Okay, yep. next up, uh, Celestial Emissary. These guys are just funny little <laughs> smurfs, but like... Um, they're like the deacons of the deep, but they're like equally as bad as the deacons of the deep because they don't do anything yeah. unique at all. Yeah. I'm no, like, I'm I like would... deprived. Yeah. And like, they're kind of like the mushroom people if they had zero charisma. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're a bard with zero charisma. Yeah. I just don't like them. Celestial Same. larva, I would Fucking throw cursed. into. Yeah. Yeah. It's gross. Yeah. It's not as bad as, like, I don't mind fighting it as much, but it's gross, so I really do mind. Yeah. Uh, Chapel Giants are annoying. Yeah, I would like throw them in Deprived. Yeah. Uh, I would throw them in Deprived. Yeah, they're, they're fast just... brick boys without, again, without the charisma. Without the charisma, and also they're just really annoying. If there's two or three, because sometimes they throw two or three of them on top of each other, and they're just so annoying to deal yeah. with, because usually one of them has some sort of ranged weapon, and so it's just so annoying. Try Maiden fucking Curse. Throw her at the bottom of the pile, because they will throw her behind, like, 50 enemies that you all have to kill to try to get to her. Yeah. And then and she, she'll like, actually, run away from you. Yeah. And she actively, like, like the Basilisk, damages her character permanently. Yeah. But I would still put her above the blow dart sniper and the giant mosquito for two reasons. Fuck blow dart door. sniper is just, just oh, a vitriol you. hatred I have for them. And then the giant mosquito, because the first time I went against him in the randomizer was Gwen, and the second time was yeah. Manus, and I had to I had to fight through and kill Manus ten times back to back without using a bonfire. I agree. And so that will always be bottom of curse for me. I I agree. Uh, church I like, servant I like goes him. above chapel giant for me. Yeah, um, I'd, I'd put him still... bottom hunter, I think. I like yeah, I him, agree. but they're still basic enemy. Yeah, I agree. Uh, cleric beast? I, I like the cleric throw... beast. One of the top I, bosses I in the too. game for me, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I th and it's just such a perfect introductor yeah. It's the blood-starved beast, but when I fight him, I don't want to grab a noose. <laughs> Yeah, I would say middle to high tarnished for Cleric Beast. Yeah, I'll put him high tarnished because I was thinking um, low cinder, so that works. I, I, I just don't think it is stand out enough yeah. for me to feel like... The reason like it... why I would put him higher is simply just because since he's like the first main beast enemy boss you fight, 
that yeah. because of his placement in the game, it makes him stand out more. But yeah. there's better it's beats a, later. It sets a high bar that the rest of the game just builds on. Yeah, it sets a high bar that you're like, oh, how can they top this? And then they do, repeatedly. <laughs> yeah, repeatedly. Uh, and, like, the Cleric Beast, I think, is, like, a textbook definition good boss. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's definitely, like, a B-, minus. <laughs> I-, I feel like. Okay. Um, now, just... what the fuck is the cramped casket? Uh, it's, it's just... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Dark Beast... Carl. Hold on. Is this who I think it is? Oh, I hate this. I hate this so much. This is not as bad as the Bloodstar Beast, but my god, is it close. That Black Lightning, yeah. the speed, the hops, I hate it. So yeah. I put it in Cursed. It works for me. Yeah. Honestly, there's I, so many bosses honestly, in Bloodborne that I think are yeah. good bosses, but I hate. <laughs> I, I Bloodborne definitely is... Lovecraftian horror because it, it it fucking bats at the edges of your sanity sometimes oh, yeah. with these boss fights. Especially when you're um, just walking around in an outer, not an outer god, they're called some, a great old one just grabs you and yeah. decides to have their way with you. Yeah, you're just walking down a staircase and all of a sudden there's a giant beast that then screams and sucks out your, um, your, uh, madness, yep. which is a little ironic, but, uh, we're just kind of, you know, game with your frontal lobe. Yeah, uh, the daughter of the cosmos, I think, is a lot like um, the cleric beast. I don't remember uh, this I, boss at all, so it's entirely where you're putting it. I let me double check to make sure this is the boss that I think it is. Uh, hey, daughter of the cosmos. I think this is the yeah, one gonna... you find in the chapel dungeon at the end, but I'm not. Again, I have died to talk, remember? I thought it was the one on top of the chapel. I think that's Vicar Amelia. Is that Vicar Amelia? Yeah, because I'm pretty sure this one's underground. At least that's what oh, I remember. Yes, you're right. Yes. Oh, she's gross looking. Yeah, she's also. I don't um, remember this boss fight. She at all. is like the. There's a lot of bosses in themes to um, unwanted pregnancy, abortion, and all that, but yeah. she's like the peak image of that because yeah, she's just a womb she's just deprived she's a uterus honestly deprived or wretched i i when I, if i'm walking um, around i don't want to i would put it uterus. deprived because it looks like an interesting fight i think that might be a dlc that i didn't play well there's only the one dlc okay it might I, be i'm pretty DLC sure she was chapel dungeon play. I, I fought all the bosses um evil lab labyrinth spirit um, those can go into best. hollowed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I throw them all the way down to hollowed. I think hollowed is a little too aggressive. I'll put her okay. in wretched then. Okay. Like lower wretched. Executioner, I would throw middle, middle, low of um, Hunter. They're oh, interesting. They're a good fight in the early game. They're... um. Do you remember, like, in that first area, there's, like, a corner section? They're the big boys with the axes that have a hood over their faces. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. That, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking about, because that's the p pinnacle of what an executioner is. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. I now, love yeah, Father top, Gascoigne. I think he's my favorite boss in the entire game. And I would put him in out of Really? God. Yeah. I'd put him in Outer God too, especially because of his story. Yeah, his story, and, the music box. He's the first beast man. He was a hunter who turned yeah. into a beast man. His first phase and second phase are both good. Just everything about him, I love. And then you also have yeah. to break the news to his daughter and she kills herself, which is sad. Yeah. Rest in peace. But hey, she gives you madness. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, if I killed a girl's father, told her and she killed herself, I'd probably get madness too. Yeah. Yeah. You just find her body, and you're just like, oh, beans, I'm a little bit more insane now. <laughs> just, it, 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 what's that sucking sound? You turn around, you see a great old one. It's like, god damn it. Got mad this insight it. again. Uh, fluorescent flower. I don't know what this is. I do not remember it. Uh, I, I would throw it somewhere in Unkindled. Unkindled it is. Uh, now, just Garden before its name, eyes. I would put it in Deprived, because that's a gross-ass fucking name. 
Garden of Eyes. I must admit, <laughs> it's this <not> is nice. <laughs> the, one of these um, one of these enemies I recognize definitely. I do not. Let's see. Oh, interesting. There's apparently a YouTube channel called Garden of Eyes where they <laughs> what a gross ass um, YouTube channel name. Well, their whole apparently what they do is they are LD, they're modding um, uh, Bloodborne into Elden Ring. So that's oh, that's, that's their whole channel. Because I I um, saw one of those things recently that they someone modeled almost the entirety of Dark Souls One in Skyrim. I think I sent you the video. And they're yeah. planning on adding in the enemies as well in the boss fights. Because uh, Bloodborne is a pretty short game, so yeah. it doesn't shock me that they're able to do that. Anyways, I think it's continuing actually the on. Shortest of um, of them all. <laughs> Elden Ring is by it, far the longest. That motherfucker. Is yeah. Beefy. Yeah, and and I ran through, and I did not realize, uh, and like it hard locks, it like kicks you into a uh, new game plus. Uh, as soon as you beat the yep. final boss, and uh, that caught me off guard. Um, it also takes place in literally one day, while Elden Ring takes place in like over a yeah. year. Yeah. Uh, German, the first hunter. Now this is my favorite boss in the game. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It's close. I, Orphan of Cause might beat him, but I would still put him like, um, oh god, probably below Artorius and Outer God, just because everything about him is cool yeah. he's there the entire time you actually have to fight him yeah he's he's yeah. hard but he's not impossible so i yeah and his story it's everything about him i think puts him i agree so great he's also gross and um it's like yeah. snape if snape created a doll to uh, yeah. mess with in adult ways you can use her if you want which makes me um happier about killing him uh, giant lost child. Um, I, I put it deprived personally. <laughs> sure, that works. Uh, gravekeeper scorpion. I would put in wretched. That worked to me because I don't remember that one either. Uh, hateful maggot. I would throw cursed. in wretched. Oh, the cursed works too. It's just it's a maggot, but it hates you. <laughs> That's cursed yep. for me. F works. I uh, hammer hate grave woman. Hate. I hate them so much. I don't even think they're a good boss either. I just hate them works for me i i didn't think they were that bad but fucking, i'll put them in hollowed <laughs> it works for me uh hunting dog i uh, i dog. would put honestly below dog honestly hey um, they're low they're wretched. really aggressive and there's always at least two of them and there's always some dude with a fucking rifle standing <laughs> behind them that's always how it is. yeah it's a huntsman he's fucking there with annoying. the rifle yeah fuck that guy throw that guy in hollowed <laughs> No, he goes in hollowed because he's he's just a piece of shit who stands there with a gun and shoots at you. And as soon as you come even near him, he has a heart attack and keels over. Fuck that <laughs> yeah, guy. Yeah, sounds like me. <laughs> you mean hollowed? Keeper of the. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I don't remember this enemy either. Uh, he looks like a boss, but I don't remember him. Unkindled. Works for me. Uh, this Labyrinth is gross. Mole, it's yeah, gross. Bithro I don't like it. And Wretched, I'm fine with. Yeah, Wretched. Uh, Labyrinth Right Keeper, that was a okay boss. I can um, handle I think. It's just. Sure. It's Works just nothing, nothing special about it. It's nothing too cool. Yeah. I would throw Labyrinth Sage in there as well. Middle unkindled. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Next up. Lady Maria of the End. Uh, the astral clock she tower. is a very cool boss that kicked my ass so many times i would think lord of cinder or tarnish because she's a really cool boss she has a lot of lore that builds up to her she's not top tier but she's cool i would throw her very bottom of lord of cinder i think i think that she's a very fun good <laughs> she really fight. works in a hollow carrying an explosive barrel <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah, right you love that. <laughs> yeah. Um, large crawler, I would throw in um, wretched personally, just because they're gross and they're not that yeah, interesting. Right 
Uh, Man, are, are you were talking about my biography. Gross and not that interesting. <laughs> anyway, uh, Lawrence the first dicker. I think he's a very cool boss, uh, but I also yes. hate fighting him. Yes, Medal of Tarnished is good for me. Yeah, that works. Uh, living failures. Um, another, I would put another those one of my biographies. Deprived. Yeah, I just look at them. They're, they're living yeah. their best life, and I wish they weren't. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect you to sound so happy while saying that. <laughs> uh, anyway, Lauren Cleric. I don't know who this is. And uh, just uh, it's a, a general it's unkindled. In the middle. Yep. Uh, uh, Silver Beast. I would throw that in tarnish somewhere. Yeah, sure. All right, All right there. Ludwig the Holy Blade. That was a fun fight. Yeah, I one think. of my favorite bosses of the game. I don't think it reaches out of God, but I would put him in demi God. No. I agree. Below mushroom. Below the penetrator. P sorry, the penetrator is too good of his <laughs> penetration job. <laughs> Uh, mad one I'd throw in Hunter. I don't remember the mad one, so that works for me. Um, Maneater Boar, uh, it's a really fun fight the first time you see him, and then every other fucking time you see the just, goddamn boar, it's so fucking you annoying. just give him an enema via hand. Yeah. Deprived. I would throw him in Deprived, yeah. I, I was about to say the same thing. Okay, next up we've the got... The bloodiest boy who ever done bloody. I don't remember Marty Logarius, but he has a cool name. Yeah. Is uh, he the, was he at the top of Canehurst Manor, or am I thinking of someone else? Uh, I don't remember where he was. I think I'd say Hunter, because I can't remember him, but his name's cool. It works for me. Okay. Next up... Uh... Merciless <laughs> Watcher, he's he's he's. I would throw him in deprived because he's just the huntsman, but he's he hangs out with cooler people. So just <laughs> by the nature of association, he's a little cooler. Hey, Murgo's uh, attendant. I don't like her because deprived. I don't like Murgo at, at least. all. Yeah, and then the next one down here uh, is another chief Murgo. attendant. Is also the wet nurse. I'd say curse because I don't want to. I don't. I don't yeah. want to think about Murgo using yeah, his wet nurse. Nope. Okay. Uh, Mikkel Ash is cursed as hell. Yep. Oh wait, hold on. I missed one. Who's this? Murgo's oh. nurse just it was a normal oh, yeah. nurse, and then one day she tripped while trying to bring in the bedpan, and then she she's like, "God damn it!" She just I never think was able to. I'm gonna say Mikkel Ash is worse than the blow dart sniper and a better than a giant mosquito because he's so bad, but. I, I still can't get yeah. over eight manuses back to back on one life. Yeah. Yeah. Moon. Uh, Moon presence. <laughs> I don't remember this at all. Um, they're I. They're like the Hydra things that show up after you enter the nightmare. Do you have a place I, for it? I think like low to mid range hunter. Yeah. Okay, um, thanks. Uh, Nightmare, uh, Apostles, Fucking uh, Hollowed. Yep, that works for me. I gotta Fuck. say High Curse, because um, I, I don't care about fighting them. They're dead quick, but I wish I would uh, like to bleach my eyes after seeing them. Except for that one room. Yes. It's also the uh, the worst patches in the series is a Nightmare Apostle. Little fucking bitch-ass Spider-Boy. Yes. I would agree with you that they're not that bad, except for that one yeah. fucking room where there's like 40 of them. Yeah. <laughs> and you, I remember the first time playing that game all the way through by myself, and I'm living in this apartment all by myself, and I just wander into the front of that room, and you just fucking see them everywhere. Yep. And I just remember... Pause. I, I walked backwards out of the room. I, I I hit the menu button like that would pause the fucking game. I stood up and I literally walked out of my front door. I just didn't want to deal with it. Oh yeah, we've all um, we've all been there before. Yeah. Uh, one reborn. I don't remember this one at all. I don't remember either. Unkindled. Either. Orphan um, of Cause. It is. One of the best bosses in the entire From Software library. It's so cool, but my god, can it suck my fucking nuts? Yeah, that's kind of my opinion. Hardest too. boss in the entire series outside Melania. Yeah. 
So I don't know where the fuck to put it because it's cool. It's story's cool. Uh, I love it, but I hate it. I hate it so much. I will. I would never. I don't want to look at it. I guess that's tarnished then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Pilgrim, I would throw in deprived. That works for me. Uh, right there. Trumbarian undead, I would throw in deprived as well. They're fucking. Un- I- honestly, throw them down to wretched. They're fucking annoying. They just lob fire bombs at you behind their friends. Fuck them. Oh, I, I've, um, I've, I have a few of those in Elden Ring that I feel that way about. Yeah. From the Vascular uh, Spider is a bad, bad boss. Looks gross. I'd say hollowed because it's not so bad that I'm like I don't want to ever fight it, but it's not good. Nothing about it's really good. I actually like Rom. Really? Yeah, because. The lore around Rom, I think, is really interesting. The lore is very cool. So um, then, and I th- and I would think you put that in, in? honestly, because especially how his lore is showcased, and the fact that he's just throwing these like imaginary creatures at you while he's trying to run the fuck away from you, I think very that bad. is bad. He's very bad at running. And that makes it well, kind of better. Do you see how big he, his ass is? And how small his feet are? Well, maybe of course so he's not vacuous, fucking good at it. It wouldn't be a problem. And the fact that he's trying to protect everyone from the nightmare. And you're just like, oop doo doop doo doop I'm gonna fucking kill you. Um, I, I really like Rom. Especially from a storytelling perspective. I get he's not great. And he looks bad. I would want to throw him somewhere in the middle of Tarnished, honestly. Hey, I was thinking I... uh, meeting in the middle with either High Hunter or Low Tarnished then. Okay. Uh, i say Low Tarnished because I think I'd yeah. say he's probably comparable with Wolnir. Because the storytelling goes a long way. And I think that without even reading the the story... If some somebody on their second or third playthrough of Bloodborne, and since it's a very short game, I think it's kind of designed for you to run through it yeah. a couple of times. I think you would notice that out of all of the hyper aggressive bosses in this game, Rom is the only one that you start fighting and he fucking one eighties and starts heading the other way as soon as you enter his yeah. battleground. I mean, most of them are very blood starved and kind of. Uh, not specifically yeah. the Bloodstorm Beast, but they're you're a walking uh, vending machine. Yeah, and they're kind and, of <laughs> and I I think it's especially um, poignant that he is the most grotesque looking one, and I think that was intentional. Yeah, that he's the one that personally I would want to exterminate with the fire, just looking at the most. But well, that's not necessarily true. The witch of Hemric Hemwick looks just fucking awful, but. Uh, I, I think that I think there's a lot of beautiful storytelling going yeah. on there. Rotten corpse can go and deprived. deprived. Yeah. Also, while I was looking at this and I was thinking about Elden Ring, and I just realized exactly um, how much of the so, from software souls like is just steeped mm-hmm. in religion. There's so much yes. fucking religion in all of them. Yes. Well, that's a lot of uh, Japanese, especially RPGs. A lot of them true. deal with yeah. you becoming some sort of religious iconography yeah, or and, you're or killing, killing one God. yeah yeah uh scourge beast i'd put middle of hunter um it's it's a good hard middle game uh enemy type they use them too much i think shadow of yarnum i don't like them but they're not that bad so i like Unkindled. i would put them somewhere in hunter all right low or hunter. unkindled I'm, f- I'm i'm fine with unkindled too because they don't stand out. You know, it, what's interesting as well, we've been almost 100% on the same page with, like, all of the Bloodborne enemies except for Rom. But we're yeah. even still on the same page of the Rom. We just put him in a different place, which is interesting. Yeah. Well, I part of that is that I, I see how grotesque he is as a vessel of the things that I already like about him, which is why that is a multiplier to me, not a negative, where I think that's a huge negative to you. Yeah, pretty Um, much, yeah. And just because a boss fight doesn't do anything too interesting to me, but it's like, it is a poor boss fight for the sake of storytelling. And for me, it's like, 
where Gwen is the same thing. Gwen mm-hmm. picks it up for me because like the culmination of the entire story, while Rom is just a piece of the story. Well, I and, and Gwen still reason... does a better chance at killing me than Rom does. Well, the reason why I think that Rom works better than Gwen does for me is that since Gwen is, it feels like he can kill me. That like he doesn't quite feel like a pushover and um yeah. rom is like that is the the breaking point where like this is an active choice you have to make to kill something innocent to doom everyone else and like he rom is literally the lamb you have to slaughter to enter the nightmare um, and so I think it works way better as a vehicle for the story because that is the middle point where you then descend into hell as a character because of this choice you made where Gwen, you do that and then it's the end of the game. And so yeah. it doesn't feel like there's repercussions for it. All right, now um, Silver Lady. I don't remember her at all. I don't either. Unkindled. Uh... The puppets are annoying, um, but are fine. Lower unkindled, personally. Unkindled. The slime scholars, I, I would throw in wretched. Really, I, I like think... them because they're just funny little guys. <laughs> they're they're definitely wretches, but I think they're little funny little guys. They're they're gross. <laughs> they are I think gross. They're so gross. Um, the funny thing is that I think we're going to have the inverse opinions about the snake ball because I think the snake ball's a funny little guy, and I think you might not like him. I mean, he's a, I'll put him next to the, the scholar because he is a funny little guy. Yeah. He's just a snake ball. He is a, he is he's a snake not that ball, gross because if it was like a ball of spiders, I'd be like, no, I to get that shit out of here. But yeah. it's, a, it's a ball of snakes. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Snatcher also a funny little guy. I think he should go <laughs> next to the brick, or the brick dude. <laughs> where did he even put the bag, brick, dude? I don't I, remember. I don't. I think we threw him in somewhere and tarnished. Honestly, I don't know. I I think. Oh, I, yeah, there he is. Next to the orphan of cause, actually. <laughs> <laughs> the funny little guys. You have the snatcher, the brick guy, and the orphan of cause. It looks like it looks like they're both about to beat the shit out of him. And he's screaming in terror. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's funny well that's, that's good okay anyway uh, next up tomb guardian can go somewhere yeah, in hunter really i think they're just too they're just basic okay i'm, I'm fine with them going into on kendall too all right um, next up undead giant i don't remember the undead giant uh, they're annoying i would throw them and on kendall's honestly high on kendall's but because they're just, it's the same thing as the other giants from this game, but they're, they hit even harder and they have even more health. And so and like, no where the alive. brick leader, yeah, the brick la- the brick giant's fun. And then um, the giants for the church are kind of annoying. Like he's the, at the end of that, of that spectrum where he's just purely difficult to deal with and he's no longer fun now uh, vermin host vermin wretched. host okay that works i i think they're really interesting they are a bitch and a half to deal with vicar amelia is not my favorite because i already said my favorite but she's a pretty top boss yeah. for me i would put her high lord of cinder personally okay i was thinking high demigod so low demigod that works for me um Next Viper up. pet. That's like vermin I, host. Yeah, right there, right next to vermin host. Um, Watcher's grave digger, grave digger. I, I he's I, really, he's just some candle to me. He doesn't do anything too crazy. I agree. Uh, wheel hunter. He he's that's one of my favorite hunters. Guy. Yeah, he's a very. I would put him in Lord of Cinder, honestly. Very yeah, bottom you know what? of Lord of Cinder, sure. but I would throw him up there. Just because I think he's a very funny guy, and as somebody who hated the wheel um, skeletons from the first game, yeah, I just hitting you with my one. counter to them. Yes, I um, wheelchair huntsman. He is. He's also he is, very funny. Now this is a funny uh, little guy too, but he's a funny little yes. guy with a chain gun. Uh, I would put him high hunter. I wouldn't put him all the way into yeah. the finish person. I I can't in good faith put him above the four kings. 
No. So I'm going to put him, like, with the possessed tree, because I think he's just as funny as, <laughs> like, the possessed tree. I just imagined one of the, like, the Unreal Battle Simulator, but it's the Four Kings versus one wheelchair huntsman. <laughs> it's just D-Day. They're just getting gunned yeah. down as they try to approach him. Oh, we're almost on the uh, board. Winter Lantern. I don't know who this is. I don't know either. I think that it's just one of those mobs that you can kill if you want, or you can run oh, by. Oh, right there. So I'd throw Finally, a oh, Witch of Hemrick is also cursed. I hate the Witch of Hemrick. <sighs> They're gross. Looks gross. I hate fighting them. Uh, everything about it, I dislike. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, armored Warrior. Sekiro. Just, this is one of my favorite just... enemies in Sekiro because he's so stupid. And how you beat him, you just parry him and you push him off a cliff. He's like, I am indestructible. And you push him off a cliff and he falls to his death. It's so stupid. Is it that guy? I yeah. thought that was a different dude. No, it's just this dude that walks up to you in armor and you find him on a bridge. Oh, that's the guy who cries out Roberto when yeah. you kill him? Yeah, he's uh, so good. Yeah. Honestly, I'd put him in Demigod. Yeah. He's so good. Really? Yeah, he's a silly little funny guy that like... You just run into, he has an interesting mechanic, and he's just there, and he's funny. You can laugh about it before you have to go deal with the centipede shit. But that gets him all the way up to demigod for you? Yeah, because I think of him in the same way I think as a mushrooms. He's just a stupid but guy he's in like the an... But the issue with that is that the mushrooms, like, are just funny little guys. Where this I would have guy called a mushroom guy. Fuck a... you I... up. You telling me that that mushroom coming in with a right hook won't fuck you up? Yes, but you need to actively stand in his way. <laughs> like this guy, I did not like this boss fight. Uh, it's like a lower I, more I, defender I, than the, the lower. Yes. One? Okay. Uh, that's where I. I yes. I, I will accept that. All right. Next up. Um. Oh, I, I should probably open the Sekiro list. This this guy's just a generic grunt, dude. Um, is he the um uh, the just the Ashina elite? I think yeah, as far as I like would, normal enemies go, I'd put him above normal enemies. And yeah, regular. I think that honestly, all of the regular dudes, just from pure aesthetic, yeah. get them into Hunter. That's I don't I think any of the generic um I, yeah enemies. like mid high Hunter. I think just because yeah, just, just the generic enemies of Sekiro were really good because I always felt like a challenge without being yeah. like. Without it being like a dog challenge where they just fuck yeah. you up. And there was all the it was always a challenge, but never something that you felt was scary. Yeah. Um, it was always fun to fight any of the in a, any of the mobs in Sekiro, in my opinion. And I think the Ashina soldiers are in the same place that it's just there, yeah. but it's a little it's a little lower. Yeah. The assassins, I would put they're, even lower. They're funny little guys, but they're funny little guys that I hate. Yeah, yeah. I'd put them also, in like high deprived, to be honest, because I, I just, I agree. I, just, I agree. I don't like them. Uh, also, just the way that the green looks with this text it's because so it's not thick enough. It <laughs> yeah. looks like it's assassin with an exclamation mark. <laughs> <afterwards>. Assassin. <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. Okay, um, the bulls I think are wretched. I hate fighting them. I agree. I'm a I'm I a man agree. with a sword, all about parrying. I don't want to try to parry a charging bull at me repeatedly, well, multiple he, times. He, he can't really. <laughs> right, uh, uh, now centipedes. another one, curse. I hate them. The centipedes yeah. are like the worst bosses. So much. Yeah. They just there's multiple. They're everywhere. You're like, let me parry you. And then they're like, how about I hit you 25 times in the span of two seconds? Parry this. Yeah. Parry this casual as they pull out a shotgun. Now, um, however, Chained Ogre, opposite. I like the Chained Ogre. I, I do. I do as well. I would say High Tarnished, at least. Yeah, I was thinking like Lord of Cinder, just because like, as far as many bosses go, you're playing through, you're having a good time, you beat this guy, and then he... Uh, All Star starts playing as he beats the shit out of you, and you actually have to learn the game. He can fucking give you a suplex, and yeah. that's just so fucking funny that you're just having a good time in Japan, and all of a sudden this guy comes yep. around and he fucking just suplexes you to death. Have you seen fucking the Shrek mod for it? Half. Because that makes yes, that suplex so much funnier. Oh, it's so good. And he's also a mini boss that, like, you fight him many times throughout the game, but I'm never tired when I run into them. I'm always like, no, oh, yeah, I'll take him again. Well, because his, because it's just 
I was never upset whenever I was suplexed, just because the way that it ragdolled was hilarious. Yeah. The fact and that you some it. random, yeah, because you could have just... dodged or got out of the way, yeah. but you didn't, so you deserve this. You're like, oh, well, I, that was my fault. I'm, I'm yeah. fine with this. <laughs> I accept my fate. Okay, next up, I don't remember the Chichiman Warrior. I don't either. I th- is I'm no. Then. Now, Corrupted Monk is one of my favorite bosses in the game for a few reasons. One, you meet him and he's like a ghost spirit and you fight his first phase Mm -hmm. and it's a good Mm -hmm. end thing and it's not that hard. And then you fight him again when he's at his full power and it's so much harder. He has range Mm -hmm. and spins that you actually have to... You can't parry the wood and it hits you and deals damage, but if you parry the actual thing, it's good. And it's a good way to actually like force you into learning and I think everything about the Corrupted Monk is a very good fight. Okay. I I did not love him, but I think that's more um, came down to me not enjoying the bosses in Sekiro than it was the boss himself. Okay, tarnished he goes. Works for me. Cricket. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, is it a cricket? Uh, yeah, it's, um, throat and deprived, you? maybe. I don't... I can't put a cricket in the pride. This is a cricket. That's, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> no, it's I'm somewhere and <laughs> unkindled somewhere. I did not fight Demon of Hatred. Well, let me tell you, that shit's cursed. Um, that's even worse than Mosquito. Imagine, yes. right? Play through the entire uh-huh. game, uh, and then you you get you understand the rules. The rules are here, and then someone comes up and says, "I'm breaking all the rules. Get ready to fight a boss from like Demon uh, Dark Souls Three with um Sekiro rules." It's bad. It's bad. Everything about it's bad. I, I hate it more than I hate the fight the fact that I had to fight eight mantises on on life. <laughs> so that tells you all you need to know. Okay, Divine Dragon, on the other hand, I think is a cool boss. I would put in, like, Hunter because it's unique and cool in the realm of Sekiro, but it doesn't do anything too crazy. So I like it, but it's not a crazy boss. Works for me. Dog, I would put higher than Dark Souls Dark. Yeah, because dogs. you have a lot more... You're you're faster. You have a katana. You can deal with it easier, and it doesn't stunlock you into oblivion. <laughs> Now, I I don't... How do you feel about the drunkards? I, um... Actually kind of enjoyed them. Uh, yeah, I don't, they're a good, like, early game High mini Hunter boss. or low tarnished. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. They're a good, like, intro boss that mm. gets you into things, but their parrying is also slightly off compared to the others. That, yeah. And if you don't parry, you get cleft in twain. <laughs> yes. Um, but also you can jump over some of their yeah. attacks too. So it, I think it's a good um, forcing you to think about more than just parrying. Elder monkey. Uh, I, I hate the monkeys. Like deprived. I I think they're funny. Um, but I, I'm fine with throwing them deprived. I, I enjoy them because I really like the the mobs in this game and the monkeys are like the pinnacle of just really fun random mobs like the other <laughs> monkeys the ones that just like monkeys with guns and shit i like but the elder monkeys specifically they're just like, so funny there's the, just monkeys with guun is so funny i just love all the monkeys in the game except what for about the guardian ape the fencer because this is one of my favorite mobs i'd put him in like i tarnished. i agree because, like, trying to fight him, and he's using the... I don't, can't remember what it's called. Like, is that Kendo? The Kendo moveset? Yeah. It's just cool, and yeah. you parry, and you just have to wait a second, then parry, and it's all very cool. Yeah. And he does, like, feints, too. It's a lot of fun. Now, I, I agree. hot take. I love the folding screen monkeys. I do, too. That is not a hot take for me. You have to remember that I would get really annoyed at bosses, and then I would just run around... And the areas between bosses fighting the mobs because I well the really folding screen like monkeys the isn't mobs. the mobs it's that boss where you you have to fight oh, four monkeys oh, and one of them's invisible. You, I love those. Yeah, yeah. yeah people are, like the, shit on this boss constantly. It's and they the bring monkey it see monkey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, see no evil, hear no evil, you know, say evil, no evil, speak no evil. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. And I love them. I think they're great. They're a fun boss. And people put it like, well, I also like the better chaos, but people put it equal to the better chaos with it being a bad boss. I'm like, no, it's great. Well, the, the, I think the issue is, is that 
that is not a boss in terms of what people think of when they think yeah. of Soulsborne. Yeah, it's a puzzle. It boss. is a puzzle. Yeah, it's just a puzzle. And I ran around There's like a like, fucking idiot for half an hour trying yep. to find that invisible monkey following me around. <laughs> yep. I, I, I really like the big chicken. I'd, I'd put them in demigod. Um, not the chicken, but the folding screen monkeys. We no, really... folding screen monkey, like middle of demigod. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think they're great switch up of pace. Yeah. I really enjoyed them, but I, it's not what I'm looking for when I go into a Souls War game. I think that's what makes it stand out so much more for me. Yeah, I, I agree, but like, uh, like I would also feel weird putting it in um, Outer God. Yeah, it can't, it's not good enough for Outer God, because, yeah. No, I, I definitely agree that it, it's... Honestly, I'd put it right below... Honestly, i put it above Mushroom. I put Ooh, it above the mushrooms. I, I don't know if I could put it above mushroom, but I'll, I'll put it next to mushroom because I think mushroom is funnier, but it's it, it is pretty close. Yeah, the game film Lord of Cinder for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all the way up there. It's better than Artorias the storytelling of it. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. And just top of the list. Outer yeah, God, all, all, all the way. All up. the way. In fact, I got to make a new tier for it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I, honestly, I I like the game file a lot. I'd put them halfway through tarnished, maybe uh, lower yeah. tarnished. Maybe I think, they're a it, lot of fun. Yeah, it's like the birds from Bloodborne, but again, like I mentioned with the Bloodstarred Beast, fighting them does not make me want to hang myself. Yeah, and they're also exclusively on the floor. Yeah, and uh, if you don't kill them here. and you like run by them, they alert a bunch of people around you, which fucks up your yep. stealth, and that's also fun. Yep. Okay, next uh, up. Geckos, I don't remember the geckos. I also don't remember the geckos, so unkindled. It works for me. General, ugh. I like him, but he's just a guy in armor. <laughs> he's he's just the, a mini boss you run into. All of the generals were like, this is an interesting fight. I'd prefer you just not to be here. Yeah. <laughs> so like a low hunter then? Yeah, like low to me. I think all three of them are like low to medium hunter because they were interesting. Yeah. And they don't, none they of them were... really stand out compared to each other, I don't think. Yeah. Okay, now this is probably going to be a divisive one. Genichiro, where would you put him? This is all of his boss fights the entire game culminated together. Honestly, mm -hmm. he's, he's my number one. I'm glad we're on the same page because same. The he, only person like... I put above him is the final boss. But that's because my god, killing that thing was rewarding. But, but he's... everything about him is yeah perfect. You have like all of his moves, his story. You can even parry his... the arrows out of the air, which is so fucking fun and cool. Yes, and so satisfying. Yeah. Like, that was the part when you're talking about the parry system being really satisfying mm -hmm. during boss fights. I got it whenever I was fighting yeah. him. That's when I'm thinking about it. Kenichiro is the one that I think is like the best Sekiro parrying just at all. Like all of his moves, I, the jumping, parrying, the arrows, all of it. And yeah. then when you beat him and he becomes a little bitch and like gives his soul over to a god to fight you again is also kind of funny. But also during like it's not just oh this guy can't beat like he's actively being like. This is compromising my morals. Mm -hmm. I hate that I have to do this, but I have to win. This is not an option for me. So I I just think that he is a perfect, like, there is no Sekiro without this guy. Yeah. Like, the game lives or dies off of this character being there. I, I genuinely think that he's my number one anything. Like, I don't he's... even think anything in Elden yeah. Ring comes close to him. And I love Elden Ring. For me, there's one person that comes higher than him in Sekiro, and that is um, Ishin, the final boss. But it's just, for me, it's everything that Genichiro does, except it is slightly harder, slightly tuned more aggressively, and you have to fight him that much better. And because you fight Genichiro as phase one of that fight, it shows it that much more. But otherwise, everything else you were saying i agree 100 percent in my only argument is that since uh 
in Ichiro is like you he's constantly with you throughout the game and he's constantly your benchmark and like I I get the final boss and what he stands for and like how he can be um how he can be a little bit mechanically superior yeah I just it's am just me- thinking yeah the mechanics of the fight is what elevates it simply because of how fun i found the combat system in sekiro but like story wise and everything else but think of how beautiful that second fight with ganichiro is on top of the shrine bless and like is that the third how many times do you fucking fight ganichiro because you fight him at the beginning of the game fight him a lot yeah i i'm talking about the time when he gives his soul over to the god yeah which is of that uh, that entire section like right there is probably my favorite in the entire game is I all think that's the best fight in all of any Soulsborne game. So where like, are we putting Ganitrio then? Obviously in Outer I, God, but how high in Outer God? He's my number one. Full really? stop. He's the top. For I me. don't think I could put him higher than Artorius and Sif because they're at them together. I think I'd put him like right below them. The the reason why I put him higher is that they are beautiful together. Them as individual characters, they need each other to make a full picture. Where, like, especially when I think of Sif, I think of moments. When I think of Genichiro, I think of whole fucking fights. And I can, I, I think of the music. I think of the moments of Perry. And I think of how beautiful that background is of just the moon in the sky. And then when he gives up himself to the god and he's jumping and he's just like screaming at the top yeah. of his lungs while trying to kill you. I think it's just beautiful. Every part of it is perfect to me. And the effect it has on the player where you're like, God, I finally beat Ganitro, and then it becomes a Thunder Demon. And you're like, God damn it. Yeah. I just yeah. died immediately. And like I I as much as I disliked a lot of the mechanics, I think that if I was a better game player, <laughs> I would have gotten through it and loved every part of Ganich that had Ganichiro and hated the majority of the rest of it. It is definitely Personally. like Sekro is probably the hardest of all the Souls like Yeah, yeah, because it forces you to get good. In other games, you can be like you can go grind and then you can two shot well, a boss, but in Sekro you can't do that. You have I, to get I would, good. I would also argue that um, the reason why I didn't like it is that I felt really limited in terms of what I could do. I felt like there was no ability for me to vary up the play style in any meaningful way. There are things that you can do to change how, like, I could change what, if I had lettuce on top of the taco, I could change what kind of cheese I had on top of the taco. But at the end of the day, it was still a soft shelled beef taco. And there was nothing I could do to change the shell or the meat. Everything else I could change on top of it and whether I wanted this or not. But at the end of the day, I was still stuck with a taco. To a you degree, know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, to a degree, I would agree. To a degree, I would agree. Anyway, uh, but I think there's a lot more ability to change than uh, you're alluding to. Because uh, to certain degrees, having like the prosthetic that is just adding lettuce, adding cheese, but you're still the have to use the sword but yeah using the prosthetics with it to have either like the axe or the flame cannon changed up the playthrough and play style such an extreme amount for me and upgrading those and then having the other combos also change that at the end of the day i was still obviously i was still using a sword and i was still sword fighting but it wasn't so much to feeling of me that i was having a soft shell taco or a different soft shell taco as much as i could have like um maybe a grilled chicken taco or a regular taco or a beef taco that it was still i was always eating a taco but it felt like i had a lot of different tools at my disposal to make a different taco even if it was still a taco i would agree with you until i entered boss fights and then um no matter what i did i had to go back and rely on the parry system and knowing when 
I was allowed and when I was not allowed to engage. And I personally, as a gamer, um, both in actual video games, but also in tabletop RPGs, I like a slow, hard-hitting interruption style. And that is not something I was able to optimize inside of Sekiro. No, it was something even... that it was... If you if you're playing that way, you still have to parry, and then when you have an opening, then use the axe. That's what I'm getting there, at. Which that is just not cohesive to your play style, which makes sense. Yeah. But um, I was used. That's I just had a very different experience with it. But especially also in that's... boss fights, I used the prosthetic probably yeah. as much as I was parrying. I did too. I loved my prosthetics and that flame cannon and the axe. I used a lot. And I also use the, um, like the Taekwondo, I don't remember what it's actually called, but the punching, because uh, that was good interruption. And it worked great on many bosses, many bosses and regular mobs. It did not matter when I got into boss fights. All right. Because now, uh, let's... It, it's designed for you to parry into breaking as guard. So it wanted you to establish this very cinematic fight. And so I felt railroaded to do those fights the way it wanted me to, especially in terms of the Guardian Ape, which is where I left. Because like uh, the Guardian I Ape was, is just a bad, just a bad boss. I was not allowed to do anything other than what the game designers wanted me to do during that fight. And I was already feeling that way up until that point, but I hit the Guardian Ape and like I was trying to vary it up, and I did like five hours of fighting that boss. And then I went to the internet of like, okay, what can I do to actually make this boss fight fun for me? And they were like, nope, you have to play it this way. And that's where I left the game. Because, like, yeah, that's that, a, is... that is a common complaint that a lot of people have about the Guardian Ape and Sekro because it is just a bad boss, kind of like the Demon of Hatred, but the Demon of Hatred is it, but worse. Yeah. Because, like, um, that is just not how my play style works. I like slow, heavy-hitting attacks. That is my preference the majority of the time. Yeah, which is not Sekiro. Sekiro, nothing no. about it is slow. And the heavy-hitting attacks you can use, but they're uh, in between fast hits. Because I, I, I played chess for a lot of my upbringing and slow, heavy hitting attacks feels like chess to me because I have to plan out the next 30 seconds of attack chain because I need to know, okay, at what point in this combo do I have to disengage so I don't get hit? Where in Sekiro, it didn't feel like I had that time economy that I was working with. It was, it felt inversed where I was, my economy was all reactionary and then I could engage where my play style is inherently inverted. I like to be oppressive, not the other way around. All right. Now, since we've spent, I think like 25 minutes yep. talking about that. So continue on. We've got the great carp. I think this is um, wretched. Works for me. All right. Next up. Great serpent. Jimmy God for me. I fucking loved every moment he was on screen and really, fighting him. I, I don't think I could put him up in Jimmy God, but I'd put him in Lord of Cinder. Just because it's not exactly a fight as much as it's a sequence. I loved it. I, I think that those moments really worked for me in Sekiro, including I that's why Ginichiro worked so well for me. But I, I'm fine with that. Okay, next up. This is a fight that I actually like a lot because... Um, it stands out so much because you, with Genichiro, he's honorable. With a lot of bosses, they're honorable. You get to this motherfucker and he's throwing out bombs. He's like yeah. getting down on the ground to grovel before attacking you. He's, he's just a well, bitch. He's a bitch. He's the a ninja. Time. Yeah. Well, he's not he's just a, a ninja. He is a ninja that is also a bitch because you're technically a ninja too, uh, the, uh, the wolf. But this is a ninja that will use anything in his power, no matter how dishonorable, how garbage it is. And so I like him. I liked it quite a bit, and it was a nice change of pace, but he's a bitch. Yeah. I, 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 you can argue with me a little bit. Guardian Ape has to go. Guardian Ape is cursed. It's above Demon of Hatred, but it's fucking cursed. Thank you. It, it is yes. just a bad boss. Okay, this guy, uh, I don't, 
he's an, he's okay. He's an okay middle game boss or early game boss, but I don't like yeah. him. Yeah, I'd put him like middle to high range hunter, maybe. Yeah, that works for me. Uh, next um, up, hammer monkey. We're well, not monkey, monk. I know, but I think it's it's he's like. I would put him in like on Kindle just because he yeah. doesn't really do anything too crazy. Healing <laughs> geckos. Uh, he's a gecko, but he heals you, I guess. I don't know, unkindled. Uh, sure, it works for me. Um, the bandit slow hunter. They were still fun, but they were. Yeah, they were a good introduction. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> Infested seeker. Uh, I would put this guy in wretched. Works for me. The this guy was a lot of fun. He was really fucking annoying to fight yeah. though. All of the lone shadows are cool, but I hate them so much. Yeah. I one benefit him... is when they try to kick you, you can uh, step on their foot. That's funny. Yeah. But otherwise I'd put him in deprived. That works for me. Honestly, I'd want to put him in wretched, but I'm I'm fine with deprived. Now this one Cause... next one, this one I'd put in wretched or hollowed because this was okay. like one yep. of my hated fights. Because there's two of them yep. and you have to fight two of them. And yep. it's not a game designed to fight multiple people. Nope. No, it sure isn't. Now, Ishan, um, I will relent and not put him above Ganitro, but I do think he deserves to be an out of god. That that is fine. I've only seen um video. I've never fought him myself, so I think You would probably hate I've... it because it's like Welcome to the end of the game. Now, uh, prove that you're perfect and you've mastered this game. And it sucks I, I, in the middle, but my god, yeah. when you actually do it, is so it's so rewarding. And he I, also pulls I, out a gun and shoots you point blank sometimes, which is funny. And he has a he pulls out a flint talk and shoots you like five times with it. It's like that's not that's not how flint talks work. Yeah, uh, I I have watched the fight. I understand who he is and his importance to the main character. If you get what I'm saying. Um, what is but that? <laughs> are you telling me that uh, the wolf is uh, sexually attracted to his grandfather? Is that what you're trying to get across? His grandfather? With this grandfather, because it's Genichiro's oh. grandfather. Anywho, um, uh, but um, yeah, I, I, I. I I personally want to I think that he I think he fits in um in Outer God just because of how beautiful he is designed but yeah. I don't think he touches Kenichiro as a whole package. Also the, um, the arena is really cool. You get the fight Kenichiro yeah. and he's like, "God damn it, I lost again." Well, you know what? Fuck you. I'm going to kill myself and summon my grandfather back from the dead. Have fun. And yeah. he's like he comes out and he's like, "Hmm. Kenichiro's kind of dumb, huh?" Well, anyway, let's fight. I'm, I was summoned yep. here. Uh, I don't really care about fighting you, but I I have a job to do, so let's let's do it. And then he fucks you up. He fucked me up for like eight hours. I find him harder than yep. Melania. Really? Yeah. The fight. It, you um, have to be fucking perfect in that fight. Yeah. Well, that was my issue with a lot of boss fights in Sekiro. Is now, that there Lady is, Butterfly. No, you, I think you're not gonna like this opinion. I think she goes into demigod for me. That is I higher than I was expecting. Fight. It was a really good fight. I'd, I'd say Demigod too, because it's just, she does so many unique things that are so cool. Mm -hmm. And you, mm -hmm. it's the first instance that you run into that you have to get good at the game. And if you're not good and, at the game, she will destroy you. And it is beautiful yeah. too. All the and fire, also, all of the abilities, everything about it, really. Mm -hmm. It's also a reference to um, a story that I really like. So. Um, that has nothing to do with her in game, but it's uh, that's why I initially like engaged with her, and then just the fight was so beautiful and it was so much fun. Um, but yeah, uh, leader, I think he's whatever, just whatever, unkindled. He's nothing yeah, too crazy. Uh, long arm centipede, fucking gross. cursed. It's centipede, yeah, but worse. Me. Mad eating carp. Uh, those were annoying. That, they're very funny uh, to me, though, because it's like, just, yes, I'd put them in Hunter. They're just funny carps that yeah. eat people. Uh, the villagers go into uh, fucking ratchet. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, because they're just, they're like, they're like all the other basic enemies, but they're just worse, and I don't okay. want to fight them, and I don't like fighting them. So I'd put them Fair in, enough. like, high ratchet. Sure. Mist Noble, I fought this guy, I don't remember him. I also don't remember him. Unkindled. Uh, works for me. 
of fuck the Night Jar Ninjas. Um, I'd put them in oh, Wretched really? personally. I, uh, yeah, uh, yes, please. Um, Except the one benefit is I think uh, one of the Night Jars screams as he flies through the air at you, and that's very funny, but otherwise hollow. <gasps> They they also like Wilhelm scream if you kick yeah. him off the side. <laughs> so, so they're very funny, but very I funny. they they still kick my ass. Oh, and also they have fucking boomerangs that they can throw at you while you're fighting someone else, and that's fucking annoying. Okay, the um, next three these Okami, Okami, I they're definitely in Hunter, I think, but they're like some of the worst basic enemies, yeah, I think. I agree. Okay, well, I'll um, put them all three up there together. Okay, old maid. I don't remember the old maid at all. I don't either. Straight and unkindled then. Or Orin of the Water. Oh. I don't know if I fought this one. Um, let me open this image and see. Or I will double click it and it won't actually open. There we go. Hell yeah. I can't even tell what the fuck I'm looking at. Unkindled. Yeah. Palace Hounds, same dog. Yep. Same dog, a different bit dog. Better than... mm-hmm. Right there, dog. Okay. Alice um, Noble. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, just unkindled, I think. It doesn't really do anything too crazy. Monkey. Okay. I think the um the red hat red guards are the best mobs. Because it was yeah, yes. it struck a really good so like high hunter. Because it struck a really good balance of unique and fun to fight while being difficult without being too difficult and too annoying. <laughs> And also, when you realize they're monkeys the first time, it's like. <laughs> Go next up. Um, what am I looking at here? It's rock a rock diver. diver. Oh, I have no clue. They're like the little ninja guys that jump out of the darkness. That's ratchet. Oh uh, yes. Seekers, I don't remember. Uh, these guys. Uh, they like unkindled because they don't do anything too crazy. You fight them in a monk place. I re- I remember going through the monk place. Sentries were annoying. I like deprived because they're not that bad, but they're yeah. really annoying. Yeah, I agree. Now I really liked the seven uh, Ashina spears. I think they were really, really good. Mini I hated them, but I hated them for the same reason I hated the generals. Um, but they were just way more annoying because of their reach. But if you enjoyed them, this again Hunter, comes down with then. this is anti my yeah my play style. And I know that if Jesse was here, I would probably just get bullied and you two would put all of these way higher. They're all in Demigod. So. <laughs> the entire game. Yeah. Um, next um, we have this guy. I think with the other red guards, is he just a better version of the red guard? So I'd put yeah. him a, uh, up in Tarnished. Low Tarnished, but in Shinobi. Tarnished. Okay. Uh, next up. Shinobi Hunters. I hated these guys so much. I don't think I got that far. Oh, no, they're with you the entire game. They're the mini-bosses. If you explore around, you can find one, and they just kick your ass into the ground repeatedly. I don't remember those. I'll put them in hollowed. Okay. Snake eyes. Okay, now these guys are cursed. I hate the snake eyes. You mess up once, and they pull out a shotgun and basically blast you into Kingdom Come. Oh, that's fun. (laughs) I hated the snake eyes. Right there. Next is, uh, I don't know who the spear adept is. Probably like unkindled. Either. Yeah, okay. Next. Spear monks. I'm just going to put him with the spear adept. Works for me. Next. Sunken Valley Clan. I was not a fan of them either, but they're not as bad as the snake eye, so I would probably say like deprived. These next guys, the. Taro troops, I fucking hated them. Hollowed them? Yes, please. I fucking hated them. Right by the educator. Okay. Uh, they were just like if you took again, it was the um chained giant zero charisma. <laughs> it's funny to think of the chained ogre with having your dripping charisma. Okay, well, test the, the brick giant wasn't exactly a lady killer either. <laughs> uh, that brick could kill a few ladies, if you know what I mean. Well. Anyway, uh, test subject. I think this is like unkindled because it's it's just it's just an enemy. It doesn't do anything really. 
the headless I enjoyed fighting. Really, I was... despised them. I I think this just has to go to the difference in playstyle. It's think. just they have a I... weird move set. They're hard to parry. The terror mechanic sucks, and I hate it. The terror mechanic does suck, but the, the like because Sekiro, honestly and truthfully to me, felt like a rhythm game with no music guiding it. It pretty much was. And, and the the shit that I found most interesting was when they took an enemy and they took out all the extra bullshit and, like, for the mini-bosses and just made, like, weird timing shit. And the the headless was that. It was, like, off beats in the rhythm. It is. And true. I thought that was interesting. Uh, because it was because it, so much of the game is more or less just a rhythm game. When they messed with the rhythm, that's when I found it interesting. Well, to be fair, honestly, like um, Dark Souls tends to be a rhythm game as well. The big difference is in Sekiro, you have to play the rhythm. In Dark Souls, if you build strong enough and heavy enough, you could just say fuck the rhythm and bonk them. Well. That I would disagree with that. There's just different ways to interact with the rhythm because in in Sekiro you have to. It's like the heartbeat doctor. You have to hit the space bar on the rhythm, where like in other um, blood uh, 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 Soulsborne games, you can use like off beats to mess with the rhythm to reengage and in, and in, interrupt. An interruption is pressing it on the half beat before the rhythm hits. And that's what I, why I am so good at it and why I enjoy it is I can feel the rhythm coming up and I can interrupt the beat before it happens. So that's a or like using a or using a shield in Elden Ring is very similar where you have to hit the the like the beat before so the animation hits when that downbeat is. There's just different ways to interact with the rhythm. It's not just caveman bashing the rhythm that is a glass pristine picture with a hammer. There's just different ways you're interacting with it because they still have their I've moveset. Built, I've built strong enough to just bash through, a, bash through the rhythm with a hammer before, and I don't have to interact with any of the game mechanics. I can just walk in and and kill. It's not the case for all of it, but... There is just a certain level of once you get strong enough, it doesn't matter. Yes, but I feel like that's a lot of it for any game. Sekiro just doesn't really have a leveling system, yeah. so you can't really do it that way. So where did we want to put the headless? Or where did you want um, to put it? I liked it. I would say um middle high hunter but if you disliked it we can drop it yeah. lower so i'll put it mid unkindled then and that's a good in between where i wanted it and okay. where you wanted it uh treasure carps i i like the funny little guys yeah i think they're good and you just you find them out and around to get treasure i like them yeah. and then you can trade them to you the can weird, get their scales yeah the weird merchant so i'd put them like tarnished i like the valley monkeys too <laughs> Valley monkeys are top tier monkey with gun. Uh, put him in demigod. Yep. Put him with uh, next mushroom. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay, and uh, finally, wolf, wolf dog. <laughs> yeah, you go with dog. Yep. There we go. And now, <laughs> final one, Elden Ring. Um, hollowed uh, for abductor version. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fuck those yeah. fucking guys. I like. It feels like they're resistant to every kind of damage there is until There's they like, open up, nope. and then they will grab you. So it doesn't matter that they're weak when yep. they open up. And yep. then there's that timer patch is like, hey, you know, if you go get grabbed by one, you go somewhere fun. And it puts you in the fucking volcano, it, it, lava. Yeah, yeah, it puts you in lava. Um, these guys are just funny little worm dudes. Yeah, like, like hunter. Sure uh thief of fire i liked all of the jail fights um, I, there's actually a few that i missed um like there's uh one where you find a this guy named vike i never fought this is one that i didn't actually fight either i i fought all of the jail fights because i went out of my way on all of my new game plus runs uh, to fight all of the jails just because i thought they were fun um i would throw him low tarnished 
um, just because they were all like you knew when you were entering those jails that you were in for a, a bad time, <laughs> and so I thought they were fun. Um, I like the Alabaster Lords. I think they're cool. They all tend to have yeah. the same sort of fighting style, but the whole gravity magic and everything's pretty fun yeah. and cool. So I'd put him like Hunter. I agree. Uh, the Wolfback Archers. I just generally dislike <laughs> ranged units. Yeah. I put them in deprived. Um, I would put them in un low unkindled just because okay. they physically can't move on their own, which gives you a very big in when trying to fight them. Okay, that's fair. I love these frog boys. I love them. I give a one big bonus just for our Elden Ring playthrough where uh, there's the uh, we fought the Moog cartwheel Albanoric that just destroyed Jesse in one hit. And that was they're, a very funny moment. But otherwise, they're still very, I, very nice. I like them. I love them so much. I would argue for High Tarnished. I was thinking Tarnished as well. So sure, right up. Hell yeah. You know, right above Oscar. And it's also just so weird because you have like they they look like people and then they lose the uh -huh. ability to use their legs and they basically just kind of melt into these weird frog boys. Uh -huh. And there's a lot of and they, they're very much uh, they a lot of their story crosses over and parallels the Jewish story, which yeah. I don't know what that says about them, but it does. It well, says something. Well, they're very pious people because like they and, and no they one likes are... them. Everyone abuses him. Yes. And they're constantly but kicked they out of their also, home. They also have like a really strong attachment to the land they're on. Because like the um Albernics that are in the um bloodland, they're all red because mm -hmm. the water in that land is red. And it's just a lot of blood. Yeah. And I think they're really cool. So I, I like them a lot. Also, the first time you see those motherfuckers cartwheels is the funniest thing in the it world. It is. It is. <laughs> And then it only gets funnier when you see the Moog ones because they do a cartwheel, but now they're spiky. Yes. <laughs> and you never expect them to hurt. And you get hit by no. one of those cartwheels and you're fucking on the ground. Yeah. Um, who the fuck I, is Alecto? I hated... Um, he is... Um, so you know how some uh, enemies have the magic that like uh, puts a dent in your health, your max HP? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, Electo. the black knives. Yeah, okay, I remember. Yeah. That's hollowed at best, I think. He drops a really nice weapon. I I would want to put him at Wretched yeah, because okay. that's one of the better weapons and it's a fun fight and it's an early fight too. So you, it's kind of the first time that you can run into that magic. And so it's not like absolutely annoying like it is in the boss fight where that mechanic is used yeah malakath um yeah malakath fucking mm -hmm. that dude can suck my dick um but i i and he drops a really nice weapon i would put him in wretched somewhere because it still yeah. is really fucking annoying but i think the payoff is well deserved what about anastasia tarnished eater i put her um, in like hunter because she's that girl you just walk around you enter k a little bit and she's just there with yeah. a knife I mean, kind of I think Hunter is a little... Because she's just kind of a woman with a big knife. But I, um, I, do, but I feel bad putting her in a Kindle, though, because she is better than average. So, okay. like, in low Hunter. I Like, next to, like, the other generals from Sekiro. Okay. I'm fine with that. Okay, Ancestral Spirit. I like this boss. Or these I boss like him, suppose. too. Um, I... I would say either High Hunter or Low Tarnished. That's where I was thinking too. I want to put him in low tarnish just because of the lore. And like, there's so much unspoken story uh, up around him. Just like, what are these beasts? Where do they come from? And what do they represent? And why are there multiple of them? I think yeah. that's really interesting. And with that and as just well, that the. You find these carcasses that if you give them enough power, you can engage it in combat. I think it's really interesting. And I think the ancestral followers had put. Um, in tarnished slightly above them just because they're really yeah. cool enemies they're a nice change of pace and they they fit into that lore story as well yeah and and they're really difficult without being annoying for the yeah. most part Everyone's except for the archers you run 
yeah, that's what I was about to say. Until you run into there's like kill alleys where you have to run up a mile before you can interact with them, and there's just archers fucking constantly pelting you with arrows. I wouldn't those even say pelting because those arrows, those arrows, they're raining hit. on you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, are these all of the ants or just? Yes, all the ants. The flying ants, the ants that spit, um, the ants that kill uh, Jesse cursed, when he says, "Watch cursed, this." Cursed, 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 cursed. It's cursed. It is above. Cursed. I would put it Think of right above centipede. Centipede. Those are disgusting, but they're not. I hate them, but they're better than the demon of hatred, Mikalash, the giant mosquitoes, and the blow darts and the centipedes. Yeah, but they're worse okay. than like everything else. They they are by far my least favorite moms, not moms. only because they're mob. Well, so. they're least favorite moms as well. It's like there was those yes, big ass pregnant yes. ants, but I mean, they're I'm, also so fucking annoying to deal with, especially in the tree at the base of it, where there's yeah. just like fucking hundreds of them. It feels like. And um, I did. There's very few times I felt like actually scared and uncomfortable in Elden Ring. Uh, when you're yeah. underground going through like the ant hive, my god, yeah. did that make my skin feel like it was sloughing off my body? Yeah, and also sometimes they were hanging on because they were ambush enemies too. That yep. sometimes they just jump down from the ceiling. And it's also yeah. in um in Noxtrella, I believe. There's people that ride them. I'm I'm like, why? Why would you do? Why would you choose to do that to yourself? Maybe, yeah. Uh, for Nastal, Nature Born of the Void. I, the Natural Born. I like him a lot. There's no R in his name. As, as, it should be Astel Natural. Yeah. Born. Astel. Okay. That's. Anyway. Yeah. I like him a lot. I think it was a fun boss. I think it was more I'd put unique. Him Lord of Cinder somewhere. Yeah. That sounds good. It's definitely Just better cause... than like Fat Official. Yeah. Um, but. Because where he loses points is like his actual design feels really convoluted to me. I like the design quite a bit, personally. I like it. I just feel like there are one or two tweaks that they could have done to really clarify what they were going for and make him look a little bit neater. I also think the relation to him being um, an ant lion, and you yeah. see the entire throughout the game the entire like growth period of the I ant think lions that's cool is too. Yeah. really cool and it's just a cosmic ant lion yeah um avianite soldier i hated these i don't think they're like compared to others but like i'd put in deprived because i did not like them works for me i i feel no way towards them um baleful shadow which this, invader was this this was if i remember correctly it was uh, like the blithe wolf invader you have to do in ronnie's playthrough and he's kind of a bitch to fight oh this is when you have to fight him yeah uh, well not blithe yeah. himself but you fight one that's very similar to blithe after you get the um, yes 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 yeah yes um yeah i say like low hunter because i didn't like fighting it was annoying but it was a good fight yeah, I'll agree with that. Next up, Banished Knight. Um, I are... think they're low hunter. Uh, hunter. Unless you Let's feel see. strongly about them, I, I they were. I fine. would say high hunters because, okay. as far as knights go throughout the entire Soulsburn series, these are one of the more challenging and interesting ones to run into because of their like wind attacks. Yeah, and so I would probably put them in like mid high hunter. Next up, um, Battle Mage. Eh, it's Are okay. these all the mages or no, just specifically okay. just the battle mages? We'll run into the actual mages later. Battle mages. Yeah. Uh depending on their head, I I had a widely different viewpoint of them. Um so these I'd put them were like the ones with like super spiky hood heads. Then I'd put them in like wretched because they just stand in the back of a fight and just launch like low, low damage, low damage spells at you that were annoying. Okay, bears. The, uh, the big bears. Not the, the very big bears. bears. These are the regular oh. sized bears. Uh, uh, the regular like, sized bears were you know, low hunter, I would say. Yeah, okay, that's what I was thinking. Uh, Beastman. I like Beastman. I I'd like put him in low tarnished. Too. Uh oh, okay. I'm fine with that. Uh Black Knife Assassins Hate suck him. my chode, wretched. Okay, I was thinking curse, open them in hollow. 
works for me. Um, I like yeah, the Black Flame were, monks. Yeah, they were cool. Uh, low um, tarnished. Yeah, I think that I might like be a bit armor high. Too. Maybe okay. high hunter. Okay, works for me. Uh, blunt bloodhound knife. Very I, interesting. Yeah, I don't like fighting have to fight. them. Yeah, but their sword is probably one of my favorites in the game. Yeah. Well, maybe like just Metal Hunter. Yeah, I think I, I think their moveset's set's high. really interesting, and their animations I thought were really interesting. I'll put in like medium low Hunter. Okay, works for me. A uh, bloody finger. You're just this guy could suck my dick. Every time I fight him. I agree. You walk up, you're like, I want to go see Patches, and he's like, oh, hello, let me cause blood loss on you that takes out 90% of your health. I'll put him yeah, in hollow. And he is, and he gets the blood spells, too, that are super annoying. Yep. Um, boar, like, all the generic um, animal enemies, yeah, just like I feel general. like, should just go to deprived, honestly. Really? I think the boars are a bit more interesting, but... Okay, that's fine with me. Like, low and kindled. <laughs> Uh, Borealis, the Freezing Fog. I I He's really one of the like cooler this dragons. Fight. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't think yeah. Lord of Cinder. Okay. All right, right next to the skeleton baby. Broken statue. What the fuck is a broken statue? I remember them. I don't. Um, even looking at it bigger, I still don't know who this is. They they were the ones that are. There's a different enemy that looks exactly like them um but they have they don't have any legs so they just sit in one spot and they kind of swing at you um i put them in deprived they're annoying um and not really interesting to fight yeah that works yeah that makes sense um burial watchdogs i hated I fighting hate them. them every time yeah um, that's at least wretched. wretched yeah yeah Next up, Burning though. Slug, I would also like, put in Wretched. Really? I didn't think they were that bad to deal with because they were just there. They don't really do anything to you. They were just... I, I'm i fine with putting them higher up. They were just annoying, and I didn't like put them right being in my way. Okay. All right, next. Celebrant. Um, I like them I because they're funny you little could kill them. jigs. You can yeah. have, but they're, how did you not know that you could kill them? Because I never swung at them. <laughs> I put them in tarnish because they're just doing a funny little jig. They're celebrating constantly. It works for me. Uh, Cemetery Shades can also go in Wretched. Fuck these guys. I put them even lower because uh, that paralysis sucks. It works for me. I'd uh, say like high cursed. put them in cursed? Yeah. Yep, it works for me. Uh, Chanted. Oh, fuck these guys too. Oh, put yeah. those in hollowed. Yeah, I would say hollowed because they're not as bad to be in cursed, but they're not... They're not great. They're they have a annoying. very beautiful Latin song, though. Yeah. Chariot. I don't remember Chariot. Chariot. Oh, these. I hate these. Oh, and those... those were the things that went back and forth. Okay, Crucible Knight. Crucible Knight. I like him. High Hunter, I would say. Yeah, that works for me. They always kick my ass. I've never been able to handle Crucible Knight well. Okay, Crystal Snail. That's like Unkindled. I guess it's yep, just yep, a yep. snail. Yep. Uh, These guys are hollow that best. Middle hollowed. Yeah, because I, I hate fighting them. Yeah. Same with Death Rite Bird. Especially since they're paired together a lot of time. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, Death Bird isn't as bad as Death Rite Bird, but it's definitely. Yeah, I would put. Deprived. Death right bird and like curse because this is one of the hardest bosses. Cause you find him out in like the snow field and they just yeah. destroy you. They deal so much damage. But like death bird is fine. I'm fine with death bird. Yeah. I'd put him in like like hunter, like low hunter, because it's like it's a fine boss. I'm fine with fighting it whenever all the times I have so far. Yep. Yeah. Works for me. Um Anything in um I think this one is that, that area of the world. Slumbering dragon that you can just kill and wail on. Oh, Which I'm indifferent about. I just put it on Kindled because it's just 
Yeah. It's not really a fight. It's just literally a sitting sack yeah. of... It's just souls. euthanasia. Deer. Um, deprived. Yeah, really, I, I put in, like, on Kindle just because it's just there. It's There's nothing good or bad about it. So, it's like, solidly average, but I wouldn't say it's, like, okay. worse than average. That was fine for me. <laughs> Give me Give human, human queen. queen. I would say high hunter. I think she's a fun fight. Yeah. Every I'm, time I run yeah. into her, I enjoy fighting her. Give me human. Um... Unkindled. I, yeah. I, I don't. I think they're. It's an okay, average, easy enemy. Uh, Demi Human Chief, however, I would throw in Deprived. Cause really? They're, they have. They're annoying. I, I don't like them. I, I think the Demi Human's queens are fun because they have magic and they feel very royal. Uh, just the chiefs just are annoying. And there's always at least two of them. And they always have their little conclave of like 20 other demi-humans, and they're just annoying to me. Yeah, I'll put him in the one kindled then. Because I don't really uh, have any big problem with him. Dragonkin Soldier. Looks cool, hate him. High Lord of Cinder. Really? Me. That seems a, that's a little too high for me. I love their lore. I love the way that they look, and I really enjoyed fighting them. Personally. I'll put it in a mid because you don't get to use torrent very often, and I think fighting the dragonkin soldier and hopping on and off of torrent was a lot of fun. Because I think that the issue that a lot of people had with the Dragonkin Soldier and maybe what you had as well is that you can't be on Torrent for the entire fight, but you can't not use Torrent at all. You have to use him both. And his lore just on just compounds on top of everything. I thought it was very cool. Um, Dragon Lord, uh, was, six. he's not my favorite. Yeah. This is one of the not my three bosses I did favorite. not fight. Really? He mm -hmm. was okay. Um, I would put him in, in honestly, High Tarnish somewhere. Uh, he's He looks very cool, um, but he's annoying, and he's nowhere near the best um, dragon in... in um, I think in his game. lore is really cool, because he's the, uh, he was the Elden Lord before when the dragons were ruling things and i think that's really cool yeah and it, it's clear in his um and in, in the way that he's designed i just don't find him terribly interesting eagle, eagle. goes in the same unkindled yeah. they don't do anything you can murder them if you're angry i guess i do not remember this invader i don't either throw him into unkindled, unkindled. with the others uh elden beasts Low tier final boss, but I don't mind him. So I'd be like, like Hunter or Tarnished because he's not too yeah. crazy. He's just, um, just there. He's she cool in design. She is it? Is it a she? I'm like ninety percent sure it's a she. Yeah, let me um, look that up. It might be a gendered. Let's see. What does this say? Um, she. I, I, uh, it's a single being possessing both male and female. Ah. Well, um, so technically we were both right. Uh, Elden Beast, yeah, I'd put somewhere in Hunter. Uh, just because I didn't hate the boss fight. I didn't yeah. love it. Um, it, had, it was pretty at times, but it, it honestly wasn't anything yeah. too crazy. No. It, and it was annoying for oh. some of its moves. So No, Elder Dragon's a dragon you just wail on. Yeah. Um, I think the decaying things are the, um, dragons around it. And I would, I'm going to put those down to deprived instead. Wrong. Okay. There we go. Roots um, uh, Elmer of the This was Brider. a cool, this was a cool boss. He's the one with like the magic telekinetic great sword. And he oh. uses the executioner okay. sword. He was really cool. Oh, that guy. I did not yeah, like yeah, fighting yeah, yeah. him, but he was a really cool no. boss. Really cool weapon. So I'd And it's a like, good weapon. Yeah. Yeah. I'd say, like, Hunter. Um, yeah, I agree. Uh, the Erdtree avatars, depending on I, who they are. Yeah, I'm fine with um, them. They range from, like, Lord of Cinder to, like, Hollow for me. So I'm fine with so anywhere in that spectrum you put them. 
Because yeah. the Midhunter is a nice middle ground to cover all of them. Because some of them are a lot of fun and really fun, and then some of them are like the rotted Erd tree avatars, and you just get yep. Scarlet Rod as soon as you step in to try to fight them, and that's annoying. Um, Errant Soldier, uh, Sorcerer, pardon me, Wilhelm. Uh, I'm pretty sure I beat him to death within five seconds. They're just unkindled then? Yeah. Um, cause that also, like, I, that first fight, like, I was just a truly pure anti-arcane build because I was strength divination, uh, not divination, divine, cause I went full strength, uh, dragon breath build. And, like, that was just, it felt like a pure counter to anything with magic. Yeah. Um, and it was also exactly the opposite of um, uh, it was everything that the Elden Beast was strong against. So that's why it was so fucking annoying trying to fight her. Um, uh, Exile. Uh, oh, he was fun to fight. I but he the, the blood magic's annoying. Um, I would say mid hunter because uh, he also yeah, drops sure. a good spell. I'm pretty sure. Or you get good spells for killing him, something. Okay, Exile Soldiers. I think these go in Hunter because I yeah. I like them. They were the good introduction and they're not too crazy, not yeah. too hard. They're just kind of nice. Uh, Fallen Hawk Soldier, I, don't know I this would is. say just just random. Um, I would say low, uh, untar not untarnished. Untarnished. Uh, unkindled. Right, falling Star Beast, I hate these. These uh, from low to like big Falling Star Beast, I hated fighting them the entire time. They looked very cool. They're very cool, they and very again with like the Astel sort of um, ant lion thing is really cool. But I did not like fighting them, so I'd say like deprives. Um, sure. Because uh, I feel like putting them in unkindled is unrepresentative of them, so yeah. I'm happier with them being in deprived rather than unkindled. Now, Fair um, Missoula Dragon, I think, is like unkindled because it's like the most average dragon out of all the dragons yeah, in the game. Yeah, I agree. Uh, the Fell Twins. Who were the Fell Twins? I don't know, actually. It looks like it's I probably think... a mini boss that's just two omen. Okay. I'd say that's like unkindled, probably. Yeah, I agree. Festering fingerprint Vike is also unkindled, maybe low hunter. Yeah, I'd say low hunter. Vike's just a cool guy all around. Yeah. Fia's champion. Uh, Fia's now this champion. is one I mentioned it with the half life. I think this goes above half life, um, up in demigod because of how it works and it's the half-light mechanic but actually done really well and works really well i agree uh finger creepers i'd put uh deprived his highest i i hate them i would put them in hollowed because these guys suck and they're saggy you in definitely yep. and sometimes they, yep. they freak me out with their spider crawling now fire giant yep. i'd put him in demigod i agree he was a really cool the boss. The second Pretty part of his fight is just yeah. so fucking cool. And how he just like breaks his leg. Or you break his yeah. leg and then he just rips it you off. break his leg. Yep. Yeah. It's metal as hell. Uh, yeah. yep. Fire Monk. Uh, Fire Monk. Cool. I, I like would him. put mid to low range tarnished. Okay, I'd say low range tarnished. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Um, Fire uh, Prelate. I the would put around the same prelate? place. Uh, oh, he's a big guy the with the fire hammer. Boys. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense to me, yeah. Uh, flame Chariot, I'd put it I deprived. Really? I think they're so fun. <laughs> Their design's really cool. They're fun, unique. yes. Very annoying. That's true. So, yeah, I'll say I deprived then. Uh, I agree. Um, flame Guardian, unkindled somewhere. Yeah, it's just basic. Nothing too crazy. Blind Dragon of Agil. One of my I favorite dragons also... in the game because it is, it's the introductory dragon. It has everything you'd expect from a dragon without being too hard. Did, did you fight the Lich Dragon? No, that's the other, one of the other okay. um, out of three you, bosses. All the other dragons pale in comparison because of Lich Dragon. 
he is so fucking metal. And I plan to fight him in to to this to him. Uh, playthrough. I was planning to fight oh, him in one of the playthroughs, so but then, good, you know, man. the save file got corrupted. So based off that, I'll put it in High Hunter. Okay, that works for me. Uh, you can, uh, where were you going to put him? Were you going to put him in Tarnished? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Because I'm going to argue for Ledge Dragon to go pretty high. So. Alright, um, now this dragon, however, I'd say unkindled at best. I didn't like fighting yeah. him, I didn't like him. No. I'm no. deprived. Yeah, it works for me. Uh, foot Let's soldiers, soldiers unkindled. unkindled. Yeah. Uh, frenzied villager, I would put in curse, personally. Really? I would actually put a higher, because I guess I've never got madness from them. How have you never... Okay, there is... The rats, specific... though! The fucking cursed rats, now those... Gave, give me madness all the fucking time, but I've never had a problem with ever, the soldiers. Or the did villagers. you ever go into the uh, the frenzied village? Yeah, I just did that in this playthrough even. Oh. Okay, strange. Okay, giant uh, bat. Just, uh, I Wretched. care not. Really? Yeah. Because they're a flying enemy, they have ranged attacks as well. I just would rather not fight them. I never had an issue with them, so Sure, you I, can one-shot them, but trying to actually hit them with a, a sword half the time they're flying through the air can be a well, bit of a bitch. I never really used a sword, and whenever they engaged and I was using a sword, I would switch to a spell. I would argue low-deprived. Low-deprived, sure. Okay, giant, giant dragonfly. dragonfly. Annoying, but they don't do too much. I'd put in, like, high-deprived because they are annoying, Works but they're me. not going to do anything to you. Works for me. Glintstone dragon. dragon. I don't like this dragon either. Really? Mm -hmm. Uh, I was. Where would you want to put it? I like deprived, I guess, because it's like compared to other dragons, I just don't like fighting it. But it's more unique. But it doesn't feel right to put it in okay. unkindled because it is more unique yeah. than like average. Okay. Glintstone miner. I would also put in deprived. Yeah, sure. They're miners, they're but just they're annoying. To deal annoying. With. Glintstone sorcerers. These are the basic I think they're kind of cool. Um, like no, them? the glintstone uh, sorcerers are the ones with two faces. Oh, the ones with two faces? Okay, then yeah, they're cooler. I I would put them in like mid ranged hunter. Yeah, sure, that works. Uh, Godfrey first Elden Lord. One of my favorite bosses in the game. I would put cool. him Lord of Cinder high range. I would say I was gonna say low demigod so. Well, I was going to say, demigod like, high demigod, so, like, low demigod too. works. Yeah. I think he's a lot of fun. I don't think he is by anywhere near the best boss in the game. Um, uh, Godric the, Ga the Grafted goes in, like, low-range Tarnished for me. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because he's a, he's a good boss, but Margit kind of just <laughs> shits all over him. Yeah. And so he kind of gets well, and, upstaged by that boss. Yeah. And the and like we were talking earlier, the most the, he there's parts of him that are done better elsewhere too. Yeah, like him cutting off his own hand to adhere dragon head. That's a yeah. really cool moment, but it doesn't feel like it has the weight that it should. Yeah, and it's so uh, surprising as well because you just he starts yeah. stop taking damage. You he gets up from the hand like what's happening? He goes to cut you just screaming. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, God's um, an apostle. I like this one better than the noble. Yeah, I fucking hate the noble. Uh, Godskin Apostle, I would put in the hunter somewhere. I'll say high hunter, hunter and then the noble can go in deprived. Low deprived, please, because I was going to say wretched, because I fucking hate those guys. The golems. I like the golems a lot. I like the golems a lot, too. I tarnished? would say low tarnished. Yeah, okay. Grafted Scion, I would say low hunter. Really, I hate the grafted Scion. Everything about okay, their I'm move set with, is terrible. I'm happy to put them even as low as uh, Wretched, honestly. Yeah, I would say like mid high Wretched, just because I've never had a good time fighting them. Mm -hmm. I don't know who Great Horn Targoth is. I don't know either, and I have no clue what the hell that picture is. Unkindled. Great Horned. Oh, he's the guy with the ram horn armor. Yeah, that's fine. 
Okay, Guardian. What, what is Guardian? Because uh, I care not about him. Guardians can go and unkindled oh, okay. high. They're just yeah, they're, they're just... the things that hang around the um, Erd Tree Guardians. Okay, yeah, we got tree, Penguin um, Bird avatars. The puffins. I like low hunter because they're cute. Uh, I like them. They go into hunters. They're cute. Okay, next Highwaymen, up. um unkindled. Yeah, unkindled. Somewhere. Okay, next. Imps. Now I would put these in cursed. I hate these guys. Everything imps about go the into imps. wretched. Really? You want to put really? it higher than okay. cursed? Because like Fine. They, works for me. They the blood loss, they always jump away from you. They have such mobility. I if they you have a hammer, constantly. you just break them. If you have a hammer, you just destroy them. So I never really had that much of an issue with them. Uh, because in all of my new game pluses, I was just speed running, so I never went into any of the dungeons. Um, so I never had any issues with them, because I never used a sword. Um, but I understand if you don't have a bludgeoning weapon, they would be annoying as fuck. So yeah, I'm I'm fine with going putting them in cursed. All right, Inquisitor Giza. Um, Inquisitor, uh, low hunter. That works. It's just a invader that I didn't really care about. Who's Juno um, Hoslow? I don't remember. I have no clue. Unkindled it is. Juno. Oh, uh, Kaiden Cell Swords. I like these a lot. Uh, for enemies that you just run into, they're riding around on horses and stuff. I think they're a good mid-range early game challenge. So I'd put them in like um, mid to high hunter. I must have beaten this person, but I do not. They were some. Oh, they're um, a person with two uh, two swords that are just like going crazy in the middle of the ice. Um, yeah, they can go there because you can literally just walk around them. Uh, Caden Sellsword yeah. I, is a lot of fun. Yeah. I would put him high hunter or low. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. High hunter. Kindred of Rot can go cursed. um not all the way to the bottom of cursed, but yeah, definitely it's definitely high cursed. But when you see them, they're gross. They have that like artillery yeah. move that just one shots you. I artillery yeah. thing, which is the fucking most annoying thing in the goddamn world. Land um, octopus. Land octopus. I would put somewhere in the middle of unkindled. Really, I was gonna say hunter, so I'll put him. I I un-kindled. think that they're. Really? Okay. Yeah, I, I like I'm, them. I'm fine with them going in Hunter somewhere. Yeah, I like them. I, I just, whenever you fight them, they're kind of annoying. Yeah, I just... The land squirts, I'd the, put them um, in Deprived. Yeah. 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 yeah they have no nice. positive attributes, but if you walk next to them, you get poisoned. So, I I just... Uh, lesser Dragon. It's like uh, Unkindled. Lesser best. Dragon, I would throw in Unkindled. Yeah. At best, I would agree. I, I would say very low, unkindled. Landell Knight. Uh, I think these are the best knights in the game to go against, but they're still just knights. Yeah. So I'd like Mid-range hunter. hunter. Yeah. Lich, Dragon, Fortis, Axe. Yeah, it's all you because I didn't fight him, so I don't know where I'd put him. I would put him medium to high demigod because... You, it is the, oh, who's, who's, you have to do, Fia. he's the, yeah, for Fia, you have to do her whole intricate quest mm-hmm. line, and then you have to enter her soul to fight yep. this dragon. Which when I was playing and through, when I got to her, I was playing, I was role playing as a paladin that was against undead yeah. things, so I just said um, the opposite, that I didn't want to lay with her, then. I was forced to kill her. And that's why I never fought Lich Dragon. Yeah. It is such a cool fight. And um, you get a really fucking cool spell out of it, too. And after doing all of that really intricate emotional work and learning, like, what this... Do, it, it's a really cool fight. I don't think it goes into Outer God. Um, I think it's the best fight, bar none, in the game personally uh 
Lion Guardian, I would throw in Hunter somewhere. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say low Hunter because that's <laughs> it's uh, not the first a... time you see them. Yeah. They're really fucking annoying, but yeah. Okay, living Jar, I living would put jar, high, like tarnished. I would put an outer. I would put. I would put outer god. For the living jar, out of God. Uh, because not because of the generic mob, but because I don't think I see him in here because of your buddy. Yeah, because he's not an enemy. That That's what I was thinking of. But since he's you, he's you do fight him, you can fight him. Well, you can, but he's not one that fights you um, just on his own, like patches, for instance. He, yes, he does. Blade does too. And you don't have Blade on here either. Oh, that's true. Because they weren't um, under the tag but, of enemy. Uh, it's because um, at the end of the Living Jars, you have to fight him in an arena. Because um, he wants a warrior's death. Uh, and so you fight him. And he... I, got, I, he's, I love that man. I'll put him uh, in uh, God high rest demigod. Um, Blade, you have to kill uh, at the end. Yeah, because is that okay. whole thing with Ronnie? Blade, you do have to kill. Go mad. Yeah. And so when you go to her final area, he's like, well, it's either you or me, hombre. And so you have to fight him. Okay, Knight of the Hallig Tree. Uh, Loretta, uh, Knight of Hog. Of the Hallig Tree. Um, she, was a, she was a fine fight. High Hunter, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Mad Tongue Albernack. I love this guy, uh, Albridge. Really, yeah, Albridge. I just because this guy. you don't have to fight him, you go down, and he spawns in, and he um, bows to you, and then you have a nice fight, and then he just kicks the shit out of you. No, I like yeah. his honor. I like that he's um, an invasion you have to seek out, and he doesn't just come to fuck you up. So I'd put him in like high. He hunter. fights you a couple of times. Because also, like, if you go lore. to, because do you know where the Eye of Sauron is? Yeah. He is there, and so you can hunt him out there and kill him. I must miss him over there. Because that's how you then. get some of the. Um, that's how you get some of the, the really high end insanity spells. Is from off of him because I had to do that to get one of the spell achievements. Let me tell you, that fight was fucking annoying. Anyways, Magma Worm uh, can go into Deprived. Yeah, they're not fun. I would even put them in Wretched. They're not fun. Okay, I never like fighting them. Ever. Ooh, what is that name? Magnus? Magnus the Beast Claw. I have no clue who the hell this guy is. Straight into Unkindled. Unkindled. I don't know who uh, Male uh, Marius is either. Mariah. Is she the guy that you give the grapes to? No, she is someone you find in that like swamp area where you find Elmer of the whatever. But I think she goes into the okay. deprived, not deprived, unkindled. That one. Okay. Melania. Uh, Melania. I put that I would in. Put in demigod. Because I, I would agree, she... other than the fact that she does the regeneration. I think the regeneration adds to it because you have to actually think about what you're doing. You can't just walk in and just spawn in a random creature because it's just going to heal her up. And you can't just face tank everything because it's just going to heal her up. So you have to play around them. And I think that it adds to it. But I don't think she's higher than a lot of the other gods. But I still think she is the best fight in um, Elder Ring that I had. I... I think that the Lich Dragon is better. That fight is better than hers, but in a way different way. So if you want to put Melania on there, that's fine. I would then just request you also bring up uh, Fortisax. There we go. Okay, next up. Um, because also her blade is the most fun weapon to use yes, in the entire game. It is game. so fucking fun. The weapon art I, on it is I, just amazing. Yeah, and I love the fight. And honestly, she, I, I, she did not take me the longest 
to fight in the game. I it took me the longest to kill the Elden Beast the first time around. Yeah, she uh, took Melania me the only longest. took me Melania only took me two to three hours. The Elden Beast took me six hours. I think she took me because somewhere around six to eight myself. She didn't take me that long because once I figured out, oh, I just can't use my mimic, and then like because she's also somebody that like my play style goes well is that I time out my attacks, I dodge their attacks. And so eating through her was fine. It was just really fucking annoying whenever she hit me with one attack and she undid like three of my own attacks. It was just annoying. And it was something that I didn't see as a fun challenge. I agree that it was fun that uh, it, it just like made it like you just couldn't bring in a summon. Like that was just not something you could really or do. Or you have to think I, about what summon and why you're bringing it in. Because I did beat it with a mimic tier. Really? I yeah. didn't. I didn't use any summon. That's how most people was... beat her, is with the Mimic tier, and you have... Most people use a Mimic tier, put some spells on him, even if it's spells you can't use, and then have a bleed weapon, is how most people beat Melania. Which is what I, I did just, just by default. Her. Um, because I summoned the Mimic tier, and then I summoned a ranged uh, summon, and then I just 1v1'd her, and that was the easiest way for me. Uh, Mechaleth, the Black Blade, um... I hated this fight. However, he's really fucking cool. I put yeah. him somewhere in Lord of Sender. Yeah, I would even put him in um, Low Demigod just because his lore is so cool and he's so intrinsic to the entire Elden Ring story. And his okay. armor is cool. And when you find him, you meet him as like the beast clergyman. And then he becomes yeah. actually Malakats. I'm fine with that, uh, because also when I came through New Game Plus and I was doing a uh, blood loss build, that, that made the fight so much easier yeah. than my strength. Uh, blood loss is just um, so fucking strong yeah. in Elden Ring. And also, it was just really interesting, because like he's constantly using blood to throw at you. It was mm -hmm. just like, it, it made it really visually interesting, too. Um, Man Serpent, he's he's a funny little guy. Throw him yeah. somewhere high in Hunter, please. <laughs> I don't know if I can say high Hunter, but I can say at least mid-range Hunter. Right by Man um, Centipede, because he's better than Man Centipede. Why did you separate... Margit and Morgoth, because they're two different fights entirely. Yeah, they, um, it's, this... it's the same guy, but it's like two very different fights. And for most of the bosses... Even if they're um, are the same character, as long as they have a very different fight. Like, uh, Golden Godfrey isn't here because it's just Godfrey Phase 1. But Morgoth Phase 2 is extremely different from Margit Phase 1 and 2. And they both come in very okay. different places in the story. Margit, though, I'd put uh... him in Demigod, personally. If it's just the Fell Omen, I would throw him in Tarnished. Really? Because I think where he is um, as a first challenge and everything, and for learning Elden Ring, I think he did a very good job at kind of forcing you to learn what this game is about. Yes, but I wouldn't... If he's just the first time you see him, I think that if because the issue is is that a lot of what makes uh margit slash margot interesting is the fact that he's shepherding you along and so the omen king is an easy demigod god to outer god easy uh, but margit if he's just the first time you encounter him and that's it I think that he's not interesting enough as a character or as a fight to get him to demigod. All right, so then low Lord Cinder to be in the middle. Yeah, that's why I asked why you separated him out. Is because I agree that because I've been kind of thinking this is whole characters where if I'm it just usually about is the but fight because they're two very separate specific boss fights that have very different move sets. That's why it's separated. With a lot yeah, of the others, they're, uh, like, the same. Like, for instance, Moog is... You fight him twice, but... Yeah. It's only the second Moog. Because the first Moog is just Moog Phase 1. He... 
not entirely, but I get what you're getting at. But, uh, but like, especially uh, Margit, a lot of what his moveset is is just backing away and throwing things at you, which is annoying to me. Really, so I didn't have he's... any of that. In his second phase, there's a lot of dagger throwing, but that's usually throw two daggers and then he rushes in on you. I never really had him back away, but then again, he, this playthrough, I did a lot just of... destroy him very quickly. Like, so. one of his main moves is he'll do two daggers and then he'll do a fan and he'll back up in the fan. And even the two hey, daggers is a Sophie. cross. Hold on, one second. Alright, I'm back. Anyways, uh, wherever you put him is fine. Marionette soldier, low hunter, high unkindled, either or. Yeah, I'd say high unkindled, because I can't put him in Hunter as... I just... Oh, excuse me, don't like fighting them. Yeah. Oh, excuse uh, me. Mausoleum Knights, I would say mid-Hunter. They're fun. I really like their design. Sure, that works for me. Uh, Mimic Tier, I would say High Lord of Cinder, I think. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that works for me. Because it's... When you first meet them, you just see it, and then they become you, and it's a very interesting... Yeah. Time. And it, it throws but it back to your face. Also, the more that they nerf the item, the more they've accidentally nerfed that fight. And yeah. so it kind of ruins it. Um, Which is, it's just a shame because Mimic Tier is so yeah. fine. But they, I understand they cannot balance the game with it. Yeah. Uh, minor, minor, I would Richard. put low and unkindled. Really? Okay, yeah. Richard's fine too. Because I just, they're so tanky for no reason. And it's just like, Unless if I ever see them, I just don't want to deal with them. If if you have a hammer, they're one-shots. If you have any hammer in the game, it, they're one-shots. That's my problem. I never go blunt. That's I would argue deprived for that reason. Because if you have literally any blunt weapon in the game, they're one-shots. What do I even put in? There's... I would argue somewhere in deprived. Um, right. um, Miranda Sprouts, I think, are... Oh, because they have the the artillery strike. Yeah, I would, I would like throw wretched. them in wretched. Yeah. yeah, I don't think they're worse than wretched, and a lot of times you just don't have to fight them, but they're not great. Yeah, they're this be god, and I think uh, it's just unkindled. They're fine. I agree. More Lord of Blood. I really like that fight, um, but I think he still lands in like low tarnished for me. Really, I think he's an out of god for me. For the lore, really? for him, the fight okay. was cool. Like yep. everything about I love him, him, I love is his so area. Cool. Yeah, I did not think you would like him, so I, I'm happy well, to throw him in outer god. A lot of people, when talking about Moog, talk about the nil uh, move that like kills him, and I did not have a problem with them. And even when he did use that, I was strong enough that it didn't like one shot me like it was other people. I I first tried him, so I did both too. Times I saw him, so I I, I didn't run into that. And he's just um, being the brother of Margit, having yeah. Mikola, because that's like the only time you actually see Mikola. Um, his mm -hmm. moves, him like, how he attacks is that he reaches his hand, literally shoves it into the Outer God of Blood, pulls its blood out and attacks you with it. It's just everything yeah. about him, he's cool. And I'm biased because Lord of Blood is dope as hell. But still, it's, he's just he's yeah. a really cool boss. I like him better than Orgot even. But And also he's a, um, he is a... Uh... Uh, he's the pro one of the protectors of the um, of the the frenzied flame. He's yeah. one of the people you have to fight through if you want to go to the frenzied flames. Uh, Monstrous Claro and Monstrous Dog both go into Wretched for me. Really, I'd put them hollowed. lower. Yeah, they're like I think yeah. they're straight up just hollowed. Yep, works for me. Fucking hate him. Um. This guy is Carrion okay. Knight, I like him, but he's nothing too crazy. So it's like Hunter. Somewhere in Hunter, yeah. yeah. Margaret, the Omen King, definitely goes into demigod status. For yeah, me. I I'd don't. Be, I could be convinced of Outer God, but I don't think he quite. No, gets I there yeah, I think he's close to Outer God, but I don't think he can make it in. Just if I'm like comparing him with who is in Outer God and like with Moog. Yeah, I like him a lot, but. It's kind of, in my mind, because they're like brothers and they have a similar story, Moog is just the mm -hmm. cooler Morgat, 
Yeah. And Morgoth's just like, instead of, because Moog's like, you know what? People hate me for my cursed blood. I'm going to cherish that. And I'm going to thrive and be me. And I'm just going to lean into it. But Morgoth's just like, you know what? People hate me for it. I hate me too. I'll, I just, yep. I guess I'll just be king. Fuck it. I, and he's just a sad boy. And so I think he's a little bitch yep. while Moog is actually being cool and he started a cult. Mounted Knight, I think, are a lot of fun to fight yeah. because, yeah. I'd put them in, like, Tarnish, um, just because it's so rare that you can actually do, like, knight-mounted really? yeah. combat. Okay, that works for me. Um, Nameless White Mask is really fucking annoying whenever yeah. he turns up. I'd put him in Wretched at best, because I just don't like fighting them, and Blood Loss is so strong that when it's used against me, I cry. And, um, they continuously spawn in that mm -hmm. area, so, in the Blood Lake, so. Necromancer Garrus, I don't remember fighting. I like him, because he's unique. He um, has a very specific weapon that's also very unique, and he summons like skeletons to fight you, and he's behind a uh, okay. illusory wall. So okay. I would put him in Hunter, because he's just really unique. Works for me. Um, Knight Cavalry, I would put slightly above Mounted Knight, but not by a lot. I think they're fun. They drop interesting weapons. I like yeah. them. For that reason, I'd probably put them in Hunter, because they're so... Okay. They're, they're just fun. They're like a nice change yep. of pace for the regular combat. And they're mini bosses you can find in night. They look cool. Yeah, I like mm -hmm. them. Uh, nomads, I, I just... I'm old. Yeah, I feel bad. <laughs> okay, um... Non-affiliated non soldiers. soldiers. These are the soldiers that don't look like Godric soldiers. They're like any of those. I yeah, they're just, unkindled. Yeah, unkindled. Nox the Nox populace. populace. These are the people of the eternal city of Nox. And they have interesting moves, but I don't like fighting them. Low Hunter. Yeah, that works. Old Knight Estevan, I really enjoy fighting because he has a big sword and he'll huck a rock at you using it. <laughs> and I think that's funny. Um, I would put him... Hunter? Yes, please. And next up, um, Omen. Omen. I hate these uh, so much. Really? Okay, yeah, I'm not I'm a fan. They walk in, they Ret kick me in the face. Yeah, like high wretched. Um, I just learned to dodge. I I don't I don't know what to tell you. I never really had an issue with them. Well, it's not like I have an issue. It's just like if I fail to dodge once, then my entire health bar is gone, and I'm down to like a fourth. And it's just like, yeah. Well, I'd rather. I don't mind them necessarily. It's just there's a bunch of other enemies I'd rather fight than a big boy that does all my health. And they are not, That's you know, fair. like the brick boy that hits you in the face with a brick. They're just a big ogre-like guy that doesn't have yeah, any Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, so where did we put the Cacademon? Cacademon? It's yeah. not even Cacademon. He looks very similar. He's very reminiscent of the DS1. What are you talking about? Cacodemon. There's not a Cacodemon in DS1. That's a Doom character. What am I thinking of? I don't know what you're thinking of. I am thinking of... Uh, um, what color did you make? Uh, black, yes. These. Um, Capra Demon. Oh, Capra sorry. Demon. Oh, so the Omen Killer? Yeah, for the Omen Killer. Oh, we haven't chose one, but I like them. I think they're a challenge. I I'd know, I was hunter. just making a joke. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. Because they just remind me of um, yeah. the Capra Demon. Capra Demon, but this one breathes fire. Yes. Okay, the Oracle um, Envoys. The... I fucking hate these things. Put them in hollowed or wretched. I can't put them that low because they're not really much of a problem and they make giggle. So I'd put them in wretched, I think. The Bubbles! The bubbles the hurt like a bubbles. motherfucker. I've never really had any problems with them. Except for in the Elden Ring randomizer when one uh, decimated me. Uh, owl unkindled. Yeah, I'll put it slightly higher in unkindled because I do like owls. Uh, the main issue, uh, the Oracle Envoys for me, is when you're coming down the roots of the tree and they're just all over there while you're trying to deal with the ants. It's yeah. very annoying. I page. I hate you're pages. You're also on these thin fucking roots where if you dodge incorrectly, you fly yeah. off. Um, I never had an issue with them. They're you the see, ones that have the explosive crossbows. Um, I, wherever you want to put them. Uh, yeah, I know. 
I'd put them like just unkindled because they're nothing I too crazy. But again, learn to dodge. I don't know. <laughs> there's, there's learn um, to dodge, and then there's one that walks up to you and one shots yeah, you with an explosive with crossbow. All right, patches. Where the fuck does patches go? To wear a heavier armor? I don't know. I, I think he that goes was just my issue by with those doing him being like him. Dexterity. He has to go, I feel like. Or to sender, at least. Um, demigod or outer god. Yeah. I, I would put him high range demigod, personally. Because he more or less is. <laughs> In the fight as well, like he'll fight he, you, and then he'll more grovel. or less a arch fey that just hangs out. Yeah. And there's also if you um I don't yeah. know if you know this, but I, if you go in and you open the chest the second time, get teleported. Because he truly right? is just more or less. Um, and then if you come back and you start a fight with him, um, you he'll give mm -hmm. you a new um emote, and if you grovel during that fight, he'll stop fighting you. Yes. Oh, I never groveled during the fight. That's funny. I did get that emote, but I never groveled during the fight. That's funny. Okay, next up we have... Um, Perceptor Miriam. I don't know who this is either. I don't I, remember. Unkindled. Nope. Uh, unkindled. Yeah. Um, the perfumers. Uh, I hate these. Perfumer is annoying, but yeah. I never really had an issue with... It's not that I much have like an issue uh, fighting them, but when they drive to wretched, I'm happy with. Yeah, it's when they like throw out the perfume in front of where They're you're just rolling. Annoying. No, I you, understand. Yeah. Pumpkin heads. I tend to like pumpkin heads yeah. quite a bit. I would put them in wretched or low deprived. For the pumpkin heads, I the like perfumer. pumpkin heads. They have the similar kind of panache that the. Uh... No, the pumpkin heads. They have yeah, a similar like kind of panache as the brick uh, giants from. Uh... Yes, uh, you are jumping around and I'm trying to catch up as you're talking to me. So, uh, putrid corpses, I'd put in unkindled. Yeah, that's, yeah. Hello. Hello. Okay. Yeah, why am I so delayed? Redon. Here? Let me leave call yeah. and rejoin real quick. I won't let me back in the call. <laughs> my god, what is going on with my internet? Fixed you. Radon? How do you feel about him? Oh, uh, demigod. Oh, not. Radon or Radagon? I, I... Where, where is Radon? Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, Radagon. Radagon. Well, where is Radon? I think. Uh... Oh, there he is. Okay. Didn't put... Oh, he, he's Star Scourge. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, Radagon... Radon, I think, goes high in... Radagon goes high in Demigod. I love this fight. I, was I kind think of that this is the most it. fun... Um, I fought him a lot <laughs> because of um, my issue with the Elden Beast. Um, so, I got... I got to explore all kinds of different ways to dodge his attacks um and like a lot of them you can jump over you can dodge through they're like uh, perfect ways that you can dodge and jump through his attacks that you can hit him in between the different tiers of him hitting his hammer um and to interrupt it it was i had a good time fighting him um Dude, I killed and the Elden Ring. On, cool. the Elden Ring. I killed the Elden Beast on my third playthrough. I mean, my third try. The Elden Beast, yeah. So I didn't really have enough time to really experience I... it. Yeah. No. I. I. It. I legitimately. It took me way like three times the amount of tries to kill the Elden Beast as it did to take me to kill, um, Melania. All right. Next up, we have a and. Recusant hibiscus, or whatever the fuck this guy's name is. <laughs> yes, I agree, and I think that that's as indicative of like uh, my memory for him as anything. So, Unkindled it is. Uh, I think you, yes. Okay, Red Wolf. This includes the uh, Red Wolf of Radagon boss fight and just the regular Red Wolf enemies. I like them. 
I'd put them in Hunter. Um, Lord of Cinder, Hunter. Yeah, okay. yeah that's a bit um, high for him, I think, because he's he's kind of just like Sith light. So I don't know if I can really put him. I I just high. I I like his um I like the boss fights that he uses magic while also having quick fast attacks. I I think it's very interesting. Um, but I'm so a high tarnish. I I two. would low. I would say low tarnished is what I'm fine with. All right, there we go. Okay, next uh, up, Red Main Knight. Knights. Worst I of the Knights. Say... I think. Okay. So I'd say like just um like mid and kindled. Okay, that's fine. Now, how do you feel about Ramala? I'm curious what you think of. <laughs> yeah, me too. I honestly, I think she's so unfathomably boring to fight. She kind of is. I like the second phase a lot. The first phase, um, is really fucking boring and has like no reason to be there. But the second phase does some interesting the, the, things, especially when she uses the command and just kills you. The thing is, is um, actually, if you just walk up to her with a hammer, you kill her before she gets off any of her spells or her summons get to you. So you, you you've been saying a lot of the time, remove the second, like um, learn to dodge and um, to grab a hammer. But I, a lot of the complaints walk. I've been hearing is, yes. why not you just try a different play style opposed to doing the hammer in a run and then you might have a different experience with a lot of these bosses about them being boring because you used a weapon to counter them yes and that's why in my first playthrough i used a hammer the second playthrough i used double swords blood loss and then my third playthrough i did magic and then in my fourth playthrough i did you you Remember, I did six but different playthroughs. Weren't throughs. those all new game and in pluses? every single playthrough. Because yes, if they're they a new were. game plus, then it's not quite the same because you're already strong. They don't get to level up and get as strong as the same level until you get to around new game plus 12, yeah, I believe it is. Yes, that's why I'm only referencing my hammer playthrough. So where I'm do you want to I'm not referencing the others because I know they were way overpowered. Um... I think she... I, I agree, her second phase is really interesting. Um, but her first phase is just kind of weird. Yeah, it's just kind of bad. Uh, but she did give birth to Ronnie, um, which gets her points in my book. <laughs> that didn't really tell me where you want to put her, though. Uh, honestly, somewhere in Unkindled. Okay, I, yeah. I think she's rather bland i think Put her mid -hunter, uh, then. or hunter yeah mid hunter's fine i just think that her lore is bland and her fight's kind of bland she constantly uh, holds Revenant, an egg which is interesting um can go yes because she because wait wait, wait 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 hold on is this who i think it is because if this is who i think it is this is cursed all the way straight to hell yes it is they are that's yeah. That's the scorpion boys that have a human face at the end of it. Yeah, I hate these so much. These that are um, like the really yeah. I my uh, are they annoying? Or are they weird? Yes, but I do not think they are the worst thing in all souls. There, I've never once ran into one of them in Elden Ring and not thought this is the worst enemy that I've had to fight. They teleport that, around. They like deal insane damage. They stun lock you. They're terrifying. Like nothing about them do I like. And I've never once fought one without thinking this is the worst enemy I have fought in either this game or like any of the Dark Souls games. That is very surprising to me. I could like, raise it up to high cursed, but I've got to say I've got to keep it in cursed. High cursed is fine. They are they are nowhere near the bottom of cursed to me. They're still in cursed, mind you. They're a cursed enemy. I agree. 
but I don't think they're the worst thing in any any Soulsborne ever. I, I think that's I think that's very surprising that you would say that. Um, Next up, something the idol. I don't know who this is. I don't know who that guy is either. I'm Kendall. Next up, yep. um, the Rotten Duelist. Rotten this also duelist. includes regular duelist. I think they're a fun um, boss. I'd put him in hunter. Yeah, high hunter. Yeah, that works. Rotten stray. Uh, I'd put dog. him wretched. Yeah, he kills with yeah. other dog. Uh, round table knight Vike. This is um, one I never fought, but he's a cool. He's a cool enemy. I just never had a chance to actually fight him. Yeah. Um, I would put him either mid to low tarnished. Mid to low tarnished. Sure, that works. Uh, Royal Knight Loretta, I'd put High Hunter. Yeah, that works for me. Very pretty fight. Not super interesting. Rune Bears, I like Rune Bears a lot. I think they're a fun mini too. boss, and I'd put them in probably tarnished. Yeah, I would agree with that. They're also Big Bear. I just want to give them a hug. Yeah, they want to give you a uh, hug as well. Now, we talked rank. about this earlier. Uh, Praetor Rikard, I think, is very high, and I'd put him above Yorm because he has a lot of what Yorm does, but is done in a really good and cool way. I don't know if I'd put him in Outer God, but I do think I'd put him in Demigod. I'm fine with that. Um, his fight's very strange. <laughs> it is. But also, um, just thinking about the 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 lady of the house coming down afterwards and just eating his flesh yep. after he dies makes my skin crawl. Also, he like pulls the sword out of himself and it's a flesh sword. Yeah. I hate that sword. It's a really cool sword, but it grosses me out so much. Yeah. Sanguine uh, noble. Sanguine Not noble. A fan. Uh, mid hunter. Yeah. I works. think they're fun. I think they're fast paced and fun. Um, they don't do a lot of damage unless they get the blood loss off of you. So it's, it's a fun kind of, look at this mechanic we have, um, kind of enemy. I scared. Uh, I think they go up I with like crystal lizards, but below crystal lizards. I agree. Yes. I was about to make the same point. Where the fuck are crystal lizards? I've lost them. Uh, they're, they're in, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, School of Graven Mages, I would I don't... put in Deprived. Yeah, because they're gross. I don't like looking yeah. at them, but they're not too much of a challenge. No, and they're annoying too. Servant, Servant of Rots. Of rot like, can go rot. right next. Yeah. Right next door. Sheep. Cheap. I like sheep. Yeah, I'm I do too, but... Uh, Silver Tier, I think they're fun. I would put them low hunter. Yeah, that works, because I was thinking high on Kindled. Um, <laughs> Sir Gideon Offnir, like, is like middle... Really? Yeah, he's a really cool character, but if we're talking, like, boss fight, you just yeah, walk you... in and walk through him. Yeah. I think that is literally the easiest boss yeah. fight in the entire series. He's like, you're a god now, basically? I'm gonna stand in your way, and he's just a person. <laughs> you just walk through it's, him. It's odd, because both of the bosses you fight in that room are really fucking easy. Because that's also where you fight the first uh, form of the ghost-like um, uh, lion punch dude. Which, you know what I'm talking about? Depending on your build, that boss is either very easy or very hard. If you build magic, he'll destroy you because he has like 90% magic reduction. But if you build anything outside of magic, it's fine. He, al he also can't bleed. Is also that. Skeletal uh, slime um, goes in next to all the other slimes. Uh, skeletal snail goes in next to the other snail. Um, skeletons go With next the to the skeletons. other skeletons. Where even are they? They were in a kindled somewhere, right? Yeah, they're base. They're the... not as cool as the met metallic uh, skeletons. Yeah, they are. Yeah, um, right. soldiers with the other soldiers. Yep, straight into the middle of a kindled. Yep. Uh, I like spirit jellyfish a lot. I do too. I've like never Hunter, really I considered think. them. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, I guess technically. Uh, Spring Hair, I would put Base Hunter because they're cute. Um, Star Caller, I don't remember um, the Star Callers. These oh, guys. Were they just the random dudes that use gravity magic? Yeah, that they're always around an alabaster dude. They don't really do anything too crazy. Yeah, I'd say I would say 
Okay. Hi, Unkindled. Yeah. Because I think the magic's interesting. Now, Radon, I would put straight into Out of God. I agree. Uh, for nothing else, when he fucking comes down as a comet, yeah, it's just like, so fucking... First, his arena's the biggest. You can ride a horse on it. He's riding a horse. You can his, summon a bunch of people. His story's really cool. Yeah, his story. And, and just the remnants of mm -hmm. the fight between him and Melania yeah. is just across the the yep. island you're on. And his fight uh, as well was so intense. It caused basically a supercharged version of the Black Plague to spawn all over his yep. world. And yep. then at at one point, he's just like, you know what? See you, homie. And he goes into the sky and he becomes a meteorite, which is one of the coolest yep. fucking re-entrances. Yep. So yeah, he's 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 probably my favorite fight in the entire game. Uh, I I still think that the dragon fight is still is like just as cinematic, but like imagine that comet moment if you took it down ten percent, and then it's the whole fight. <laughs> well, so, I will have to fight uh, the lich yeah, dragon it's, sometime. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. It's really, it's really, really pretty. Just so the whole a lot time. of and it's a this, hard fight um, too. A lot of this new playthrough has been me just kind of walking through things because of mm. my training I did in all the randomizers. Everything yeah, just seems yeah. so easy now. Uh, the swordstress. Um, I don't know who this is. I don't know either. I think I know, but it looks like it's a, uh, a frame from Naruto of some random woman <laughs> running, honestly. I what it is. Um, Thorn Sorcerer, I think, goes somewhere in um, Unkindled. Uh, yeah, that works for me. They just throw random fire. Tibia Mariner, I like these I, a lot, to be honest. I, I want to put them in Tarnish. Cause that is exactly what also... I was thinking. <laughs> they're funny little guys. I On boats, has some well... giant skeletons sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, I honestly, whenever I saw them, I got a little elated and ran after them because yeah. they were always fun fights. They were and never then, hard, but they were always yeah. fun. And then when you're fighting, they phase out of existence and it reappear yeah. later. And it's like, please come it's back here. It's just fun. <laughs> it's just fun. I like them. And it's also they, they like try to slap you with their oars every once yeah. in a while, but that's pretty much all they do to harm you. <laughs> Um, Tree Sentinel, I think, go somewhere in Hunter. They're fine, but I'd prefer to fight someone on the Night Watch, honestly, if I was going to fight okay. someone tree spirit. like that. Honestly, the Tree Spirits uh, I'd put in fuck Cursed. Em. Yeah, they, fuck them. Yeah, you never fight I, them in a good place. They're always in no. like the smallest rooms possible. Yep. In our randomizer, they hunted us throughout the entire yep. game. Yeah, I hate them. Yep. Nope. Troll. Uh, Troll, Troll, however, I like them. I'd put them in Tarnished. They're just a good, like, mid-ranged medium, yeah, like, like, next to the golem. Yeah. I agree. I, especially, like, the uh, troll NPC, I think, is one yeah. of my favorite in the games. Uh, Turtle, I think, goes into Demigod for me. Really? I'd put um, him in Cursed. I hate these. Every time I go up against them, oh, it's the worst. Straight into Unkindled. Who is... Vagram the Raging... Oh, he's not in calls. I disconnect. Hello? Yes, I disconnect. Okay. I was, I was so aghast. I didn't even notice. There was a Pope. There was a Pope Turtle. I just looked over at my stream and I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> His image is gone. <laughs> there was a Pope Turtle. Yeah, but we're not talking I, about the Pope Turtle. Can you... You could probably kill the Pope Turtle, I imagine. Yes, you can. Yes. And he's very sad if you try to hit him. I will accept Lord, Lord of Cinder at the lowest. I don't even know where I put the turtle. <laughs> they are good boys. Ah, oh, there he is. They're dogs. I love those dogs. I, I genuinely want them next to the Mushroom Boys. Oh, but you can't be next to the Mushroom Boys because the Mushroom Boys have that right hook. The turtles just don't do anything. They're just there. But... Remember, they I'm can lead to you to damnation. I it's realize true. those were those were crabs, but don't worry about it. Uh, <laughs> I also because the the whole wise beast things. Yes, I. Oh yeah, that was a fun little mini thing. Uh, okay, Vagrum, Vagrum, the raging wolf. I don't know who this is either. Oh, this guy. Um, I would put him mid to upper range hunter. It's just kind of a random sure. dude that you fought. Next up, uh, Valiant Gargoyles. I did not like this fight. Fuck them. 
cursed. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about cursed. It's a little too bad, but I would say like low hollowed out least. This is the one where there's two of them, right? Yeah, and they're made out of wax. Cursed. Cursed. Really? I had me. no I issue am, with it. I, I am fine with low hollowed, but I fucking hated them. It, it they didn't it took me maybe five to six tries to beat them but they were so fucking annoying the entire time I was now fighting this is going to be another divisive one i think the vulgar militiamen are cursed i hate these fuckers so much they don't even I'll, ever like I'll stop me i'll accept yeah they, they never really hamper me but it's like you know when you walk into a swarm of mosquitoes you're not having a good yeah. time I, yeah, and they're always they're always like in random places yeah. too. And, you're and like, I remember what the fuck distinctly are you doing here <laughs> because I beat the game before you, and I was mentioning how much I hated them, and you're like, I never had too much trouble. And you got to the point I was talking about, you're like, okay, no, I get it. Because <laughs> I I still didn't have trouble with them. Yeah, they, you don't have they, trouble. They they're just so very annoying. fucking annoying. Yeah, it's like especially if you in hate the caves. Kids. They're yeah, like, exactly. why the, why the fuck are you here? <laughs> Go away. <laughs> It's like if yeah. you hate kids and you have to be a kindergartner teacher, you're gonna, yeah. you're not having a good time. You'd probably say oh, those kindergartners me. are cursed. Oh, uh, trust me. Anyways, okay. uh, wandering nobles, I, I would put in uh, deprived. Yeah, because they're not like that bad. But whenever you're trying to clear out an early game area, they're always casting random fucking spells at you. Yeah. Now, Warhawk. um, you you had this opinion that I was very taken up. Prize uh, taken off guard by yes. this is my least favorite <laughs> uh anything in all of um no that is all of that is Soulsborne. fair this is the worst thing especially when you're just around walking me. around and then all of a sudden yeah, they lob right a fucking explosive yeah. barrel at your head i like, didn't have too much trouble with them but i completely understand it and they uh, also they interrupt them. you constantly they fly all over the uh -huh. place the only uh -huh. problem I didn't really have with the explosives is that whenever one chucked an explosive at me, it always hit another bird killing it. So I was like, oh, it's fine. That's, that's a one for one, I guess. Well, one of the moments I remember, because I went back to when I was trying to 100% my first run before I went into New Game Plus. I remember I went back to um, the Grafted Dude's uh, castle. And I had Dragon's Breath at that point, and I had like fully upgraded my Dragon's Breath. And there was, I had forgotten about the Warhawks, and they came around the corner. And I thought, oh, perfect time to test out my new Dragon's Breath that was really high level. And he tossed the explosive barrel, and <laughs> I did my Fire Breath. <laughs> And it just oh. caused a ginormous explosion because it's that area where there's like 20 mm -hmm. explosive barrels and the one hawk with the explosive barrel. And what I did was just ignite everything. And I just, I legitimately just alt F4 and walked away that is from my computer. Very for that funny. <laughs> that is very funny though. <laughs> After the fact, I can agree. At the time, I was not very pleased. All right, we got, um, these wild ram horn things i think these are deprived because they're like all the other enemies Aww. except they roll at you and hit you and sometimes they're electric. oh yeah they do yeah and i'm Relax. just like can you like yeah have you not seen the electric ones I don't they think electrocute themselves the electric they roll one. and like lightning strikes behind How them they they go. okay okay so you just said and then went past the uh sometimes they electrocute themselves have you never <laughs> like just like that... stuck your finger into a socket and then got into a ball and rolled around your room I must admit, I don't think I have done that. No. Oh, it's my favorite thing to do on a Friday night. Mm. Uh, did you have the Mongolians in here? I don't think. Yeah, they're the kite and cell sores. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, wolf, wolf goes with other, other dogs, dogs. I think. Yeah. Worm face, I would put cursed. Um, I think I the, hollowed or cursed. Yeah. Yeah, these guys, these motherfuckers, especially when they just like vomit out worms on you yeah. and then death blight you. Nah, dude. Yeah. What the fuck? Oh, these guys I don't like, but they're not nearly as bad as others. Wretched. wretched. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, finally. The zombies I'd put Sorry. in unkindled, uh, I, like right next to the skeletons. Cause I would put them lower and deprived because they have a grab that does far too much damage for my liking. Okay. That's fine with me. And there we go. We're done. <laughs> Yay. 772 entries. Let me save this real quick. And we only argued uh, vehemently about, it, like, ten, which is very surprising. <laughs> yeah, no, like, all of Sekro and Elden Ring were pretty much on the same page, except for a few. 
Which is strange, because I think we both expected those two to be, like, the ones we really yeah. disagreed on. Or, like, Bloodborne as well was, like, the entirety of Bloodborne. We were just on the same fucking um, page. Yeah, page. Yeah. Uh, now, for the most part, and, and it's interesting, because we usually go for, like, exact opposite builds. And, like, the ones that we disagreed on most vehemently were the ones that it was like, well... My build just kind of counteracted this this enemy type, so. Oh, yeah. oh my that god, this sense. is blinding me. There we go. Blinded well, that only took us, according to the stream, uh, about six hours. Yeah, six hours. Oh. I have a massive fucking headache, so. Yeah, it's It started, like, about an hour ago, so. We I did just I'm sit in a chair for, like, six hours straight debating characters from Elden Ring, so. Yes. Uh, that makes sense. Well, you yeah, have a yes. good night. Thank you for. Wow. Your All I can stuff. say is that was five and a half hours of nonsense. I don't know how you managed to watch through all that and end up here, but either way, thank you. And if you enjoyed this, you're probably going to like this Skyrim video where I do something similar but it's only nine minutes. Otherwise, maybe you'd enjoy this video specifically tailored by AI for you and your likes. Thank you for watching and giving me that sweet, sweet viewer retention. I'll catch you in the next one.